Okay, so we've got Vegan Foot Soldier, we've got Avi, and they're going to debate whether organic as a general heuristic is carnist. I'm going to unmute them now. Everyone else is muted, so they'll be the only ones who are able to talk. Okay, so my position is organic as a general heuristic is carnist. Um, where I am with this, the reason I believe it is because based on the data I've seen, based on the data from the FAO, based on the sentiments echoed in the peer-reviewed literature, from all the inferences, the vast majority of nutrients from fertilizer, from conventional is synthetic, not manure, not animal product. Uh, the problem with organic is that they don't allow these synthetic fertilizers. And because the non-animal product inputs are fringe, even when you account for things like crop rotations, even when you account for things like nitrogen fixation plants, it turns out really to not be relations. And so when you actually do steel man after steel, even steel man, such as in assuming crops that have great, some of the greatest calories per manure input, you get the different differential equivalent of about um, a cup of milk a day to animal agriculture. And if you didn't have those steel men in place, it would be even greater. So if I were to suggest that eating a cup of milk, drinking a cup of milk a day, that level, considering how easy alternatives exist, is carnist, then why would I not suggest that for an organic diet? I just don't see the disanalogy. I don't see the symmetry breaker, nor do I think this results in a some kind of ridiculous spiral to say that America is carnist or paying taxes are carnist or any of those things because that just doesn't account for what my position is in the first place. It simply doesn't account for eaters. It doesn't account for the standard we would place on vegans in society. It's just that to whatever degree that milk is creating economic demand, drink a cup of milk a day, it seems to be that way for organic and it seems to be just as easy to avoid to get the soy milk instead of the real milk as it is for the case for organic so i just whatever whatever metrics we're using whatever way we're using i just need to see a symmetry breaker i need to see a disanalogy i just where i i want to be logically consistent and i would need to see the difference in order to be able to break that i can get an easy symmetry breaker with things like America with the things like taxes or driving, joy riding in a car, if you're going to run over a bucket, all these silly analogies, all these silly things, I can e make easy symmetry breakers, but I just don't see where I can make one between organic and the milk case. So if you can help me out there, it would be great. Okay, Matt. So thanks for laying down an introduction and overview for the people who are listening in and watching this back. Um, cool. So we've got a starting point. Uh, I'd like to go back to basics. Uh, the, the claim is that organic is carnist. And, no, that's um, not the claim. sorry? That's not that claim. The claim is organic as a general heuristic is carnist. Yeah, organic as a general heuristic is carnist. Yeah, I'm, I'm just shorting it down to organic is carnist. And from well, this I, point I can't, in. We can't do that because, I, I, again, I, I'm sorry. It's just that. He, you, no, there's no end of straw manning of my position that has been going on. There yeah, really sure, is, yeah. yeah. Sure, 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 I'm, just, I'm just saying, I mean, I'm just saying from, from this point on in the debate, any time I say organic is carnist, I'm referring to organic as a general heuristic. Uh, oh, okay. heuristic. All right, that's fine. Sure. Okay. So, um, carnism, where did this word come from, Dr. Melanie Joy? coined that word so i emailed dr melanie joy's organization and asked them if they thought organic was carnist and their official response was we would tend to encourage vegans to avoid moral perfectionism being vegan in a non-vegan world can be challenging at times and we should not attempt to define what is and what isn't acceptable for other people so the originator of the word carnist doesn't endorse organic being carnist I don't but, see how um, that's relevant. Yeah, yeah. no, that, that's, I, that, I don't that's, see how that's relevant at all. Well, so again, like, let, let's get her on here and give her to give me the symmetry breaker. Would she endorse saying drinking a cup of milk a day is carnage? If not, um, if, if she would, then where is the disanalogy between that and organic? 
Well, I, I was just starting off by the definition of carnism. What is the definition of carnism? Is it what Melanie Joy says? I, I just don't understand. Yeah, yes. Yes. Oh. In the same way, the definition of veganism is what uh, Donald Watson and um, the Vegan Society say. Wait, wait, hold on. So the definition of carnism is that which Melanie Joy says is or is not carnism. No, the definition is is, is the definition as defined by her because she's the one who defined the word. and, And what is that definition? Uh, the the exact definition is uh, I can get that up actually it's on their website. Uh, hold on. Okay. It, it, it's carnism is the uh, the opposite of vegetarianism uh, on the website and I'm just off of memory before actually going to the website and um, she's talking calm comes from meat and carnism is the doctrine that humans should exploit animals for their meat right so that's the opposite of veganism which is humans uh, that veganism is the doctrine that humans should live without the exploitation of animals which is the original okay, 19, so let's 19, get clear. none of that was clear so let's get clear on the definition so as long as someone is not exploiting the animal for the meat it is not carnist is that uh, I, I'm, I'm i'm just gonna get the definition on the website here um carnage Carnism is the invisible belief system or ideology that conditions people to eat certain animals. Carnism is essentially the opposite of veg- uh, veg- veganism, sorry, as carn means flesh or of the flesh, and ism refers to belief system. Because carnism is invisible, uh, and it goes on and it explains a bit more about it, but yeah, essentially it's uh, talking about the flesh and the belief system of the flesh. So uh, veganism is the opposite right, so- of that. Great. So if we're not talking about the flesh, we're talking about any other. Well, let's, let's say we're talking about milk. And let's say we were, okay, it wasn't going to, well, let's just start off there. If we were talking about milk, if milk is not flesh, is, is it now not carnous to consume milk? If uh, it uh, is, uh, then there's something else in that know. definition that we're not getting. Um, Derry, let's, let's see. Um... And carnism is also a violent belief system. It's organized around intensive extensions and unnecessary violence towards animals, even the production of so-called humane meat, eggs and dairy. A tiny percentage of the animal foods produced in the world today exploit animals. It involves brutality. So carnism is the, um, in short, carnism, it says at the bottom, carnism is the system of oppression. It is enabled by unjust exercise of power that causes unnecessary harm to billions of individuals. So, um, I was just trying to sort of like actually start off with the definition of the word so we know what we mean when we're saying that it's carnist. And uh, I emailed the organization who coined the word and they said uh, pretty much that they didn't endorse that organic should be carnist. But that doesn't matter. What we can do is we can change it to mean um, uh, is contributing to animal suffering or something. We can change it to that. Because I don't just want to be like doing a gotcha from the definition. I just want it. I don't see how it even. I don't see how it even would be a gotcha because there's nothing in that definition that seems to be what people mean when they say carnist. Um, It just seems to be not capturing what we mean. And if it does, and if we want to include, and if we does, wait, 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 and if it does, and if you want to broaden it, if you want, if it does, if there's something I'm missing and it's broader than that, then it seems to include organic. So this wouldn't be a gotcha in either case for me. Um, if you want well, to include it for the, uh, the exploitation, um, there's no question that purchasing organic leads to more exploitation of animals than the purchase of convention. So as a general, yeah, yeah. All, 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 all I'm saying is I emailed the organization that I, invented that the word and they don't know the usage. It doesn't, so, it doesn't, cool. doesn't let's, okay. So okay, after we've no, talked no, about that, no, let's move wait, on wait, to wait. the ethical implications. No, no, I'm not going to let you do that. No, I'm not going to let you listen. I'm not going to let you like add that in as if that was a relevant point and not point out that it wasn't relevant. So look, if person A makes it, creates a definition and person and, and the definition seems to lead to organic being carnist, and then person, it's, person A is asked, does your definition lead to organic being carnist? And says no. That doesn't, that's actually not relevant. They actually need to specify what in the definition doesn't lead to that. Because if they say something that says, oh, animal exploitation, unnecessary animal exploitation, and it turns out that organic falls within that category, it doesn't matter if they deny that. 
it would still mean their definition defines organic as carnage. You just saying that Melanie Joy decide, says that decide her definition doesn't include that, it's actually just tangential. Sure, okay, so let's um, continue with uh, the implication that okay, anything... Just, do, you which agree? We... do you agree? Do you agree with what I just said? Do you, do you, you realize how that's tangential? Yeah, but five minutes before you said that, I already said, let's expand the definition to include any suffering. Then why, uh, then why, then why mention? Then why even mention that? Because I was just starting off with the definition, discussing the definition before we proceed and talk about what yeah, is. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with that has nothing to do with the definition. It has everything to do with the definition because I was no. talking about the definition. No, you were talking about if what she said about if, about what is entailed of her definition, which is completely tangential to her definition. In or if she case, made the definition. In any, I don't. It doesn't matter if she made the definition. She could still be wrong about what does and does not fall within the category of that definition. So she can be wrong about her own definition. Yeah. Yes. Of course she can. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, again, I said uh, a few minutes ago. Now, let's expand that definition. To include. To be clear, it's not. I'm not saying she's wrong about her definition. I'm saying she could be wrong about the things that do or do not fall within her category of definition. Okay, cool. That's why I already said for the fourth time that I'm expanding the definition for the purposes of this debate to include the type of. Wait, do you agree? That you... Okay, fine. We can we can we can go on, but I just want to make sure we agree on this. So, do you agree that? Look, if she says, look, if Melanie Joy just says that, it turns out that. Eating liver is does not fall within the category of my definition. Like you can just eat liver, and that I wouldn't fall under the category of my definition of carnist. Does the fact that she affirms that somehow make her correct about what her statement of the whether it falls in the category of her definition or not? No, because it would make the definition confused. Because she's saying that meat isn't isn't carnism. Right. So she, she, in one right. hand, she's saying that meat yeah. is so just, exactly. So just because just because she says something that does or does not fall within the category of her definition, it doesn't mean that she is actually correct that something does and does not fall within the category of her definition. Sure, but like the vegan society right. could publish. Uh, I'm echoing a bit. Am I? Are you wearing headphones up? Yeah, yeah, I am. It's just pretty loud. My headphones don't do a good job. But all right. Oh, okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll turn down my volume a bit just in case it's my side as well. Um, yeah, so uh, if the Vegan Society um, released a public statement saying that milk was vegan all of a sudden, then everyone would be like, yeah, that's obviously dumb. But the problem here is that carnism is defined in a certain way as we're, we're talking about the belief system of consuming animal products. And now we're not talking about animal products. We're talking about something which is the usage of um, uh, excretions from uh, animal, right? Milk is, or, an wait. milk is an excretion. Sorry? Oh, oh, oh milk, yeah. Milk but I mean uh, as like a, a waste product, uh, which, which isn't... Because you, you can't get manure from a dead cow, right? So, so it, it's... You, we're not you, killing... actually, you, actually can. you actually can. There is a way. You actually can get some amount of manure from a dead cow. That's actually not true. Well, wait, you mean like, were you going to get a dead cow and scoop manure out of his ass? Is that yeah. what you mean? No, no. If they, you can, after you got the intestines, there can be manure in the intestines. You actually can get manure from a dead cow. You can also, yeah, I mean, um, yeah. You, you know what I mean, Avi. <laughs> you know what I mean. Come on. No, no, I mean, no. I mean, look, it's cow, not but true. Do. Look, look, I don't also don't see how it's, I don't also don't see how it's even relevant. Just, again, like, all I'm seeing here is that there's, what, what makes it, what makes it, Vegan or not vegan for me, I'm going to tell you where I'm coming from. What makes it vegan or not vegan for me is just the economic demand. That's what I care about. The incentive I'm creating for this overall process compared to the ease of alternatives in the context that we're currently in. So if I see an equal amount of economic demand from a glass of milk a day as an organic diet with just as ease of alternatives then I just don't see why it would be vegan for me to make those decisions in both cases. Okay. Okay. Well, we're a quarter of an hour in, and that was just a real small point I wanted to start on to clarify the definition. So I think we should move on you to... Haven't, you haven't, you haven't, you haven't clarified the definition. It's like, look, we agree that just because someone makes a definition, they could be wrong about what 
falls in within the category of their own definition. We agree about that. Yeah, we agree. And we agree, right? We agree that they could be wrong. They could be wrong about what falls in the category of the definition. Even And it could be, and I'm not saying it may be as obvious. I agree that liver is a more obvious point than organic. So it could, I understand why she would, may say the wrong thing about organic on, with respect to her own definition. That's fine. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that she absolutely could be wrong about what does and doesn't fall into her category. So it's just tangential but, but what wait, she would say about it. Well, wait, she, she, she didn't come out and say uh, organic cannot be carnist because this doesn't fall within the system. What she said was, or not she, but the person who responded to me from her organization, we oh, would tend to even encourage hard. vegan... No, I, I said that when I, I read it originally. It, it, the oh. organization responded. Um, oh, okay. We, so just to be clear, when we say the organization, it wasn't actually her. It was someone speaking for her. Yeah, yeah, I already mentioned that. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I didn't. I didn't catch and that. We... I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I thought I, I meant. I mentioned that at least once. So maybe you just didn't catch it. But yeah, someone from the organization replied. I emailed the organization, um, addressed them, and enjoy. Uh, someone from the organization got back, and they said we would tend to encourage vegans to avoid moral perfectionism. Being vegan in a non-vegan world can be challenging at times, and we should not attempt to define what is and isn't acceptable for other people. So the the, the doctrine of um, carnism, which is proposed by Melanie Joy and her organization, um, what they're saying is, they're not saying that um, it's, it's not carnist. What they're saying is um, it doesn't fall within the scope of what is to be considered carnism because they see that as something negative uh, in their pursuit of defining what carnism is, trying to have this moral perfectionism. Yeah. And then right, I, so I, I just, well, there's a couple of things. There's like, well, there's a lot of issues with that. I mean, the first thing with that response is they absolutely do define what is acceptable and not acceptable for people because there are certain things that they do consider acceptable and not acceptable as, as carnists, for example, consuming milk is acceptable versus not acceptable. That does fall within the category of things they say are acceptable and not acceptable for other people. So it's not the case that they're doing this thing, oh, well, maybe it's just too hard to avoid milk, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe we should just... You know, it's you know we should be vegetarian instead of vegan. Which the two, we they're no, I think you were making stance. the point that they were talking about vegan, uh, other vegans there. Yeah, so, yeah, no, uh, I understand. Although... I understand. You know, but the point, I no, I get that. I didn't miss that. The the point is that at some level they are making judgments like that, and why I don't see why the same judgment shouldn't be made at this level because the demand is equivalent or greater in the organic case again, and the ease of avoidance is also very easy. So. I just don't see the, the, the reason why their definition, even their definition, they say it's not, but I don't see why their definition wouldn't include organic. What are we, what are we looking at when we determine if something is vegan or not? What separates? I just want to know what separates the milk from the organic. The milk from the organic. Well, the milk is a product which is directly obtained from the animal, whereas a carrot doesn't have any product obtained directly from okay. an okay uh, cool a, an animal so let me ask you this all right cool so the it's okay, fine, fine. You answered it. okay you've answered the question i got it i got it okay so let me ask you this if that's what we're using as as a symmetry breaker then let me ask you this let's say let's say they let's say it wasn't direct in the in the carrot uh sorry let's say it wasn't direct in the milk let's say the milk was indirect so, for example, let's say there was one farm that decided that they're going to fertilize all of their carrots with milk. And they just started using a bunch of milk. And then you know that if you buy those carrots, it's going to end up using even more milk than if you were to directly just stipulate for the purpose of the hypothetical. Yeah, there's a lot of problems. Yeah. Well, well, no, 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 no. Hold We can go into that after I want to know if it's... If it is the case... If it is the case that the only thing that matters is how direct it is, then you would have to say that buying those carrots is vegan. Or, or if you want to say that there's something else there, that's fine. You can say there's something else we care about that factors into the calculus of whether something is vegan or not vegan. But if that is the only thing that matters, then yes, the, you could use all the milk in the world on one carrot, and one carrot that one carrot would be vegan if, even if it contributed far more. So clearly, it seems like there's something else going on here, and there's something else you care about that makes something vegan or not vegan. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. So in this particular bizarre example, it would be the knowledge that it was um, fertilized with all the milk in the world. Right. Or, or okay, I agree. Quantity, quantity. Oh, I, I agree. I agree with respect to there's someone is being vegan or not being vegan. The act may still be not vegan or not vegan, but I agree with respect to the person if they have the knowledge. Yeah. So let's say someone has the knowledge with the organic case as well. Let's say there's that we equalize that too. So someone knows they're able to look at the data and then they know that organic is going out of their way to use animal products far more than conventional is. So we uh, equalize again, the knowledge. Now. So yeah. So, yes. so this is hypothetical because we're going to proceed hopefully quite soon in, into discussing the, the details and get off of this uh, introductory point. But, but sure, if, if there was a carrot, which was organic that had used say one kilogram of manure, um, and I, I could see a profit and loss account where the associated payments to the Holocaust industry were made versus a conventional carrot with um, the contribution being one fifth of the amount. And I'm asked uh, just in terms of in, in a vacuum, in terms of what is better without considering any other things. Uh, I would personally choose the conventional carrot, which gives less money to the Holocaust industry, knowing and, and seeing that information transparently. But the rest of the debate that we're going to have today, hopefully, is going to go over that and discuss if that is really the case, because that is still where the contention is. Great. Uh, and just lies. to be clear, would you, say, would you say buying the carrot from, buying the carrots from those who go out of their way to use animal uh, inputs uh, in the context where it is easy, it is very easy to use alternatives, would you say that's a vegan thing to do? Would you say that's vegan? Um... It, it, it is vegan. Um, it, in terms of the definition of veganism, it is vegan to eat carrots, yes, regardless okay, of right. the so then, so then I'm asking you in the hypothetical I'm get, giving you, if they just decided to use a bunch of milk. Yeah, it's still the, vegan. It would still be vegan on you. Yeah, uh, it, would, it would still be vegan to eat a carrot based on the vegan uh, society's definition of vegan. Okay, and it, and even if they were using, and even if each carrot required in this hypothetical, even if each carrot required the blood of like a hundred cows, let's just say this was a this ridiculous hypothetical. Even if it required the blood of a hundred cows, and every time you bought a carrot, you were in this ridiculous hypothetical, you were generating the slaughter of a hundred cows. It would still be vegan on your view. Is that correct? Well, so uh, can, can I just ask for more information in this hypothetical? So when I go to the grocery store. When I go to the grocery store and I'm presented with this carrot that's been fertilized with the blood of a million cows, um, it, it, does it say on the carrot that this carrot has been fertilized with the blood of a million cows? Or am I just supposed to like sort of? No, uh, no it said it says it says it says organic. Let's it says organic plus. Let's say it's extra organic. That's what it says. Mm. It's it has a it has a certification extra extra super duper organic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it turns out you did some research, you did some inf digging, and it turns out that extra, extra, super organic plus fertilizes each carrot with the blood of a hundred cows. Uh, and that is indisputable. There's no way to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Well, based based on based on the all the available evidence, based on all the available evidence, it each carrot with the extra, super duper organic plus has slaughtered generates the slaughter of a hundred cows so now the question on the table for you is is the carrot is buying that carrot vegan is so, so, the carrot so, so, vegan so so no, knowing that with full awareness and going to the store with that knowledge in mind knowing that the uh, industry which created this carrot uh, this particular carrot incurred the death toll of a hundred cows then i would say uh, equipped with that knowledge and no it wouldn't be vegan because you you're assured that this is exploitation of animals that does constitute uh, exploitation you're assured of that. say 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 that say that is a general heuristic it would do it say that in the general case you would it's not a 100 percent guarantee but if if there's a general generally speaking that's what happens the data yeah then, then i i would need to be convinced that that would generally happen and reasonably be the case with my particular yeah so, so, let's say so then we get let's into, let's into say, territory very quickly. say say you were say you were reasonably convinced 
said that. If I, if, I was reasonably, if I was reasonably convinced that this particular carrot that I was buying uh, contained the death of or constitutes no, the, the death, not of, not did, but 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 had a had a had a more likely chance than the other had a significantly greater chance than the other carrots of constituting the death of a hundred cows. Is it vegan to buy that carrot? Well, uh, put that way, then I'm not sure. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because if I walk out, uh, if I walk down my street, I've got a significantly greater chance of getting hit by a bus than if I lived in rural Mongolia. So uh, as a general heuristic, uh, should I avoid walking down the street? Of course not. That's ridiculous. Well, let's say that I... the ease. Let's say that the ease of buying the other carrot is very easy. Let's say all you have to do is move your arm and buy the other carrot. Pick up the other carrot. That's all it would take for you to make well, that decision. I, I, I'm talking not about talking the... about something as hard as moving out in Mongolia. That's not. No, that's no, not no, no you didn't saying. understand what I just said. Then you didn't understand what I just said. Then what I said was. Um, the likelihood of me getting hit by a bus walking down my street here in Spain is significantly higher than if I were to live in Mongolia, in rural Mongolia. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't walk down my street here just because it has yeah, a higher I don't risk. Think you I need, I need to know yeah, the no, I, under, I, understood I, exa I, I understood. Yeah, I understood exactly. I understood exactly what you said. Actually, I didn't miss a thing. Well, I, I don't. So I you, what, what you, what you, no, no, no. The reason, I, the reason I mentioned this is because, again, going back to the original point, what make what is factoring into whether it's vegan or not vegan for me is not just the probability of the demand and the degree of demand. It's also the ease of an alternative. Yeah, sure, but I wasn't talking about going to Mongolia as the alternative. The alternative so, was not walking down my street. Yeah, that's also a really hard alternative. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I, I think you're sort of like dodging what I'm saying here. No, a bit. I'll, not I'll, at all. I'm addressing exactly what you're way. saying. I'll put it in a different way so you can address it a bit better. So um, it's more to do with the confidence. So uh, there's, a, there, there's some percentage that if I buy a lottery ticket, I'll win the lottery. But I know that the percentage probability of winning the lottery is so ridiculously low that I'm more likely to get struck by lightning. All right, let's do, like this, let's do it like this, all do. Let's do it like this. Let's say the carrot, let's say you, let's say everything you could infer based on the evidence of for one carrot A and carrot, carrot A, there is, uh, carrot A uses four times as many cows as carrot B. Okay. So you have to, you have to choose between two carrots. You got to eat something to live. You got to choose between two carrots. You can choose carrot A and carrot B. Of all the evidence you've looked into, it turns out that carrot a kills four times as many cows as carrot B. And I know that well, I know that with a high degree of certainty. You know that with a with a with a very reasonable degree of certainty, based on the, the data data from FAO, based on sentiments that are accurate, you you can infer that very reasonably. The question on the table is: if all you have to do is reach and pick carrot B, would it be vegan to pick carrot A instead? If I know with a high degree of certainty, then of course um, it, I, I'm going to look and be like, oh, I know with a high degree of certainty that this ca uh, carrot kills more uh, animals or causes more suffering than this carrot. And if I knew with a high de degree of certainty that the conventional carrot uh, killed a significant amount of animals as well, then I'd be so dismayed by that, then I'd, I'd maybe start growing my own crops. Okay, that didn't answer the question. So the question is, if you have to choose between the two, well, I did to choose question. carrot A. So that didn't know it didn't answer the question. The question was, well, how did I not? Uh, what, what what did you think I just said? So whatever whatever you said didn't answer the question. Is it vegan to purchase carrot A and pick up carrot A and purchase it and eat it? That's the question. Oh, so, so you're not asking what one I'd buy, you're asking, is it vegan? Yeah, okay, I'm not so... asking what you would do. I didn't ask you if you would grow your own garden or not. Like, that wasn't... Yeah, so if, if, I, if, I know with, if I know with a high degree of certainty that carrot A will cause the death of a large amount of animals, and carrot B will cause the death of a significant amount of animals, but a lower amount of animals than carrot A, I'd probably think that I wouldn't want to touch either of them and grow my own carrot. Okay, let's say that say that wasn't an option. Let's say say growing your own carrot wasn't an option. So, so I'm not sure whether they would be vegan or not. So, right. if it wasn't an option to grow my own carrot, I'd say that 
yeah. uh, if I knew that both carrots, one caused more suffering, but uh, the carrots caused a significant amount of suffering, then I'd say that knowing with a high degree of certainty that that causes suffering, then under the vegan uh, society definition, that that wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be vegan. Like normally eating carrots is, is a vegan Wait, thing to do, but no. with a high degree of certainty, I'm, of I'm, knowledge, I'm not a fan. No, no, I'm not a fan of the vegan society definition, but possible and practicable is in there which which i this i don't like those words but i don't like those either that's yeah, why I'm yeah, using yeah, yeah i don't i don't i don't like them yeah yeah I, i'm using i i would go different also but i but what i'm factoring in here is what i'm factoring in is the is two things the degree of the degree of demand and i'm also factoring in the ease of alternatives and given the standard that we would set upon vegans to end the end the animal agriculture industry in the first place so i don't okay. here's the bottom line like when i talk when we talk about things like all right. Anyway, just like like getting back to this question, like I just want to know if buying carrot A is vegan or not. We could talk about whether it's vegan to buy carrot B or not. That's that's fine. We can get there. But like, I just want to know that if we have those things in place, is it vegan or not vegan to buy carrot A? Well, my, my my answer is the same. If there's a high degree of certainty that this product will cause uh, a higher degree of animal suffering, then it's not. I'm sorry, you cut out. Then it's what. If there's, a, if there's a high degree of certainty that a certain thing will cause a large amount of animal suffering, then that thing cannot be considered vegan. Okay, great. So just to be clear, so buying carrot A would not be vegan. Is that correct? Given that there's a high degree of certainty, uh, it wouldn't be yeah, vegan. Yeah, I, I, already, I already stipulated that. Okay, so it wouldn't yeah, be sure. Okay, okay. Now, now the, question, the question on the table is, now, if carrot B is the only option, would carrot B be vegan? Uh, does it cause um, uh, a lot of suffering? To yeah, like there are things. Let's let's say it causes it causes a fourth of the amount of suffering as carrot as carrot as carrot A does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, and, if I deem that to be some significant, I'll, I'll just give it to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the degree. I'll give. You, like, let's equalize it. Like, let's say carrot A caused the degree of suffering as the same amount of the degree of suffering as per. Uh, as purchasing a cup of milk, a a cup of milk uh, a, a, a day. Let's just say it like, or or uh, drinking four. Let's just say purchase the same amount as drinking four cups of milk. Uh, I can't. I can't make that equivalency. It, it's too much of a leap it's, to it's an implication. One it's an implication. Implication. Yeah, it's just an yeah, implication. Yeah, I don't know what that would mean. Yeah, I but don't it, understand I'm, what that would mean. Okay, so whatever amount I'm saying, whatever amount. Whatever amount of of suffering, whatever amount of exploitation, whatever amount of uh, all of these things, whatever amount that the demand translates into, it is equivalent to a cup of milk a day. That's what we're stipulating. It's, it's if if that is the case, would you consider carrot a vegan? Uh. It's just it's just really bizarre to uh, to equivocate one type of exploit. What is the equivocation? Wait, what's the equivocation? The equivocation is the way that they're exploited, and you're saying you that. Or, or are we going to water the parts with milk here? Wait, Maybe do you know what you what the parts with milk. Do you know what do you know what that word means? Equivocation, equivocate. Equivocation. Yeah, of course. You're you're co you're mean? confusing two things. You're confusing two different what things. What is what does that word mean? The confusion of two uh, concepts to sort of provide uh, to to jump between two concepts. And not That's not no. Okay, so what equivocation means? So equivocation is when you use the same word. It's when you use the same word to mean two different things. So what is the specific word that I used to mean two different things? Well, that, that's not even what it is. It's to, it's to use yeah, it is. Um, confusing language. It's to use confusing language to sort of like switch between two things. I just Googled the definition here. The use of um, ambiguous language to conceal the truth or to avoid committing oneself. So, that, so um, yes. Yeah. It's not what it's, it's equivocation. Exactly. Okay. So we can go to exactly. what it is. No, no. So equivoc yeah, equivocation is when there's a word. It's, there's a specific word that's being used to, in two different, to mean two different things. So it, what's the specific word that I used that I'm equivocating on? 
So, so you're just cherry picking the definition now. I, I've just got a definition up here to make sure that I'm I'm not going crazy, and, and it, I, I've I've also got a definition. So we can talk, we can debate about which definition of the word equivocation is to be used. But this seems like a bit of a waste of time. No, I, I'm just wondering when you use the word equivocation. I just want to know which word I'm equivocating. I'm. You can I'm, also. I'm, just to be clear, I'm you using, can also, I'm using the logic. Using the logical definition, I'm using uh, yeah. So I, I'm presuming we're going by like philosophical definitions of that word. No, 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 no. no you can't, you can't assume that. Unless okay. You, what do you yeah, mean? What do you mean when you say I'm equivocating them? You can equivocate between two different concepts. You can say you can you can talk about um, one type of thing what and that? sort of like sneak in another type of thing, and so the person doesn't actually really know. So you don't have to really like uh, commit to talking about that. You can sneak in this other thing because you're switching between the two sort of thing. You can equivocate between concepts. You, I don't, you don't need to use one word in two different ways. If, that way. If, you, if you mean that in a strict sort of defined logical sense, that's not what I meant. Okay, what am I conflating? What am I, what am I, what am I? So in equivocation, you just mean like, okay, I'm, I'm you talking about two different concepts. Is that what you're saying? You're talking about two different concepts in a way in which they sound like they're talk you're talking about one concept. That's why I'm saying it's an equivocation. Okay, so I'm talking about two different concepts and saying that they're one concept? Is that what I, is that what you're saying? Yeah, you, you're, you're trying to, you're trying to package the suffering caused by the milk industry and the potential economic demand caused by the sale of manure into one package of suffering. And I just can't. Yeah, I was, I, I it's an implication. Know. I was saying if. Yeah, I, I don't that understand. Was the case. What... I, I just said, I just said, if that was the case, if what, if whatever downstream effect of purchasing a cup of milk a day caused the same amount of economic demand for whatever amount of suffering there was, or deontic rights violations, because I'm not a pure utilitarian. It's not all about the utilitarian calculus for me. You can get into that too. Um, but if whatever norms we consider relevant, if we were equal, if buying organic was equal in norms to, to purchasing a, the cup of milk a day, would it be vegan to buy organic? What I can say is purchasing a cup of milk a day isn't vegan. If a, if a cup of milk is purchased uh, per day to water the, the carrot that you eat, then that would not be vegan if you knew with a high degree of certainty that that was Im Im implicated in the carrot growing process. Okay, so just to be clear, because I, I, I want a clear answer here, so, and I didn't really appreciate a clear answer. So, so if... The question on the table is, again, if it were the case that the same amount of norms were instantiated, in the same amount of harm, same amount of suffering, or deontic rights violations were instantiated by purchasing the cup of milk a day as eating an organic diet a day, would, yeah, so, it, so when, be when, vegan, when, would it be vegan to purchase the organic diet a day, to buy the organic diet a day? To buy the organic carrot, you mean? To eat an organic, well, let's just make it, well, we can say that too, but eat an organic meal a day, eat, eat an organic diet per day. Okay. Would it be vegan to eat, to eat an organic diet every day if that came out to the same amount of suffering as buying a cup of milk a day? So I'm not utilitarian when it comes to suffering to equate one type of suffering with another, but if you're saying that, will it, if it just is the case that the same the same suffering is caused or deontic by rights violations. It's the same suffering or deontic rights violations or virtue yeah. maximization or, or whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. norms so, you're factoring. So if you're, saying, if you're saying whatever this means, the same suffering is caused by eating an organic meal, then no, that's not vegan. But I don't, but, okay. but that's with the caveat that it would have to be the same suffering. Otherwise, you're talking nonsense. Yeah, yeah. It would have to be the same. And presumably, we're the suffering of the animals that are being exploited and that's coming from economic demand. Is that correct? Uh, no, it's coming from the enslavement of the animal, not from economic demand. So, for example, yeah, we could the have economic situation... demand to enslave the animal. So, so we, we could have a situation where um, children in Africa were killed or people in Africa were killed by mining sure, certain sure, sure, compounds sure. So, and then you've so got an like, android and you've got an iPhone. Okay. 
I got it. Yeah, I got it. So, uh, so we're talking about the economic demand for the process of whatever they're doing currently to those cows or chickens. Yeah, well, well, what I was trying to point out by bringing that up is it's not the economic demand in itself. It's the suffering caused as a result of whatever economic situation yeah. um, demands yeah, sure. okay. their, of their suffering. Or, or deontic, or deontic rights vi uh, violations, in my view. So if you want to say yeah. it's just it's the suffering, okay. So let's say that the suff is the suffering is coming from the demand, presumably. No, the suffering isn't coming from the demand. The demand is is um, de it is is setting up the industry is causing which is suffering. Causing... Is it not? Is the demand Sorry? causing the suffering? Look, the, is the reason the that the, the milk the, the 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 demand is demanding the suffering to occur the demand isn't causing directly that the people enslaving the animals are causing the suffering the conditions are causing the okay. suffering okay. the economic so, demand is just okay. setting so up the economic the demand conditions contingently, to make them suffer. so so it's contingently causing it, it, it the word you're looking for is contingent it's not an entailment but it's a, it, it, it is contingently causing that uh, oh, I wouldn't even say that's the case because contingent means that you couldn't happen without it, but it can still happen no, without it. No, that's not what contingent still... means. No, conti contingent. You can no, that's, that is what contingent means. means. Oh, why are you trying to pull Wait. me up in definitions of Wait. words Wait. that we both look? The there's a, there's entailments and then there's c contingencies. Like so, the ac the demand can contingently cause something, or it can there can it could just be an entailment that it causes it. No, no, no. Look, look, look. You, you, if you're trying to say contingent doesn't mean that it can only happen if that is the case, then you're just wrong. You no, need to no, concede I'm that. Not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying that well, it that's doesn't... What just, I'm that's what you just disagreed with me on, so can you concede that? Please? I'm saying it doesn't have to be the case. It doesn't have to be the case that it causes it, but it happens. it just so happens to be the case that if you do it in this context, it does cause it. So if X is contingent on Y, can X occur without Y? I, we're using a, you're using a contingency differently. See that? See now that would be an equivocation. So in, now we're using it. No, 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 that's not an equivocation. This is what contingency yeah. means. Okay, so so an entailment versus a contingency. We can look this up if you really want to. Look, entailment means something um, is something happens as a result of something else, but it could also happen without that other thing. But contingency means that it can't happen Here. without that other contingency, thing. Contingency, a future event or circumstance which is possible but cannot be predicted with certainty. A provision of an unforeseen event or circumstance. No, no that's the that's same definition. Which definition are you using? 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 Go ahead. We, we were both using the philosophical definition there. You even right. said which the word. Phil for which philosophical definition are you using, Foot Soldier? I'm using the well-known accepted philosophical definition of which contingency, one? which is that something cannot occur uh, unless this other condition is. Can you give me that source? I no, because it's out it's off the top, of, it's off the top of my head. It is either unnecessary nor impossible. This sh okay, so I'm, I'm seeing it again on IEP. I see it looks like my definition again. So can you uh, just show no, me a no, source? No, it's not, it's not. Can you, all right, you can so just... oh, show, me, show me where I'm wrong then. I'd like to know. I'd like to know that oh, I've been okay. using this word wrong all the whole time. So I, I would, and I'd, yeah. I'd be happy to know that. Show me, show me. Yeah. If, if something, if something is entailed, um, the, then it means. Me, can you just show me the, can you just show me the source, please? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do you, are you um, just how, making, how do I, are you just making it up? Do you actually use saying you use no, it? I'm not making it up. Definitely. Okay, go ahead. Show me the source. Of, of course I'm not making it up, dude. Why am I just making stuff up there? See definitions in philosophy on Google. Just, I just, I just, by virtue like of the way things link, please link in it. fact are and not by logical necessity. Yes, exactly. No, not not exactly entailed. Thank you. No, no, that's not correct. Okay, so would you like another to use another definition? Just show me what uh, definition uh, you're working off of. So far, you just looked up uh, one no, definition. Could, could, oh, I'm, I'm, one. Working off the, I'm working off the same definition of uh, if, if something is contingent in terms of um, if we're talking about metaphysics me or something. Definition and you're looking for, show me the philosophical definition. I'm using contingency as opposed to entailment. Contingent versus entailment. You're, you seem to be using it as dependent on. That's, that's, the, that's the difference. So again, if you want to say, just show me, just show me what definition you're operating off of. Go ahead. If you want to say my, de my definition is wrong, which I am 
very, very confident it's not. I could always be. Okay, so, okay. so I'm, do, I'm just Googling here. I'm, I'm just Googling here spontaneously, and it's saying a proposition uh, which is necessary uh, is... Uh, for for either some proposition is metaphysically necessary or some proposition is metaphysically contingent. Right, exactly. It's, that's it's, how I was using the definition. Yes, that's how I mean it. Well, so 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 what you're saying that if, if X is contingent on Y, you can't have X without Y. No, it's not necessary. It's not contingent on Y. It's a contingency. It, in other words, it's not a necess It's not necessary. In like contingency words, so, in a layman sense means like a backup uh, plan. Now, right, so. now you're going back to the layman. I thought we were yeah, no, going so back I'm to trying to get clear on what, what you're actually referring to because <laughs> in the philosophical sense it means that right. um, at X if X is contingent on Y, then X can't occur without without Y. Right. <laughs> okay, so look, so look. I just want a source. Look, I, w I would like to have a source. I'm just going to ask you for it because you seem to be, you're very confident that I was using the definition wrong and I needed to concede. It seems to be everything we've looked up supported my, my position. So I don't know why you have to be like, stick digging your sh heel, heels in the sand on this. Look, I can tell you what I mean. I can just tell you what I mean. I'll, I don't have to get into a definition battle with you. I think it's clear that everything we've looked up in the philosophical definition, you didn't want to use the common sense that to claim in definition. The philosophical definition. We looked at the philosophical definition. It didn't go your way. Now you want to go back to the layman. Look, whatever. I'm telling you what I. Here's how I mean it. When I say contingency, I just mean that it's not an entailment. So if I buy this product, there's nothing intrinsic about the milk that will cause the suffering of the cow. It's not intrinsically entailed. So for example, I can buy the milk, and it turns out that it was milk from a cow that was on a sanctuary that was just being milked to relieve it of some swelling of its udders and it's not actually good it's going to be treated well and it's not actually it's going to be treated just as a pet or as anything like that it's not going to be slaughtered it's not going to be abused it's not going to be confined so we're not so there's nothing intrinsically about milk there's nothing intrinsic about milk that entails the suffering however when I go out to the grocery store, and if I were to buy it, it contingently does cause that suffering. The reason it contingently causes that suffering is because in this context where I do buy it, that's actually what's going to end up happening. It's going to, that demand will cause the suffering. It's not entailed to cause it, but contingently it does. Same thing with eggs, by the way. There's nothing intrinsically wrong about buying a discarded egg. If there's a discarded egg, there's nothing intrinsic that's going to cause the suffering of a chicken by taking that egg and cooking it or eating it if it's just a discarded egg from some sanctuary and the chicken okay. wasn't going to use okay. it. Okay, so, yeah. so let's get specific here. So if conventional tofu is not available, is it carnist to buy organic tofu in your position? No, because I think there are the alternatives to tofu that are available that are very easy. So... Uh, I, I didn't get um, a clear response to my yeah, yeah, I think it would be. I think it would be. I think there are alternatives available to tofu. I don't think tofu is is has this degree of ease that we'll. If, if we just have to get tofu, and we if even if the, all the tofu was uh, organic, that we we can't just have something else uh, other than tofu. If the tofu was the only food, like if, the, if that was it. Like if, if maybe we could talk about that, but there are other foods than tofu, right? So, so let me know if I'm understanding your position on that correctly. So you think that if conventional tofu is the only thing that is available to you in your area, then you just simply shouldn't eat tofu because it would be carnist to do so. Wait, no, that's not my position at all. I'm saying okay, that if, if there was, look, if it turned out that it was extreme, it was very difficult. It was it was extremely difficult for vegans to not eat tofu in the context where to, where tofu was just organic. If it turned out that for whatever reason it was just we were setting this unreal unre unrealistic unreasonable standard, then I would say that okay, it would be vegan to eat the tofu. But I don't think that that's the case. But yes, if if it was this, this unrealistic standard that we were setting upon vegans by saying, oh, well, there's only organic tofu here. You got to eat the organic tofu. If for some reason we really were setting some kind of unrealistic standard by doing that, 
then sure, I would say that it would be vegan to eat the organic tofu. I just don't think we're doing that. I think it's actually very easy to use other sources of protein. I think it's very easy to use other foods instead of tofu. And I also think there are many cases where uh, non-organic tofu is available. I think people don't really just look that hard. I think you could order it online. There are plenty of farms that do make conventional tofu. There are plenty, plenty of conventional tofu out there, and it's it's actually a lot easier than people make it out to be. But okay, that, what, that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, so I heard a lot of things said there, but I just want to get a really clean answer. Is eating conventional tofu you can't eat? You can't eat? Yeah, so it like again the clear answer is it depends it depends on how uh, what kind of realistic or unrealistic standard we're setting in the, this case in the overall majority of cases i would say it is carnist however mm -hmm. if there was some if there was some case you could make that there was an unrealistic standard by doing that then i would say it's not carnist but i do think that in the overwhelming majority of cases as a general heuristic eating organic tofu if that's the only tofu available is carnist Okay, so yeah, because you're the general heuristic guy, so we're not talking about specific circumstances because when I talk about specific circumstances, then you get upset with that. So let's talk about oh, as a wow. general heuristic. It, 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 eating uh, conventional tofu is carnist, according to Dr. Arby. What? First of all, why do... Look, I'm, I'm not... The, okay, a couple of things. So there's nothing... I don't have a problem talking about specific circumstances. Um, I also don't have a problem with talking about general heuristics. We could talk about both of them. Um, also, sure, but I mean, we've, also, we've been talking also, about general also, heuristics the whole time. Also, 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 um, just, I'll just put this out there. I never came up with the moniker Dr. Avi. I don't even use the moniker Dr. Avi. That's something other people have said and spread, and it's stuck, and it's caught. Um, you could just call me Avi. You don't have to call me Dr. Avi. Okay, yeah, well, cool. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so as a general heuristic, I think organic is carnist. I'm okay talking about specific cases to illustrate principles. Sure. Um, um, and then in the case, to answer your question, generally speaking, generally speaking, if tofu is only organically available, then it would be carnist to purchase because there are easy, accessible, alternative options that easily incorporate in their diet instead of the tofu. If that wasn't the case, then it would not be carnist. Okay. So, um, as a general heuristic, uh, conventional tofu is carnist. What? Conventional tofu? No. I said organic tofu. Oh, so, sorry. Organic tofu. Yeah. So, sorry. Yeah. Organic. Yeah. It is carnist, correct. Generally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so, then... I would like to get into the America is carnist argument because I do see it as a parallel there to the um, the, the tofu. So um, living in America, paying taxes, you saw a video. Uh, you said that it was stupid. You, you had um, you, you dismissed it, but um, could you tell me why uh, that there's any good reason why knowing with certainty? that your money will fund animal agriculture, your tax money, why you wouldn't just simply move to another country. It's not difficult to do. Yeah, sure. So, so, so if we set a standard, if we set an unreasonable standard for vegans by which they have to start moving, look, it's the same thing for the tofu. If, if, in, order to, if in order to avoid eating organic tofu, we had to move out of the country, then I would say it would not be vegan to, then it would be vegan to buy the organic tofu. I would be consistent there. If in order to avoid the organic tofu, we would have to risk going to jail, then I would say it would be vegan to purchase the organic tofu. If we were dealing with that level of difficulty or that level of unrealistic standards that we would set upon vegans, then yes, I would say in the tofu case, in the organic tofu case, it, it would be vegan to purchase the organic tofu as well. So, so you're saying it's yeah. okay to do something unethical if not doing it would be more difficult? No, I'm factoring... No, no, that's not what I'm saying. The context here, look, here's the ultimate context. The ultimate context here is that as vegans, we want to... We're looking for a balance. We understand that if we make things so unrealistic as a standard on us, then we're going to have a very hard time ending the animal agriculture. However, there are certain things that are not unrealistic standards and can easily be done. 
And that's the balance I'm seeking. And so I just see that organic falls into this very, very easy thing to avoid. And you actually save money by doing it. You, there's, it's even if there's any effect size, it's actually healthier. If there's no statistically significant difference, but if any effect size is there, it actually would be healthier to avoid organic. So all of these things, when we look at all of these things, it's just so easy to do and so beneficial. And there's no reason not to do it. And everything we, in, all the evidence indicates that it causes more demand to animal agriculture. It's not set the out to this moving out of the country. If we have this standard where we all have to move out of the country, um, then it's not that I'm saying it's okay to do something unethical because it's just hard to do the alternative. I'm saying that it actually would be ethical because if we were to set the standard for vegans that we would all have to move out of the country, we would just be left with a country that would just continue the animal agriculture industry for a greater amount of time. It would actually be a world where more wrong would happen. Yeah, so what you're saying there is um, it magically becomes ethical because not, otherwise not it would be different. No, no, come on. They don't have to, that's, no. Not, not well, you, you haven't explained. The reason why I use the word magical is because you haven't explained how it, something unethical becomes ethical when it's difficult or, or impractical. Yeah. So again, no, I'm I'm talking about if it's vegan. The, so again, we we agreed on the vegan side. Like, well, actually, we didn't. And you use the words practical. I don't like the words possible or practicable, but that is in the vegan society definition. Now we're talking about if it's vegan or not vegan. Now we can talk about ethics as well. So look, if the standard we're setting, if the standard we're setting here, is what 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 vegans would have to do then that does factor into whether it would be ethical because of the downstream effects. If there would be more deontic rights maximization versus violations, if there would be more uh, utility versus less utility, if all those downstream effects are affected by the standard we set, then that does factor into whether it would be ethical or not. By definition of whatever normative theory we're using, that includes those things. It's not a magic thing I'm slipping in. It's just something that, that follows from the normative theories that include those concerns. Yeah, so I, I don't really see that. I see that you've you've set set it up. So you're saying that something is carnist. So this is a, a in a deontic way. This is wrong. And then because it's difficult um, to difficult to avoid this, then it's now uh, in terms of Actually, your deontological system. Just to be clear, just to be clear, like, because I'm reading, I, I yes, I sometimes look at the chat, here you go, I'm reading the chat, and I think actually the chat is wrong here, I think we already did agree that as, I think VF did agree that as a general heuristic, it would be carnist if those things were in play. Did you agree to that? I don't think, it, I actually don't think he's weaseling here. Um, look, look, I, I, I'm a bit confused on what's happening, because you're really crackling, it sounds like you're coming yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, staffing. okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear I can hear you and understand you mostly, but it's just really yeah. No, 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 no. This was just this was just this was just the point of the chat. I actually think we did. He did agree, if I'm not mistaken. I think he did. I could be wrong about this. I think uh, he did agree that organic would, as a heuristic, be kind. Of those stipulations were in place. And uh, just to the, did, did, you, did you did you agree? Did you agree to that? Um. What with, with like the the milk one, the if if it, if you yeah, like yeah. Well, the milk the on the carrots, then it would be carnage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You agreed to that. Okay, no, that wasn't a weasel. He agreed. Okay, okay. Cool. Can can people in the can people in the chat comment on whether it's me who's crackling or or are because it, it's really getting distracting. All right, I got VF on my end. Oh, okay, 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 so. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna quit uh, and then rejoin. I'm pretty sure he conceded that on the as the general heuristic, organic would be carnist if it contributed the same amount. I mean, that's what I thought. If I if I misheard that, then all right, we can get yeah, that's fine. We can get clarity on that. Okay. All right, maybe I'm yeah, maybe I'm I could be wrong. I thought he said if it's the same. 
thought he said if it was the same, if we equated all those things, then yes, the organic would be carnist. I thought he said that. But okay. Yeah, 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 no, I know. He's trying to, he got unmuted me, yeah, yeah. Try talking now if it's older. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just, I just want to get clarity. Um, so if, if we could, so I, I hate to go back to this. I just want to get clarity that we actually did agree. I think we, I think we agreed and I think we were on the same page here, but I could be wrong. Conventional, uh, sorry, if organic did end up, if that differential between organic and conventional did end up in creating that same amount of suffering or deontic rights violations as purchasing the cup of milk a day, would you say that going on an organic diet is carnist? Yes or no? Uh, yes, if I knew with certainty that the same suffering was caused. With the same certainty that you have for, for milk? With this, well, the same degree uh, milk of certainty. Is 100% certainty. certainty. Well, no, it's, nothing's 100% certainty. That's not. Well, it is. If I'm buying milk, I know that that's come from somewhere. No, it's not 100% actually. The, the you, well, yeah, yeah, there's you, so you many arguments. Like backyard. No, backyard. No, no. no, there's there's demand is, can be quantized. It could be you can buy a cup of milk, and it could be that it, that you just didn't meet the demand quanta and you didn't cause any suffering. There's so many so many things that cannot make that not 100. percent So I'm just saying, to whatever degree of certainty that you there's a that harm in the same epistemic certainty for buying the cup of milk to the degree of harm that milk can milk cause uh, whatever deontic rights violations or you decrease in utility. It's the same thing for an organic diet. If we equalize all of that, would you say that the organic diet is carnist? Um, oh, yeah, uh, you just asking me again after I've already answered. I, I, well, I said well, if it's no, the same harm caused, if it's the same harm caused, and I know with certainty, then yes. No, uh, no, I, no, I think this is the fourth time. No, 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 that's not an answer. Maybe, maybe this is the fourth time or fifth time. Oh, that okay, no. So here's why it's not an I can explain why that's not an answer. So the answer is when you say I know with certainty, we've already established that you actually don't know with certainty in the mill case. That's why I'm saying in to whatever degree of certainty you know in the mill case, the same degree of certainty you know in the organic case. So uh, in, I, I, I'm saying that, that degree of certainty. I'm, so let's uh, was I'm saying that when, when, I, when I buy milk, I know that that's come from... Uh, ex uh, cows that have been exploited for that for that milk, so that's exploitation. Well, you don't, you so don't, don't know that one hundred percent. You don't know that one hundred percent. You you know you know you don't know any of these things one hundred percent. Don't say a certainty. You're one hundred percent. I'm just saying uh, I, I, degree, okay, reasonable, reasonable certainty. Yeah, reasonable. Like, I, I could like I, I could actually um, be dreaming and no one exists. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But, also, but, also, here's the, but also here's the, like there are arguments like for. For example, there's like an argument where you can say, well, the demand didn't get quantized. Like demand is quantized and it, I didn't reach the quanta for the re-up by buying the, the cup of milk. And so what I did wasn't actually wrong because even if I didn't buy that cup of milk, it didn't actually in, it reach the quanta level. Like there are so, so many there are so many pathways people can go uh, to say, well, you don't know actually 100% that you buying that milk actually instantiated, actually caused that. And it's true. They're correct. Technically speaking, they're, they're correct. You actually do have to reach a re-up point, but there are problems with that argument. So there is uncertainty, but that's, again, like as a general, as a heuristic, uh, people are, would, should avoid it. People should not do it. And there are a lot yeah, of reasons if why. We're talking, if we're talking in a philosophical sense, then you can't really be certain about many things. So, uh, well, but that's well, not no, what I'm right saying. Is that they, even the in, layman, even um, in, no, that's not what I'm getting at either. What, what, I'm getting, what I'm getting at is that when you buy a cup of milk, not just in a strict philosophical sense, when you buy a cup of milk, it's not actually guaranteed that you are giving this com like concrete demand to the animal agriculture industry that's going to actually result in more suffering. It could be. It is possible. Now, I don't, I don't subscribe to this argument because this is an argument that people like to weasel with out of veganism. But what, can, what people can say is that you didn't actually reach the re-up point when, for, for the quantized amount of economic demand. And it, that may be the case, but... I still don't think that argument works. All I'm saying here is that to whatever degree of certainty, if it can be shown that to whatever degree of certainty that purchasing the cup of milk causes X amount of harm, if going on an organic diet has the same degree of certainty that it causes X amount of harm, 
Would it be Carnist? Uh, I've already answered that it would be Carnist. Okay, um, cool. It, so the answer is yes. So, so the answer is yes, right? If it is causing the same harm, and I, and I could with with any sort of any level of uh, reasonable certainty, not one hundred percent certainty, but even ninety percent certainty. If if I was seventy five, the same the same degree of certainty for the cup of milk. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I, for a cup of milk, I'd be very, very certain, like a very high degree of certainty that that Just would for the same come. degree of certainty as the cup of milk. Yeah. So, so I've, I've, so I've how many times do I need to yeah. agree? Yes. Can we fucking okay, move on? I've agreed good. five times. Good. Maybe good. even six good. times. All I look. Okay. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was. The- well, I, I've. We've, we've, that's the that's fifth the or sixth time. time. The word time. The first time I've heard the word yesterday. I mean, as a clear. Well, it's that not. Re- you, you can rewind the recording after we're done and, and right. see. Well, the all right. Of okay. Because like, like, here's the thing. Like, you, you're you're constantly you're adding like, okay, all these qualifiers. Like, and it seems like I just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing when you're what what you're saying. That's yeah. All. Because I, I have to be careful. I have to be careful in what I'm saying yes to. Because if I don't. If I'm not specific on what I'm saying yes to, sure. then you would say, "Oh, well, you said yes to this." Yeah, and I and I have to be and I have to be careful that what you're saying yes to is what I'm talking about. Yeah, sure, sure. So, so great. Um, okay. So just to be clear, great. So, so just to be let's, okay, let's, get, great. let's get let's yeah. get back to let's get now, back to America's now, card. Yeah, the bank we shut that. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. So if Mar- yeah. So again, so if we have a that we're setting, if the standard we're setting actually results in more of the animal agriculture industry ha- happening if it results in more suffering it results in more deontic rights violation then i don't think uh, i don't think that um we should set that standard i would consider it vegan um and i would say that's true both for the organic case and both for the america case so i would be consistent i wouldn't be just char- picking one over the other i would be consistent in both cases and i would cons- i would have that standard for all these cases so, so, so the tiebreaker here between organic is carnist and America is carnist is the ease at which we could move out of the country. Not, not, not intrinsically, but contingently. So, because the ease at which we can move out of the country would result in more animal agriculture industry. It would result in ve- vegans in America not being able to stop the animal agriculture industry. It would, there are so many. It would result in more deontic rights violations. There are so many reasons that standard result in that. So that, that's just an assertion that more uh, it could go the other way. There could be less as a result of m- moving out. The, the tax dollars that the U.S. government could see, oh, people were fleeing. There's a mass exodus cu- coming out of America because of the uh, the the um, demonstration against subsidization of animal agriculture. So we better abolish that because we're losing people like. like there's an exodus going out of America. So you could go in the other way. So actually there could be a case to say that not doing that is an injustice and creates uh, and sustains then uh, I, an increase the level. Then I, would need a case, then I would need a case for that. Look, if that was really the case, if it turns out, if that all turns out to be the case um, and we could, we could have all that, we could have all that in place, then you yeah, we, we have to explore that. Um, Sure, we can ex- we can explore that. We need to see that laid out for me. That that if we, sure, well, if, all the vegans go away from the, if all the vegans go away from the, end of the animal agriculture industry, it sounds pretty. Cool. Um, yeah, well, I just laid it out for you so, in uh, so, hypothetical. No, Granting no, the hypothetical, you you've, no, you've you've you've, spe- you've you've laid it out, and I've and I've said I'm I'm not sure. I would have to look into that. There may be the, maybe okay. The can case. you grant? Can you grant it for now? And what would your answer be? Granting. Okay, so what are we granting exactly? Let me just. Um, and I know chat. We're gonna go back. I know he didn't. I know he didn't go back to the. I know he didn't go back to the actual debate proposition. I'm going off a little bit. I but I I want to address. I do want to address the America point because there are so many silly things that are said. About. We'll go back yeah, to the we'll original debate proposition. That's fine. I do want this to get out because I do think it's a really silly thing. Okay. So what are we? Just to be clear, what are we? What are we stipulating here? If we were to le- force vegans to leave the country? I don't know. If we were just to say. That living in America is carnist, to the same way you're saying organic is carnist, and it, to the same degree that we got uh, vegans to stop eating organic, and uh, we got vegans to move out of the country. Let's say we. we yeah, if it was just as easy, yeah, if it was just as easy as like moving my arm to leave the country, if it was just as easy, and and leaving the country would cause that same. I could for, and, for now, for, for now, yeah, if yeah, we yeah, say sure. just as easy. 
Yeah, just as easy. It would have just as less impacts on me. It would have just as less changes in my well-being. You know, if uh, I, all my family would move with me, all those things, I could snap my fingers. Just like if all those things happen, sure, absolutely. It, we, then it would be kindness to not do that. Sure. Okay, so uh, America is kindness, except um, there is some mitigating factor of difficulty, though, right? So what is that fact? What is that? Oh, I don't have to know exactly what the level is. I just don't. I, there's some gray area that there's going to be, and then there's some clear areas on both ends. And it just seems to me that there we're in a clear area in both. Well, then we're getting into really dangerous territory here because I could just say, "Oh, it's kindness not to grow your own." You, you, you can, you can take that position as long as you apply it consistently. So you can have that position, but you just have to go about it consistently. So yeah, I, I'm consistent. Not, so, in my so, so if so if you if you really believe that, it would just be a reductio. Yeah. So, um, what? Where would you stand on growing your own stuff? Like, have you got the ability to grow on stuff? And how difficult okay. would it be to so, gain? So, gain? so yes. Yeah, so that would be again. It wouldn't be an argument at fortiori, fortiori, because because it would clearly be it would clearly be much more difficult, and it clearly would be waste. It would take up much more of my time. And there are so many, and if we set that standard for all the vegans, then we would be, then it would take up a whole bunch of our time and when we could have been doing all sorts of other things to, to end animal agriculture industry. We, it just doesn't work. It clearly well, is, it clearly you, wouldn't be an argument at our tour. In other words, here's what is. you couldn't make the case that if this is, if this is carnist, then that is carnist. If, if organic is carnist, then America is carnist. Like that's, that takes the form of an arg, if argument at fortiori. That you would, in order to do that, you would have to establish that e, that the ratio of harm to that ease is is greater than the organic case. You would have to actually, that's the case you would have to make to make the a fortiori case. Well, what, what if I said that it was more difficult to leave the country, but in doing so, it would be way better for the animals. It would reduce yeah, if you could, exploitation. If you can establish, yeah, at some point, if you can establish that, if you can establish that there, there would be some threshold, sure, there would be some threshold. Right, there would be some threshold by which it would become carnist to not leave the country. Exactly. So the American yeah. carnist argument. But you would so have to actually. Argument. But you would have to actually show that. Now that's the implication. You've the freedom. That's will be premise one there. But, but you actually have to show premise two is true in order for the majority to hold. Sure. So when you said that the uh, American is carnist parallel satire argument was dumb i know it's yeah, obviously it's obviously extreme it's obviously extreme, premise, yeah, it's obviously premise, extreme. Because, we premise agree two, because premise two of it would be false i would reject it so it well, wouldn't I, it's I dumb, it's I dumb, dumb. Re re dumb. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, no i can help you write it out if you want um well, i don't need your help i just mean i haven't done it yet the reason the reason it's the reason it's dumb is because you'll it will never succeed as an argument of fortori well, the the thing is here. The the do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, mean when I say that? Yeah, you're saying that if it is the case uh, in this in this argument, then you can say that it's the case in this other argument. But the problem yeah, here is that comes from the greater. You, have to show, you would actually have to show that it is greater. Like whatever metric you're using is greater in the America case. By leaving America, you actually you, it actually is the case that you would contribute less. Uh, of the suffering or deontic rights violations, you would by leaving America, and it would be, it, and it would be, and the ratio of that to how how much how difficult it would it is would would be a greater ratio than the organic case. Like those are the sure. things you would have to show, and you cannot show that, and so that's why it's silly because it is it, 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 no, it's not because the the whole point of the argument was to show that given. Um, if, if, if we isolate, uh, get rid of, actually just like get rid of the um, difficulty variable for now, put the difficulty variable aside, then you're no, just I, as obligated. No, 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 yeah, yeah. So if, no, I'm not, I'm not putting, yeah, but I'm not going to put the difficult variable. No, but they, this is what the gonna, argument shows. Yeah. That's the whole yeah, point you know, of the no, argument. No, no, but okay, okay, but that's, but that would just be a misrepresentation of my position then. Well, no, it's not, because what I'm yeah, trying to do would, is saying uh, difficulty aside, 
Yeah, no. So it absolutely is a misrepresentation of my position because you're talking, you're using variables, you're using half of the variables that are in my position to show what they would show. So, so that's what sure, I'm you doing, can start yeah, you I understand that. that. I understand that, Avi. But what I'm doing well, then, then it would is be isolating a specific variable. I'm isolating a specific variable to to demonstrate a particular situation. So we can then right. extend this. Great. Your um, then your extension is we're talking about something completely tangential. Well, we're talking about some two logically different propositions. Yeah, but, we're, we're um, talking about it. no. We're talking about we're nope. We're talking about we're talking about a completely different position. If you if you say that Avi is a person who has this position that Avi doesn't, then we can take then we can take that position and show that this would follow from something. Maybe we could do. Um, sure, maybe you could. Maybe you couldn't. It would just be a position I don't hold anyway, so it wouldn't follow from my position. This yeah, but the only that, yeah. the, the only, so the only factor here is. F it wouldn't follow from my position. Look, all right, now let's, let's, again, we agreed to talk about the main debate proposition. I think I've given what I need to give about the straw man of my position with the America thing. So let's it's go into the data. Man, Paolo, so, so, no, it's, it's, a completely, it's a complete straw man because it doesn't take... It's not, straw, it's not straw man. Okay, so look, it, we're, show me the... Okay, demonstrate the F or Tory case. Okay, so um, you're making the case that organic is carnist in a way which is in you you're, you're trying to make some deontic case of x is carnist and um i'm showing you that because of all of the same reasons and even worse reasons um the, the living in america is also carnist and the only difference between the two is the difficulty at avoiding so that's not so that's not my position so we've already we've already yeah, so they've gotten off, off of what my position is. So uh, I know that's saying is to a, it's describing a parallel. Okay, so then you're describing a parallel that's not my position. I was ascribing a parallel which... which you uh, said parallel you're to trying position. to say... You're try you said the word you're in it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm describing a parallel to your position. Okay, but that's not my position. It doesn't follow from no, my it's position. No, parallel to it. What do you mean when you say there's a parallel to my position? So you've got an argument here, and next to it, I have made another argument which takes all of the same things, uh, in, like addressed no, in your position. No, here, yeah, it doesn't. And I just, it doesn't. I just no, changed no, 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 one no, of the. No, 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 no. You, you, it takes all of the same things except one of the major things. Like, no, it doesn't take all of the same things. You've, uh, I, you've taken away a uh, the, one of the major variables. Is uh, I've uh, that this is the whole point. No, it doesn't use all of this. Come on, that is so okay. I'm sorry. That is such a weasely move. I'm, no, why would you even try this. to do that? The whole it's point of the parallel, dude, The whole point of the parallel. Oh my was, god! I just said like, dude, here's dude, my dude, position. Dude, 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 dude. <laughs> dude, the whole here's point of the position. parallel was to isolate difficult. Here's my position. Here's my position. It's based on. Here are the two variables it's based on. You say, okay, well, this position show also leads to this if we only use one of the variables. Uh, okay, but that's not my position. My You're position saying position only requires two variables. Yeah, yeah, it uses multiple variables to to categorize things between or between carnist and not carnist. So, so you, you just you say your, here, your, your argument only has two variables. So if you just say so. If you just say if you have if you only use one variable, it leads to this. Even if true, it would be a Try, let's you, try again. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. How the many, how many variables case. do you have? Do you have more? Than demonstrate for Torah case with those two variables. Go. Uh, which two variables? Have you been listening? I mean, look, the two variables are number one, the degree of demand. Number two, the the ease of an alternative. So you, but but then that's not an argument for anything. It doesn't make a case for anything. No, so I don't know no, what what yeah, demand for what demand for what that we don't we don't about the suffering of the animal. Demonstrate. Can you demonstrate the affortori case? Okay, the demand for the, the okay variable one, the amount of suffering or deontic rights violations that are caused by that demand. Variable two, the ease of the ease of avoidance or the ex, well-being externalities on yourself or on on your relatives or whatnot. Whatever we can say, just whatever method I set up here. I just want to know if you can ever even come close to setting up an argument at Fortori for the America case. And I really don't think you can. Well, look, if, um, 
buying organic causes suffering to animals and if living in america causes suffering to animals then uh if we want to avoid causing suffering to animals then we should avoid that's buying organic so that's not an that's pork. not an affortory so you, I, not, I don't care dude. I, I i'm just drawing the parallel no, but, and it's but it wouldn't, it wouldn't, that's what's required no the affortory would actually be required to show that it follows in other words you would you because it, you could just be causing suffering to a lower threshold and it could just be that that threshold on someone's on someone's threshold view is just below what they would categorize as carnist or non-carnist. That's why I started this conversation with a cup of milk because everyone looks ridiculous when they say the cup of milk is not uh, the demand. Doing that demand with the cup of milk is a vegan thing. So I'm just starting there and I'm saying, okay, well, this is a level of demand with relation to an ease of an alternative that we clearly accept as non-vegan. Organic clearly falls within that category as well. So organic would be carnist. Now, in the case of America, it's not clear that that falls within that category. Well, wait, look. Firstly, I don't even know why I have to give you an Afro Toro case for it. Like, you need to give an Afro So here's why you need to give... No, 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 no. no. I can just do a parallel. I can the just reason, do an equivalent. The reason, the, reason, the reason... Well, an equivalent would actually be almost an Afro Toro. Yeah, but it's would, not one, is it? You can do that too. Sure, sure. Sure. That's you what can, I'm you, trying you, to do. Okay, fine. Sure. You can show you can show an equivalent or an affortory. I accept that. Yeah. Okay, if you cool. want to be able to show that the that the race that if you want to be able to show that the ease of the ease of leading America and the as well as that the suffering that's caused and deontic rights violations that are caused by being in America is is actually equivalent to that, go for it. I'm happy to hear it. Okay. So we can just say that there's one deontic violation occurring by buying organic and that is there is animal suffering occurring as a result and living in america there's one okay, deontic, that's not a deontic um, right. violation no, occurring. That's, not, that's not that's not okay so that's not i'm not just saying we're not we're not you would actually have to show what is what you would have to no look you would have to see all the deontic rights violations that are happening so for example a deontic rights violation i would consider would be raping of the cow uh, in the yeah, dude, case, dude, 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 I'm just simplifying it. I'm not, uh, dude, I'm not going to okay, sit here sure, and go ahead. through every single act. I'm just going to do, do um, and across the board, there's one uh, violation here. There's one violation there. Where's and the, then where's the violation? Hold on. Where's the, where's the deontic violation in the American? In the American case, you're you're giving money, lots of money, a lot more money than organic uh, for someone who actually earned, has got a decent job. Uh, I'm assuming that you've got a decent job. So you're paying thousands of dollars a year towards um, uh, a, a tax system many, which wait, subsidizes thousands, animal that, Wait, wait, how many thousands? Of, wait, so let's, let's talk about two things. Number one, we can talk about whether that's a deontic rights violation. It doesn't actually necessarily follow that's a deontic rights violation, by the way. Or well, it doesn't actually, follow I mean, that buying organic is a deontic rights I'm actually, rights. no, no, it, you know, you know it, it would. For the same reason, if we want to, whatever reason we would consider a deontic rights violation by buying milk, we would have to consider it the same for the deontic rights violation of, um, of buying the organic. And the reason, the reason for that is because they all go to the same, it creates demand for the same deontic rights violations in the same context. It would be very hard to make a symmetry breaker there. It's a lot easier to make a symmetry breaker um, with the, uh, it's a lot easier to make a symmetry breaker with the taxes case. But I actually want to know the numbers. I actually don't think it's an equivalent amount with the taxes case, the amount of money in my taxes that actually goes to the animal agriculture industry. I actually think there would be more to the animal agriculture industry in the organic case than in the, uh, than in the taxes case. Yeah, we're moving pretty slowly throughout this debate, so we're not. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. hoping that I'd like to, to I'd like actually no. I'd like to you show equivalence. Show equivalence. You want to say the taxes are equivalent? Show equivalence. I'm actually not convinced of that when I went into it. Okay, I'm so, actually, I actually so think and I actually think I actually think the organic actually causes more. You actually give more money to animal agriculture with organic than you do by paying taxes in America. Okay, so let's do that now. So um, we can say that there's some amount of money which is being contributed to the animal holocaust in industry um, with some degree, may, maybe, maybe not, some degree of certainty. I'm not saying if that's closer to zero or closer to 100, but there's some degree of certainty that your money is going to contribute to the animal holocaust industry when buying organic through manure. 
And yeah, but know, is it equivalent? Know, but again, in order to learn, you know that it's equivalent. And then there's some amount of money, which is not just possibly being contributed to the animal holocaust industry with taxes, but with certainty being contributed to the animal holocaust industry through yep, taxes. Yep, because but, in order, but again, in order to show that if this is carnist and that is carnist, you need to show equivalence or an argument a fortiori. That doesn't, that doesn't actually show that if, if this is carnist, then that is carnist. Sure, I'm just establishing that Great. you are so paying you have money a case? to the Holocaust you, can you actually and you're paying you money to the animal Holocaust. Establish, can you establish equivalency or an affortory? Okay, so it's contingent on your earnings, um, the amount of tax okay. you pay. Great, your tax can, you show that it's equal, can you show that it's equivalent or affortory? And this is a general heuristic. Can you show that it's equivalent as an as equivalent or or an effort or? Uh, I can't do that because I'm not convinced of the data for great. the organic. Now let's group. great. Now let's now let's now let's go back to the original then, because if you can't show an equivalent or an effort or, then the America case fails. Good. So, yeah, but you 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 can't you can't go, even specify go, how much. Go, you can't you can't go, quantify it either. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, you haven't made the case. So let's go yeah, to the you, case of organic. In the case of organic, the case of organic, case of organic I can make the case, my dude. So well, let's, you go can't. To, let's go. Let's go here. Yeah, absolutely, I can. So let's go. Let's go to the data for why it is equivalent or greater in the mill case. Okay. So we already agreed that if it causes the same amount of demand, if the, it causes the same amount of demand for deontic rights violations or cons, or or uh, utility drain, then it then it would be carnis. Now the second. The second point I'm going to make is that actually is the case, that it does cause equal amounts of demand or utility drain as organic. Uh, sorry, as, as milk, as buying a cup of milk a day. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Harvey. Let's just get to the point here. How much money per year is spent from the organic industry on animal agriculture via manure or the other same, animals? Same, okay, so it's the same. Uh, here's my calculations. Here, I'll show it. I'll post it right here. Hold on. Uh, I want a figure, just one figure, how much money per year is being spent on the animal holocaust industry through? Uh, through organic? Um, if, I, if I don't have it on, I have it on an individual level. I have it on an individual level. It's the same as the, as the milk, a uh, cup of milk a week on an individual level. I can get you the figures. Well, I can go back and get you the figures on the, that macro scale if you want. We can, yes, we can go please. and explore that. But, but I don't see how that's relevant because I have uh, it. It is entirely level. relevant. I don't see why we would need to. I don't see why if it's if I have it on an individual level. So uh, I I require that data for you to establish why? any control here. Why? If because if I, the I, question on the table, no, the question on no, the question on the table is no, no, no. I actually don't because I already got you to admit. I already got you to admit that if it was if you were going to generate an equivalent amount of economic demand in the milk case, then it would be in the organic case, then it would be harnessed. In the organic case, you already admitted that. So now all I have to do is show you on an individual level that you would do that, and then the conclusion would follow. So here's the calculation. No, no, because of the equivalency between the two arguments, I would like to see what the figure is. Yeah, I'll show you what the figure is on the individual level. No problem. Here. No, no, no on the macro level. Yeah, here's the calculation Hold on, on the macro level. No, no, no. You actually again. You already, you already admitted on the individual level. So you didn't actually admit on the macro level. You actually conceded. Well, no, you conceded. We're, like, we're, we're no, talking about something no. different. Oh. You agreed. You agreed to the individual level, and in, you agreed to the individual level in the implication. Uh, yeah, no, but I'm interested you right agreed, now. The macro agreed, level. Agreed. Oh no, no. Now you're trying to shift. You agreed to the individual level. You. I, I said if you, if you were to do it, if in the hypotheticals I was giving, if it was a person who. I didn't say on a macro level. We can do that. We can do that later. Don't worry. We can do that too. Let's but just say that now, man. I'm interested okay, in that no, now. We, no, no, okay. Nope. But I'm not going to let you weasel off to that because I already. I'm not weaseling, dude. I just want. I just want to pick him. So look, okay. Well, I haven't been weaseling. I just want to pick him up. You agreed. You agreed to the individual level. Now let's actually show that it follows. Okay. Here's the calculation. Hold on. Can I I'm posting the calculations in general.
Okay. Here's the calculations in general. As you can see, based on the data from the FAO, based on the sentiments echoed in the literature, in the peer-reviewed literature, here's the math. Using a steel man for you actually contribute more economic demand as an individual by going on an organic diet compared to the differential compared to organic diet to conventional diet than you do for milk. So what do you have? Do you accept that you do actually contribute more demand for these deontic rights violations and utility drain or suffering generated with this action? Yes or no? If no, what's the problem with the data? Uh, I, the first time I've seen this, so I just need to read and understand okay, what go ahead. you're working on. Yeah, go for it. Can, well, maybe let's go through this together. So 50, 53 tons of manure. Uh, I, I, I need references. And yeah, there's I need to know, the, yeah. University of Wisconsin. Yeah, university of, yeah, it comes from University of Wisconsin. Yeah, I've, I've looked at their sources as well, and they're pretty random, depending on what you're actually trying so, to do you have, do, you have another, do you have another figure for the same acreage of, of corn? Yeah, yeah, uh, I actually what, have. What pretty, figure do you have? I I have pretty good figures in the study. I just need to uh, look that up. But um, I, I'm just going through this for now. Uh, so, go. So twenty okay, so years. One, wait, on wait, diet. no, no, no. We're not going to go. We're not. No, if you're going to contest the number, you actually have to show that the number is going to be like I'm. I'm off in my numbers. So, do you have a figure for for corn? Do you have a, in terms of uh, manure required? In terms of how much pounds of nitrogen are required for manure? Do you have a number that's substantially different than this one? Yeah, so the $19 here. Um, Wait, it, it, no, um, I'm not talking about dollars. I'm talking about pounds of nitrogen required. Do you have a different number for that? Uh, yes, it depends on the farming okay, operation. What? what, so what, I'll, I'll what? No, uh, no, no. I said as a general heuristic, do you have, again, in the case, is that number off? Yeah, wait. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. In the gonna general look, case uh, of organic, is that number in the general case is that number off? I just need to look in my studies here. I need to go through. Here's another source. It actually, it actually is even more. This other source says per acre of corn crop, average corn yield in the U.S. Use low scenario above would require 22.2 tons of manure per acre, 0.2 pounds of nitrogen per bushel of corn, or 209 pounds of nitrogen per acre needed. That's even more than the than the than the earlier source. Actually, that even that favors me even more. So I'll post that as well. How much nitrogen per acre? I'm just calculating it because I've got per hectare. Okay, then you'd have to calculate it an acre. I, I, I think it's approximately the same amount of uh, pounds of nitrogen. I, I don't know here if that is nitrogen or manure weight. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's not. There's, I think no, it's way it's, there's no way it's manure weight. Yeah, yeah, there's sure. no way 160. No, but you if don't you're know talking, if, you're in the, if you're in the range, If you're in the range of 100 or hundreds of pounds, there's no way that's manure weight. It's, there's tons yeah. and tons of manure per acre that are used. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, yeah. sure. Okay, I, I, I think I think it is actually about. I, I do actually have about the same. But the great. problem here is the um, the financial what what you're you're applying great. to it in, in terms of the great, great. If you have an issue with another figure, so we grant we grant the figure about the pounds of manure. Let's go to the next part. What part do you disagree with? Wholesale manure prices. Oh. Is that what you disagree with? The yeah the 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 the. the cost. Okay, so where where does the cost of what is the cost of you? So because of the way and that I mean, 
by the way, wholesale, wholesale or retail, let's just get to the cost. Wholesale, wholesale, not wholesale, not retail, because I'm comparing wholesale to wholesale. Yeah, so most farmers don't buy manure at wholesale. Okay, I'm talking about, okay, again, we can do it by wholesale or we can, we can do retail comparisons too. By the way, the retail comparisons make organic look even worse. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm not saying that commercial farmers buy it retail. This is a That's wholesale ridiculous. comparison. A wholesale comparison makes organic look good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they buy it at retail. I'm saying they don't even buy it wholesale. Most of this is not uh, bought because okay, of the way the agriculture works. Okay. So again, again, look, dairy. The dairy farmer. The dairy farmers are either selling them. They're selling their manure. There's no question about that. They're able to sell it for hundreds of thousands of dollars. It clearly is being bought, either being bought or or it is offsetting a differential in economic demand by, but it is offsetting a differential in cost, which would have a, which would have value in it. Of, just even if it's not yeah. being bought, if it if it serves that differential, there would still be demand. Okay, so when we use yeah, be demand, but, but your yeah. figure is completely off then. No, it's not at all. Why, yeah, where it's completely wrong. wrong. If it has, if it has that value, what's the? What, why is the? Why is my figure wrong? It's completely off because it wouldn't have that value. Why, why would? Why would it be? Why would the value be substantially different? Because we wouldn't buy it. We would. No, um, no, no, no. It would be traded. No. <laughs> okay, but why would it be traded for a substantially different value than than the wholesale price? Because the symbolistic nature of the cooperation between different farms. So you've got, for example, okay. in can you Belgium. Give me, can you just can you just give me some fig? Can you just give me some figures on? Yeah, I can. I can, can give, you give you me some study? figures on. Can you give me figures of how much of how much the sales are? Can you give me figures of how much the sales are for dairy for for, for manure that is different from mine, and how much different yeah. from it it would be? Yeah, sure. I, I can give you multiple studies showing okay. what's the what's the there. what are the figures? Or if you let me talk, if you. Don't interrupt me and you let me talk, then you'll understand what I'm saying. Because if you just interrupt me, you, you don't know what I'm saying, probably. So why don't you just listen? Um, so I've got studies which demonstrate, depending on the type of soil, depending on the agricultural re region, there's various different types of trading which occurs, uh, bartering more specifically, and there's symbiotic relationships between different farmers in certain regions. You've got pig farmers. Uh, if, if you're in a, a sandy soil, for example, uh, in Belgium, for example, uh, there's a lot of pig farmers in this region. So they don't buy in manure because they use the pig slurry instead, and they swap that um, on their arable and land. Do you know what would have, yeah, and do you know? And do you know what would happen if you could? They couldn't use those that. Uh, that then it would um, be bad for both of them, right? Because it, they're exchanging. Um, straw for bedding for the um, and for, for the animals. Questions. Do you know what would happen? Do you know what would happen if we couldn't use the pig slurry? Yeah, I, I did already answer that by saying we'd be no, bad for no, both. No, no. They, okay, yeah, we'll be bad. But would they pay? Would they pay more money for the for the whole process with the whole process of raising the pigs or raising whatever they're using the pig slurry for? Um. Sorry, would the would the whole process of raising the pigs uh, generate more more or less money overall? Is the question? Yeah. So if they weren't able to uh, have a symbiotic relationship with the farms, it would be significantly more expensive to do business, and in some cases they would go out. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so then in the in the case where manure has this given wholesale value, I don't understand why. Even if it pays a certain amount, they, if they would even if they would give it away for free or just use it for, free, I don't see how the value somehow magically changes. The wholesale value would just be the same in the market. It's just that they would make right. a decision. It's yeah, it's just that they would just make a decision based to do it with a certain amount of money or not amount of money because of the differential that it would offset if they were rational actors. That wouldn't uh, actually is, make any difference. In the, it wouldn't actually make a difference in the value of the manure. It's, it's only logistics. You, you are aware, Harvey, that the value of manure is um, completely contingent on the location of the production. Uh, so I said as a general heuristic, we're going back into, yep, we're going back. In, yep. So as a general heuristic, do you have figures that differ from this value of manure than mine? 
Yeah, because as I say, no, no most farmers, I have started. Better, well, listen to what I'm saying. Again, listen to the words that come out of my mouth. No, 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 no. As a general rule of thumb, I'm not talking about if you can cherry pick a specific case here or there. As a general rule yeah. of thumb, do you have numbers that are substantially different than mine? Yeah, I have On numbers. Average. Average. Yeah, I have numbers which go. Oh, show me. Show me. Show me. Yeah, far, farmers don't generally buy. Um, I'll, I'll actually go through. They they, they generally trade. It's, Show it's me like, the numbers for the different different value of manure. Show me the numbers. Yeah, but, for the but that's value. not a number that they trade. Trading isn't a number. Right? They, they trade. Me, show me the numbers for the differential value of manure. It doesn't matter if they. Well, it doesn't yeah. matter if they're buying it or if they're trading it. The value differential is going to be the same. No, it's not. Uh, yes, it. Yeah, of course, it will be. There's no reason to think. I Show me oh, the look. different value of Arvin, Show me the different you're, you're, are, you're asking a silly oh, question here, Arvin. You're show asking me, a silly question. Show qu me your figures, but told you. you said you had figures, show it to him. I showed you my figures here. Uh, I, I can show you a study which show will me. say that show those me. farmers go ahead. Yeah, me. okay, I'll get the uh, I'll need to find the study show where me. it specifically says. Go ahead, find it. Find it. Post it. Yeah, uh, you'll have to be patient. I have to sit here and go through maybe maybe go, it was heavy fifteen it. minutes. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, so let's let's just wait until I find it. Maybe it'll be about fifteen minutes. So go ahead. Just, uh, go ahead. Find find okay. your figures. No, it's important. If you want to say that the value of man I've got it wrong on the value of manure, I, on the average value manure values per ton or whatnot, go ahead. I I'd be happy to Okay, so uh, I've I've got this I've got this one um, study. Yeah, right I've seen here. that one. I've read that one already. Yep. Yeah, the, I've, the already read, I've already read. I've already I've already read that one. Yeah. The, then you'll be then you'll be aware that at the start um, of it, it, it talks about the geographic distribution of farms and the importance of the location of farms and the trading that that. Again, what's the What's the value of manure and how is it substantially? It's substantially different because it's not. So what is it? What's the figure? What is what is the figure of the value of manure? No, the value. Of manure, if you trade something, it doesn't mean there's a different value of it. What's the difference in the value of manure? Well, that that's just it's up to the farmers. It, uh, I, I don't, I'm, it, I'm not privy to the information. Okay. Can you show me that there's a difference in the value of manure in that area? Yes. They trade it go for ahead. nothing. Figure. Okay. The, the trade, okay. That doesn't mean there's a difference in the value of manure. That just means that trading it for the ease of leaving, the ease of getting it off their hands is equivalent to the value of that the manure, that the manure has. Uh, I, I feel like there's an interpretation the case, here between case, value be, and monetary if it value. Wasn't the case, if it wasn't the case, they wouldn't be trading it for them. I feel like there's an equivocation between monetary value and value here. To whatever degree, to whatever, de okay, look, to whatever degree, <laughs> look, whatever degree the farmer is valuing that manure as, it's, as a commodity, they are valuing the ease of taking it off their hands as an equivalent, as, as an equivalent service, to equ equivalent in value to that commodity. If it wasn't the case, they wouldn't make the, so what is the difference in figure? Show, tell me again. What, what in your study tells me there's a difference in figure? I'm aware of the study. I've read this study. I, it actually is a study to support the notion that that um, organic is actually not that sustainable. Uh, well, I don't they, rely think, on, I, they rely yeah. on imports. They rely on imports from conventional farms. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. Have that, yeah, have you read how much of an imports they rely for conventional farms in some cases? Yeah, I have read this study, and it's okay. actually useful to demonstrate how you're wrong in your. Oh, no, this was this again. This was the this was the what's it called? This was the point that pal that the pal from Conscientious Omnivore tried to make. It, it just doesn't work. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't think I'm making a, a point that you think I'm making here. The point okay. that I was going to make with this is the fact that um, two thirds. If you look at the the graph in that study. Two thirds of the end fertility came from nitrogen fixation, whereas in conventional agriculture, it, it is not from nitrogen fixation because they don't practice crop ro rotation. They do monocrop agriculture. First of all, even first of all, even first of all, even in the oh, well, let's read through this study. Even in that, 
first of all, there's a number of problems with that. Number one, it just only takes into account nitrogen, doesn't take potassium and phosphorus into account. So that's uh, used. But number two, um, I have to see if it's actually coming. Let me actually take a look if it's actually coming from atmospheric fixation because when we actually look yes, at numbers for atmospheric, it's in the yeah, no, no, I, no, I, no, I, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, because what, because other data that tries to replicate this, when they actually looked at nitrogen fixation, they actually could not replicate these numbers at all. But let me actually see, um, let me see the how many kilograms per um, acre there were. It's per hectare, kilogram per hectare. Oh, per hectare, yeah, per hectare, that's fine. How how many kilograms per hectare were there? Uh, I, I worked it out that the um, manure was the same as the figure that you got, but the nitrogen fixation was two thirds of the end fertility. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, again, how many? That doesn't answer the question. How many kilograms? How many kilograms per hectare? Uh, from nitrogen fixation. From fixation. Uh, from, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sixty, sixty um, kilograms per hectare in one year. 60, okay, let me, where is, uh, let me just see where that is. Um, I have to find that in the study. Hold this on this is on page eight. Oh, no, sorry, page, page four, the page numbers are different. Page, page four with the, the graphs. Uh, okay, origin of the farm gate nutrient. Okay, which, which graph are you talking about, the first or the second? The first. Okay, so I see nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, origin of the farm gate nutrient inflows for the 63 sampled organic farms, data for the period, is this the one? Data for the period 2000? Yeah, so, so you see in, in the key, you've got at the bottom ATM. ATM is atmospheric. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. 60, percent, uh, sorry, sorry, 60 kilograms per hectare is atmospheric. And only about th less than 30 is actually okay yeah 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 okay so, so, so it's the yeah, 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 like sure, the, sure. the majority so, yeah, so, so is coming the issue, from yeah, yeah no, i got you i got you i got you i got you yeah so the issue here is that this only accounts for nitrogen it doesn't count for phosphorus and potassium we could do the same calculation for phosphorus and potassium and it doesn't work the other issue with that is when this has been tried to be replicated they never got anywhere close to those numbers when they tried to replicate these fixation rates it hasn't it, it, it has come nowhere near that amount of kilograms per hectare per year Okay, well, um, can you provide evidence for that? Firstly, and secondly, this is just counterintuitive. Wait, wait, you, because... want me, you want me to provide evidence here? I'm providing evidence. Okay. Sure. Um, but, but also, with crop rotation, you don't actually need any additional nitrogen because uh, with, crop, uh, with, with um, uh, nitrogen fixation, uh, of crops like uh, leguminous crops, it fixate, no, fixates all the nitrogen. I nitrogen. understand this argument. I understand this argument. When they tried to replicate it with legumes, they didn't actually get anywhere close to that. Here, we can show because when they when they actually separated out between what they called fixation by actually measuring like by actually looking at fixation versus just the what was covered on the on the on the ground from the matter that was already imported by using manure into those legumes, they actually got completely different numbers. So here's here's my source for that. Hold on. Okay, the relevant section and the um, the study is posted. Interaction and balance calculations analysis we choose to emphasize large nitrogen influxes, which are generated by farmers. However, environmental nitrogen inputs from atmospheric nitrogen deposition are external nitrogen input fields to this region. Uh, input fields to this region. The mean deposition estimates at the U.S. study site were 3.8 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year, 4.7 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year. Uh, 2.9 kilograms nitrogen per hectare per year. And these are sampled in different sites, Iowa, Ohio, Minnesota, 3.7 kilograms hectare per year uh, in Wisconsin. Mean deposition input in the Ohio site was significantly larger than deposition in the Wisconsin and Minnesota sites. However, adding the nitrogen deposition flux to the ba and nitrogen balance did not change the results of our analysis of management practices. The nitrogen deposition inputs were small, especially relative to the management of nitrogen uh, management different nitrogen inputs and are essentially similar across sites. Basically adding this influx, adding this flux decreases the nitrogen surplus or decreases the nitrogen deficit 
for all fields by 3 to 4 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year. Okay, so if we so, to decrease by 3 to 4 uh, kilograms per hectare yeah. per year, then instead of being it would yeah. be, yeah, yeah, it's tiny. Yeah, it's exactly. So this couldn't be, re this, what I'm saying is that this doesn't seem to be replicated. I would really like to see how they're measuring nitrogen fixation here because when we try to replicate and look at these legumes uh, taking out all this, all this nitrogen for the, and putting it in, it just doesn't, it just doesn't come out to the, those numbers. Yeah, it, it falls short by like, Ten yeah, percent, ridiculous amount. Yeah, yeah. Fall no, 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 that's not ridiculous amount. amount. It's still, it's still the majority of the nitrogen. <laughs> the Wait, majority. what? No, no, it's not the majority. Now, you know how much nitrogen is required to for per acre for this corn? Yeah, you, no, um, do you know how many uh, wait 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 i can just show you how it comes out to like six percent so this total that all this input is going to come out to like six let, let's look at this graph dude let's look at this graph i, so, I understand not, the graph I, almost, I, I, this, almost 90 I kilograms, already. I understand almost 90 the kilograms yep. per hectare mm -hmm. which is contributing almost 60 from atmospheric now you're saying it could be I, I understand, I'm, off I'm by understand. I, yep 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 i'm understand uh, yep i'm saying yeah so it's over the half of the nitrogen dude Yes, I understand, and I'm, that's why I'm skeptical. It seems yeah. Like, so it seems concede, like a... so concede that it's still the majority of the nitrogen. Yes, but I'm st again. Like I, I understand what the graph says. I, I can, can you just concede says. clearly that it's even, still the majority even, even of the nitrogen? The case, even even if that's again, even if that's the case, it's a small. Even if we use this number, by the way, it's still it's still, and we can recalculate the numbers. Even if we use that number, it would still be. It's actually, it would still be a problem of, you would have a problem, of, A, a problem of replication, B, a problem of phosphorus and potassium. Uh, I heard wiggling. I didn't hear a concession. Okay. So uh, we'll concede. What am I conceding to exactly? You're conceding that it's still over half of all of the that's not a That's not a concession. No, that's not a concession. That's so it is. Because you, you said, oh, no, no, that's no, not, I didn't. That's not I didn't I didn't know. No, I said I no. It's not something I just. I didn't disagree that in this study that's what they found. No, you you said that this study couldn't be replicated, so this study was yeah, bullshit. Sure, but then sure. you said that the study couldn't be replicated because it, it fell short by four kilograms per hectare. But if Wait, you even what? No, 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 no. I didn't say it fell short by four kilograms per hectare. I said four kilograms per hectare was what was found in the other studies total. It fell short. The other. It fell short. You know how much it fell short by? It wasn't four kilograms per hectare. It, it, de like it decreased by three to four per hectare, you just said. Or it's like six. No, 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 no. It decreased two, not by. It decreased two. It says here it, it decreased in the field by three to okay. four. It, 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 that's that. No, you, that's total. That's the total inputs. Look, the mean it, it says decreased by. Oh, no, you're misreading it. You're like, okay, look. It, the, the, they're talking about, they're talking about the, to look. The mean depositional estimates. For each U.S. study sites, again, these are the total uh, deposits. Three point eight kilograms. It says decreased by. Right? They are, they, yes. This is the first yes. time I've read the study. Yes. Maybe yes. you're right, but, yes. but from yes. what you've yes. just read, decreased you just said decreased. decreased. Do you know what decreased by is relative to in this study, dude? Decreased by is just relative to that total nitrogen. The total nitrogen um, uh, adding to this flux de increase the nitrogen surplus or decrease the nitrogen deficit by all fields by that amount. Yes, it's not relative to your study. It's relative to what just the baseline was in that study. It's, that's why it's three to four. Just like everything is three to four, at three or around three or around four in all these other sites. It's just so. So, so, so this wasn't so. So this wasn't a response to the other study. You said this no, is a response. No, to the no, this is no. It's not a response to the study, but the, it illustrates the same problem that it's not replicated. Well, well, why did you say they couldn't replicate the study then? Because, in, in this because they because when they try because when the same they couldn't find the same results and they found completely different results. So, so th this was a completely different study. They weren't trying to replicate the other study and failed. Which, which so, was, what you meant they, was this they is are trying to do the exact same result. thing that they are trying to measure the exact same thing. They're trying to measure atmospheric yeah. nitrogen deposition in these legumes. They're trying to measure the atmospheric nitrogen deposition, and it they came up it came up abysmally short. Yeah, so this is just a different study. Then this isn't really so. Yeah, so, so what you, I'm saying, yeah. So I'm saying, so, so I'm saying, yep. So I'm saying, okay. So here's so here's what I'm saying. At least in the at least in the Americas. Okay, there's, there seems to be this one study that found these magic legumes that had all of this nitrogen atmospheric deposition. Doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be replicated from everything I'm looking at. 
Um, even when I looked at the other uh, other data, it looked like it wasn't actually from the atmosphere they were measuring. It's just they looked at the nitrogen that was from the of the of the plants when they were on the ground. Um, from what other some other data I've seen, but. Yeah, so look, I, I think the data is inconsistent, and I think it actually goes down to figures that don't really make any difference, that barely make any difference at all. Dude, th this wasn't even an American study. Dude. This was this a French study. It was an American study. What? Dude, it was in the France. The study that I'm talking about was an American study. No, the study that I meant was in France. Yeah, I know. I know that it was in France. I understand that it was. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm and maybe, look, maybe there's something magical about the legumes in France. Yeah. Maybe there is. They're European, Something, much better than American ones. No, no, no. I, I didn't dis. I, again, I don't disagree with. I don't disagree with the study. I don't disagree. I don't. I, I, I disagree that it hasn't been. I, I'm skeptical of it. I don't disagree that this is what. Let me just look at how they're measuring atmospheric. Uh, let me just take a closer look at how they're measuring this because it seems very weird. Uh, Dude, it, okay, okay. We, we, you've got one study saying one thing. I've got one study saying another thing. Uh, atmospheric. Do you, we... have, do you actually have uh, data on how many on the amounts of organic farms that require crop rotation compared to the amounts of organic farms compared to conventional farms that require crop rotation? Uh, I have been searching for a study on the conventional agricultural methods uh, in, in respect to certain things like crop rotation, but I've not really found that much. It, it doesn't seem Wait, to be so much then it wouldn't even be, Then problem. the whole thing would just be tangential because it wouldn't even be a symmetry break. Well, no, well, this is the thing. Large-scale large scale conventional agriculture doesn't uh, tend to do crop rotation as frequently because of the monocrop uh, thing. Do you have thing, a right? Do you have a reference that large that uh, that conventional uh, in general doesn't crop rotate as much as organic does? Well, they're not required to, but many certifications require. Do you have a re Do you have a reference on how many organic organics um, are required to do that? Uh, as I say, I, I don't have specific data, but I can show you the dem uh, demo guidelines um, detailing okay. how you're I'd supposed like, to. Do I'd like. I would. I would like the data. Well, I don't know if the data exists. You're asking for well, something that the may reason, not exist. Well, the reason it's the reason the reason it's important is because you actually, in order to show that this is like a relevant symmetry breaker, you actually need to show like, oh, actually, let's ignore the fact. By the way, we're ignoring the fact that it still wouldn't get you to where you want to go because we could just do the same calculation with phosphorus and potassium, and you're in the same problem. No, but, not really. They're they're uh, much smaller inputs. Much smaller input. Yeah, in, in, in terms, the, the main bulk of money is, uh, as far as I'm aware, spent okay. on... Uh, even, okay, okay, great. So then even if, even, if, even if we can do, we can do the same calculations with that and we can, uh, well, we, we, can, we can, I would have to actually see that. I, I may grant you that, that's fine. Um, but we can, what we can do here is we can, uh, well, I'm going to just ask you to see if this is a relevant symmetry breaker anyway. Because look, if it's look, if it's true that organic, what organics are doing, are they're really just using less manure, um, because what they're really doing is they're just getting all of these nutrients from these fixating plants. If that's what really is going on here, then you can actually make the case. Sure, you might be able to actually make a case that. Uh, no, well, well, that is my case. And but, that, but, that is very yeah, yeah, but, well but you, but you, but you, but you haven't made the case. No, no, I have made the case. No, 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 no. What, what I'll do, I'll just provide you. So you would actually have to show. So here's what you would have to show. You would have to show. Okay, so show me how many of these. How many? Well, first of all, in America, you definitely haven't because all the data in America shows that the fixation doesn't do jack. So what you what you need to show. Would you need to show in France? Maybe you can make the case in France. Something's going on in France where there's there's these magical lagoons. Yeah, we've got magic beans in France. But, 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 you, but maybe you can make the case in France. It, doesn't, it definitely doesn't work in America. It seems it's, not, it's not doing much of an event. But, yeah, dude, dude. Uh, I, I've, got, I've got the demo to guidelines here, pasting in general, uh, and if you open that, and, uh, you can just see that it is a required um, part of the demo to guidelines. Uh, where, to, where, to wait, demo to, what, what got, where, where is it? Uh, I've just posted it in general. I don't know why everyone's rea I'm reacting reading, with I'm like. I'm reading it, but where can you can you link me to the relevant? Back. Can you link me to the relevant page? Yeah, just hit Apple Earth and do crop rotation. Wait, can, what are my keyword searching? Rotation.
Principles, how do we work? With ruminant husbandry, diverse crop rotation, targeted cultivation. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a required part of the Demeter Guidelines. Where does it say it's required? Where? You, you pretty much have, uh, as far as I'm aware, the Demeter Guidelines, uh, if, you, if you go through, it's like required. Where does it say it's required? Um, I, I'm looking, I, I saw it. Uh, last time I was um, looking at all of this, but um, but but yeah, like if you just go through the guidelines, you can just see that um, eighty kilograms, blah blah, uh, and the vegetable crop rotation, everything is taken into consideration that it's a crop rotation. Where does it say it's re where does it say it's required? Uh, it, it's it's a long thing. Do you want me to sit here and find the exact page? Yeah, I want I want to know. Yeah, you're making the claim. Look, I want to know the two things. Where in what in, so where does which uh, locations does this apply to? Which organic farms does this apply to? And where does this, it this, is, this is this is one of the biggest international certifications in the world of organic. What are they? What are they? What again? So what geographic location are they certified farms in? Um, uh, Europe, Oceania, uh, I think America. It, it's it's, it's what, really what, America. Hold on, I, I would like Ma to maybe that. America, maybe not. I don't know. I've never been to America, but definitely Europe. They're huge. That's like the main one in Europe. Or okay. like the where it say, and where does it say? Okay, and where does it say that um, using these nitrogen fixating legumes are required? I've I've got to find that. It's a long it's a long thing. Oh, can you can it. you do me a favor and find it? Yeah, sure. If 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 you don't mind, um, sitting there and waiting. I don't mind. No, I want to know. It says here, uh, I'm still reading. Um, how the soils work and crop husbandry are of decisive importance for weed control. Uh, it, it's it's like part of the system. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't say it's thou shall water. use crop rotation uh, as far as I've okay, seen so, so far. It doesn't. It doesn't, so it doesn't it. say it's. Does it? Where does it say it's required? Um, I, I've yet to find a thou art use fucking crop rotation. But right, I, 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 I can, can show you in way. organic where it says thou thou shall not use synthetic fertilizers. Can you show me where it says that thou ought thou shall use these legumes to you as a source the source. Or thou shall use the crop rotation and, and do this in the first place. It's part of. Uh, it's not part of every organic certification. You but claimed. You claimed. You, claimed you realized that you claimed that this was a requirement. In I said I said that this was a requirement in many certifications, and here's so the. Can you uh, show me the cert so can you show me the certification that says it's required? Uh, I think the system? problem is I'm reading the guidelines and I'm not reading the like legal like you uh, claim you, you claim that there are many certifications and by the way there's a I, I can go back and screenshot it you claimed it in the vegan in the uh, Mike the vegan server as well you claimed so it's don't try to weasel out of that so you what claim you that in many what certifications are quite, you claim that there are many you claim that there are many certifications where crop these crop rotations uh, are required, and that would change the nitrogen fixation. So, my question to you, my question to you is, can you show me which guidelines those are and where it says it? So, I just Googled it here. USDA Organic. Is Why would you make the claim if you were just Googling for the evidence now, foot soldier? It, Why? It's, it's, Why would you make the claim like this? Because I didn't. I didn't prepare to have this specific piece of evidence. Why, uh, why did you claim it? Why did you? Because claim I, that? because I've seen it, dude. I, I know. That, I know it, it to be the case. I'm. I'm make, with a higher level of certainty. This is the case. Okay, show it. Uh, I'm trying to find it, but you put me on the spot here, and I, I'm. I'm doing yes, my best to find it, man. But as I say, I'm putting you on the spot. I'm asking you to substantiate a claim you made. Yeah. Yeah, sure, and I'm trying my best, but you, you've like I'm a bit spontaneous trying to search for it here, so you've got to sort of give me some 
leeway in trying to find. Like you're not, you're not just I, allowing, I, no, you're not let, no, you're not granting no, anything. You're saying to provide evidence. For those I would have assumed. I would have assumed. I would have assumed that when you made a claim, you look. You said. I mean, I can. Do I have to go back and look for this for the screenshot? I can do that too. What what you claimed? You claimed this a while ago. It wasn't you that you just claimed this on the spot. You made this claim a while ago. You made this claim like a week ago or something. Uh, not even a week. Like a year ago, I made this claim. Because okay, uh, great. I, I, Years I ago. Know. Okay, so you would think. Yeah, and you also made the case you also made right? the claim. You also made the claim to me uh, either days ago or a week ago, and I'm just asking you to substantiate that claim. So uh, I'm, I'm searching now, and everything I find is uh, uh, the important steps to do crop rotation. Blah, blah, crop rotation. Is is no, you didn't. That's not what your yeah, claim and, was. And you exactly, no, and exactly, no, Avi. I'm trying no. to find where it says required. I'm trying to find where it says required. Try to find it. Try to find it. Yeah, I'm just saying everything I'm finding right now is saying that it's important, but I'm trying to find right. where it says Try to find. Right. Yep, yep. There are a lot of things that they, a lot of things a lot of people say are important. Where does it say it's required? Yeah, sure. That's what I'm specifically trying to find, but it's it's you put me on the spot here. It's quite difficult to uh, just pull I'm this. Putting you on the spot to substantiate your claim. I'm gonna. I'll wait. And... Sure, I'm just searching now. So you might might have to wait for a minute whilst I do this. Okay. Okay, so I've just found um, diversity in crop rotation and perennial planting is required. No annual crop can be planted in the same field for more than two years. Link, link, link. This is on page five of the Demeter thingamajig, what I've just Googled. And it it says here it's the second paragraph from the bottom of the page on page five. And I'll just right, read it. Second Okay, do you want to read it? Wait, I want us to get to there. Um second paragraph from the bottom. Or of page five. Sections of the farm standard include necessary elements of the farm organism, soil fertility management, crop protection, greenhouse management. Um is this the is this the paragraph? It is, yeah. The biological diversity within the farm landscape is emphasized and require that a minimum of 10% of the total farm acreage be set aside for biodiversity preserve that may include but is not limited to forest, wetlands, or sparing quarters, and intentionally planted insecticides. Uh, insectaries, sorry. Diversity in crop rotation and perennial planting is required. No annual crop can be planted in the same field for more than two years in succession. Bare tillage year-round is prohibited, so lending a good green cover. So where does it say that it's required to use nitrogen-fixating crops, which which is the relevant point here for crop rotation? Where does it well, say that, that is that? Well, no, it just that, says that no, well, well, no, it just, it does, it's not what it, it just says that none of the same, no, because it could be a, different crops can leach different nutrients, and you could just rotate crops to leach different nutrients. Not all crop is. Are you saying all crop rotation uses these legumes? Crop rotation. The whole point of crop rotation is to for the nitrogen. Um, are you? Are yeah, you? Yeah, are yeah. you here, 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 here. Okay, okay. F further down, further down. Um, crop rotation and integration of animal agriculture also assists in reducing petrochemical inputs compared to conventional agricultural practices. Um, and it start, it's, it's, the whole point is nitrogen. Tillable acreage cannot be planted only to a monoculture. Where are you uh, getting this? Hold on, wait, 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 let's, 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 wait. Can, can you show me where you're reading? What you're reading? I'm just apple effing uh, rotation, dude. You can, you can see on many different pages that it's talking about crop rotation. It's, it's talking about crop rotation through the whole fucking thing, though. It's so important. Yeah, so I'm, I'd like to know where you're reading from. So you've asked me to establish whether it was re required or not, and I've just done that. But now yeah, you're no, saying, no, "Oh, I'm yeah, asking, no, 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 it might, it not, might not be leguminous." Yeah, well, that's the whole point. If it's not legumes, then you're not actually accomplishing what you're seeking to accomplish. Yeah, but that, that would just be retarded to do crop rotation without well, legumes. No, well, I'm trying well, to find. No. I'll, I'll, I'll meet your your standard of evidence. I'll meet your standard of evidence, and I'll find um, it saying. 
Yeah, you, uh, use of legumes in crop rotation pull nitrogen from the air and incorporates it into the farm's fertility oh, cycle fertility I, I helps to, and helps to mo uh, mobilize phosphorus. Yeah, I understand they're saying that. I'm not that where it says that the legumes are required for the crop rotation. In other words, so for example, like here, here's the here's the issue. So when it says, I know that there's a requirement that you can't use it, you can't use, in, at least in this area, you can't use the same crop every, what is it, two years? Yeah. Okay, so the issue is that doesn't mean every, um, every third year that they're going to be using legumes. It could be every sixth year that you're going to be using legumes. I just need that frequency in order to do that calculation. And even if we were to do that, by the way, even if we were to put one over third, that changes, that would decrease the value, that would decrease that annual average contribution of nitrogen by, by a factor of three at the least. It could be a factor of six. Um, but even if we just go with three, uh, it would still you would still have a significant differential in demand. Okay, so I just, uh, I just found um, another bit where it says uh, livestock integration, green manure, legumes, biodynamic preparations, and crop rotation. They're the elements <laughs> of the Demeter certification. So if you don't do one, wait, wait, wait. Can you show, can you read? Can you can you show me where you're reading it? Uh, it under gen, uh, point two generating fertility. All right, the foundation of fertility system needs to be based on strategies that emphasize generating fertility from within the life of the farm. When applicable, the following techniques need to be demonstrated, demonstra demonstrably utilized to their maximum potential for a farm to import allowable fertility materials. There are also limitations on the amount of fertility that can be imported and applied. Life's okay. There are also limitations on the amount of fertility that can be apported and applied. Yeah, I mean, green, manure, green manure, green manure, legume, yep, 1B. Legume, livestock integration, green manure, legumes, nutrient cash crops, biodiversity, and preparation of crop rotation. It, notice how it lists crop rotation as something s separate from green manure and separate from the legumes. It will, you need to do crop rotation and you need to have legumes. Yeah. yeah. By the way, just, just real quick, this is a, certi this is a certification from where? Which 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 farms? This is these are in USA. This this is USA Demeter. Yeah, and this the is, yeah, yeah, yeah. The this is USA. Okay, in so Europe, the only so uh, oh, right, here's the problem. Oh, here's a. All right, so you walk yourself into this is a big problem because this is a, I can even grant that that's a requirement in the USA, but the problem is when we look at the data for the nitrogen fixation, we only get to around three or four kilograms per hectare in the in the America. So we have another problem. Even if that's true. Uh, it only it doesn't actually result in changing the numbers because the nitrogen fixation rates on the data available in the Americas go to three to four. So do you have something that says it's required in Europe? Uh, yes, the okay, uh, with, with Demeter certification, which is international, Dem this it's is, required. This is, this is required. okay, but this is a this is a New York one. I mean, this is a this is a this is a USA. Yeah, I, I can give you the one in. Do you want it in German? No, um, well, can you give me the one that, can you give me one that, I just want to know if it applies, if this same certification standards apply to other areas. Well, I, I can get the German one and translate it on the fly for you, if you want. I, the European one, German. Yeah, yeah, German. Okay, if you, sure, I mean, you can, you can give me a one that, if you, if you can give me a certification standard, let's see, Demeter certified, certified bio, like, hold on. Like Demeter is like the main one in Europe. Like, if, like if you go to the organic store organic and no, buy I, something, I understand. I understand. It's just that when I was reading the things about the Europe, it didn't seem to say that it was actual an actual requirement. I don't know if it, it could be wrong, but it didn't seem to say that. It just seemed to say that in the American survey. Well, I, I have now demonstrated it is required. So you're going to concede that? No, you've demonstrated it's if you demonstrated it's required in an area that doesn't seem to actually do anything. So let's. I'd like. Well, no, 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 no. no. It, it's, it, does, it's, it does do stuff in America. You're going to say that beans don't work. Beans are defective in America. I'm, We're joking about I'm this. Not saying, I'm not saying this beans is, are defective. I'm not saying the beans are defective. I'm saying based on the based on the data in the Americas, they don't seem to change the calculations that much. Oh, I, I could provide another study. It's maybe a tiny bit tangential, but I, no, I think it is addressing this. But um, with uh, the usage of synthetic nitrogen, the ability for soil to hold nitrogen or be fixated is inhibited. Um, by synthetic nitrogen. So this is why there's a transition period to organic agriculture.
Okay, so can you can you um, link me in that study and explain the relevance? Yeah, well, uh, I, I'm I'm not going to dive in the internet and try and find that study if you don't think it's relevant. So the relevance, I'll, I'll explain to you now, and you can see if you want the study or not, and then I might need a few minutes to find it. Um, it's the fact that when you use synthetic nitrogen on soil, the soil gets fucked up in such a way that it can um, it's impeded in taking up more nitrogen yeah. from. Well, what's the differential? What's the differential? Uh, uh, off the top of my head, I don't know, man. I have to get the study up. Yeah, no. If you, look, if the differential matches the differential that we're seeing in in France and U U.S., and maybe that explains it. Yeah, that's why I'm mentioning it. Maybe it does. Okay, so it. what's the difference? Or maybe, or maybe the differential doesn't. So let's let's see it. Okay, I've got to find it, man. One sec. Also, even if we were to do this, even if we were to do this, um, we would have to divide it, divide that by three. It would still come out that our, that organic would contribute more. To and I can recalculate the numbers and we can go with, you know, a cup of milk. We can, we can go with something like uh, a cup of milk every, even if we go down like a cup of milk a week instead of a cup of milk a day. I mean, you would be hard pressed to say that, that differential is going to be vegan. Uh, you no, know, what I'm trying to do here is um, slowly try and build a case that you're you're trying to establish the case that organic contributes X amount of suffering, and I'm slowly trying as to build general, a case as a general here as a general. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so just every time we talk about that, it says a general here. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Go ahead. Yeah. So, um, and I'm trying to slowly build up the case that. Um, conventional uses an equivalent amount, or if not more. Uh, so it is well. It, it, it could. It, it could. It couldn't. Do you know why it couldn't? Because in that paper, in the paper that you cited, where they were used getting all of that nitrogen, when you actually look at the imports of manure, the imports of manure alone from conventional were greater than the amount of manure. Of it was greater than like the amount of uh, the the percent the amount of manure that's used by on average by conventional. Uh, farms in and of themselves, so it's like it's actually like mathematically impossible for that to save you. It's it's no, 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 yeah, no, like so you, you, you like um, you, You've miscalculated there, dude. You, you've just obviously right, exposed the miscalculation. Let's go through it then. Would you like to? Yeah, you've obviously exposed right, the miscalculation. If you think that organic I, farms, so what you're saying is organic farms. No, I'm, I'm, no, use I'm more saying manure. no, 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 no. I'm saying in your study. In, in your study, even with the best case scenario, with these seemingly magic legumes, even they no, were no, importing, just... even they were importing, even they, if they were importing manure from conventional farms, a rate that is, that is greater than the amount of manure that the average conventional farm actually uses. No, that's not what the statistic said. It said the amount that was um, sequestered from nitrogen in the air was a higher percentage of nitrogen used in farm than nitrogen bought from yep. conventional farm. And do, you, and do you know? And do you know how much? And yep. And do you know how much? Still, in spite of all of that, how much manure was gotten from from uh, conventional farms? Yeah, we discussed that. It, it was 20, like thirty. Twenty three percent. Yeah, twenty three percent. Twenty three percent of their nitrogen came from inflows of conventional farming. Yeah. So the majority didn't come yeah, from the commercial. majority. Yeah, the majority. But what you're missing, what you're missing, what you, what you're missing is that less in many cases in conventional, less than twenty percent of the manure is coming from manure in the first place. So even if we grant all of that, even if we grant all of that, even in this best case scenario, it's still more. Uh, you, you just said that the manure production is coming from the manure. Uh, uh, I either misunderstood you or didn't okay, make sense. Okay, look, 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 look. Let's say, let's say, even in this best case scenario, let's say, let's say, twenty three percent is coming from, but and so t let's say twenty three percent is coming from the conventional. In, in fact, it's more than that because if you look at it, it's is um, it's it's not. It was twenty three percent in conventional, and then. 
there was an additional amount that was coming from organic uh, organic nitrogen that was coming from manure. Um, let's see, we can break it down. So manure was the primary source for conventional. Um, it looked like that was the majority. For, okay, actually, fertilizer. Average farm gate, hold on, average farm gate nutrient inflows. Manure, fodder, and feed. Uh, and that was for... This is actually very strange. Can you look at figure two? Figure two in what? In my okay, study. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this actually looks like they're not... They're not um, this actually looks like this farm was not compliant with organic standards. It looks like they were importing synthetic fertilizers or mineral fertili fertilizers. Oh, no, no, no. This is something we talked about before, Avi. You're yeah. absolutely allowed to have um, mined uh, materials as long as they're not processed with acids. So it's absolutely allowed in... Um... And when you say acids, you mean like synthetic fertilizers from the Haber project? No, this is something different. So the mineral um, input nutrients used on conventional farms are processed with acids for increased purity concentrations, whereas the uh, the, the mined nutrients have to be in a crude form for um, organic farms. For example, potash and stuff, and uh, like no, no, I'm talking about nit for nitrogen. I'm talking about for nitrogen. For nitrogen came. Well, I'll have to look at that. Where are you talking about? Oh, it's actually saying it's for nitrogen. Look at figure two, man. In the in this, uh, to what extent does to what extent does organic farming rely on nutrient from uh, conventional? Look at figure two. This is um, this is actually really sketchy. Look at this. Figure two: nature of farm gate nutrient inflows for the 63 sampled organic farms. The date uh, referred to the period of 2010 to 2011. Manure refers to manure as and compost. Fertilizers for both fertilizers made from meat byproducts and to min mineral fertilizers. And uh, now, I'm on. assuming I'm assuming that doesn't yeah. I'm going to assume I'm going to assume that this is I think I know what's going on. I'm going to assume that this is just the case for phosphorus and potassium and not the case for nitrogen. Yeah, yeah, nitrogen. sure. Because yeah, if you look yeah. at the nitrogen bars, it's coming from organic farms yeah, yeah, and conventional yeah. farms. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Lines are all yeah, yeah. And so it looks like it looks like then in that case then all of that fertilizer because it's, I'm I'm assuming it's we're not talking about mineral fertilizer from nitro for nitrogen. I'm going to be it, it seems to be the case that that's just coming from meat byproducts then. So that's fine. So the case, the, so the point here is that when we look at all the manure used, even in this, even in this best case scenario, it's still greater than the amount of nitrogen that manure that uh, is used from manure in conventional farms, even in this best case scenario. Wait, wait, how, how does how does that work? How, how comes yeah, um, sure. organic uses more than conventional uses? How does that? So organic still would still use even in this best case scenario, organic actually still use more nitrogen from manure <coughs> sources. Or or uh, yeah. So look, if we look at the um, kilograms per hectare, so we look at how much percentage it came. Uh, so we say, look, it, it's the fertilizer or manure or animal meat byproducts. So we have uh, about ten, and then we have another. We have another eight. Uh, so that's like eighteen kilograms per hectare per year. And then for other, and then you have big things like feed and fodder. And so even and so even if you look at that percentage of inflow, where twenty three percent of the inflow of nitrogen came from conventional, uh, and you look at the manure that was used by organic, that still looks like higher looks like a higher amount than uh, even even in that case scenario it looks it looks higher. We can let's compare. Well, uh, are, are you saying that in Inside of this study for organic farms, they might have used more conventional manure than organic manure. Because if you're saying that, no, I don't, no, that's not. That's that, not. That's I'm not saying, no, I'm saying the total. I'm saying the total manure was still greater than the manure that is relied upon by conventional farms. Well, how, how do you know that? There, there's you don't have that data. Yeah, because we're looking. Yeah, because we're looking. We're looking. We well, we have the 
we we can look at we can we can How? look at the nitrogen because we look at because we have the nitrogen in kilograms per hectare per year. We can calculate that as a percentage, and then we can compare that to the percentages used by conventional versus organic. Yeah, but then sorry, so could you provide those by conventional themselves? So we can. It's not. A, it's actually not a hard calculation. We can do it. You, uh, I don't want to calculate anything. I want a, a source which says how much no, is no, used. Can, in no, 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 no. We can just calculate it. It's not. It's no, not I don't want to calculate it with your little. With uh, I don't know about the quality of your little calculations here. We can go through the math together. I don't want to go through the math. I want a figure. Uh, well, I don't want a calculation. I, want, I don't want an extrapolation. Can, it's not an extrapolation. It's just looking at two. It's just seeing how much manure was used in this case and how much manure was used in the other case. Well, you don't know how much was used in the other case because you don't have the figure. You're just going to extrapolate. No, from this no, we have, we have the figure from the study you posted, so we can just calculate it. Where is that figure? It's in the study that you posted. It's in can, you quote the, can you quote the figure where it is so in the study? Figure two. Yeah, sure. Figure two. It's on page four. Yeah, but, but this is organic farms. This isn't conventional farms. So how are you going to give me a figure for conventional farms? It's the total amount of manure used. It's, it's, no, it's not an organic farm. Well, it's organic farm. 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 No, no. This is the farm gate nutrient inflows of 63 sampled organic farms. Yeah, not, not conventional farms. These organic are, farms. Yeah, these are organic, right. So then we can look. What we can do is we can, we can take the... We can take the amount of nitrogen used in manure in these 63 sampled organic farms, and we can compare that to the amount of manure used in conventional farms. We can, but I am waiting for a figure from you. Uh, you haven't given me a figure. Okay, so well, okay, so I can, we can go and calculate that. No, I don't, I don't want to calculate. Figure. I want a figure, not an extrapolation. No, it's not an extrapolation. It's a calculation. Because again, if you give me look, if you give me a study and the study says. The study basically shows uh, manure used in spite of these legumes, and that's, that's still greater than the amount of manure that's used in conventional. There's still a case to be made. Yeah, but you don't. We don't know the amount using conventional yet because we don't well, have we can, a figure. We can, we can calculate it. That's, we can calculate it from but the, based from off the what we, we can. Yeah, like, based get a figure. Off, yeah, we can calculate it based off what is reported in these two studies. How, how? Let's just get a figure. Let's okay, not calculate. Well, how are you going to calculate well, it? You're well, going to you know, calculate. if something oh, is divided by... You're going, to have to, you're going to have to calculate it because it doesn't state it explicitly, but you can get there by calculating What, by dividing it by four? Because you've just come up with this no, match from four number. No, no. By looking at the amount of kilograms per hectare per year of nitrogen that's being used from the animal and comparing that to the animal products being used in conventional in kilograms per hectare per year. Where, where does that information come from? Uh, it's coming coming from figure two, so the ones in, in figure two will be coming from figure two in your study, and would also, in, in the general case, will be coming from data from the FAO to look at it in the general case for conventional. Okay, so you're going to go through the FAO together. Okay, so go and get the figure then, and then we'll talk about, we'll do the calculation. Yeah, we, yeah so you agree, okay, we agree that the calculation is doable. And we agree that no, I agree that you can get a figure from the FAO, and then you can get a figure from here, and we can compare them. Yeah, yeah we can, well, you would have to, cal no, you would have to calculate it from here, because they don't actually give you the figure. You would have to add, num add two things together. So, for example, manure, and, I mean, look, if we, we can, I can give you the figure here, and I, I want to steal man you here. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't know if I, if I want to include feed and fodder into it. I mean, I guess I could, because, like, I can make an argument that might be some kind of, Unused, they're, they're well. Actually, I, I don't even know if it would be that honest for me to do that. But uh, I, I smell know. creative calculation here, Ravi. Wait, what? I smell creative calculation here. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to steal menu as much as possible in the minute, in the calculation. I'm trying to use as little as possible for for your side to give you the best case scenario. I've every every case I've in in any of these cases where I've done this, it's. Uh, I've, I've tried to make the best case scenario. So any, in any case, um, look, so the, the, here's the issue. So the issues are, so 
we'd have to divide this differential by three because it's only required if it's only required uh, every third year, it seems. So even if you still get a differential in manure, even if we, so like I take your point, I take your point. Even if like if we can make another steel man aboard the organic, and let's assume that we can assume that all of these organic farms, which it's a very weird assumption, but if all these organic farms are doing this manure, if they're doing this man, uh, rotation, this crop rotation for legumes. And the legumes are putting all this nitrogen that, and let's just ignore all the data from all the contrary data in other countries. Let's just say that all the conditions were great and we got all this manure. Uh, we still have an issue here. And the issue is that they're, if they're only doing it every third year, uh, we would have to take the annual average of that and we would still get a differential. Now I can, I can walk through those calculations. I can calculate that and we can pick that up later if you'd like that. Every, every second year. What? Every, every second year, but okay. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Every wait, wait. What does it say exactly? The crop rotation is every. If you're talking about crop rotation, it's every second you, they year. They can't but, go. What? They can't. It said they can't go more than two years without changing the crops, right? Yeah. Right. So then it's every third year. Well, yeah. If you've got three crops, you don't have to do that. I think maybe no, even if if it's going wait if it's if if you're if you're required to do it every do it every then the rotation will occur on every third year. Uh, no same crop can be in the field on two every, different years for more than two years. Not for more than one year. It's said for more than two years. Uh, when, uh, okay, if it, so, we've got two things. The crop rotation must be performed, but no. Say, yeah, okay. So every yeah, every two years. Wait, wait. Every every third year. Yeah, which means on every third year, it's what will happen. Well, why on every third year? Every two years. Okay, so, every, if, if, so okay. Let, let's look at the wording. What's the wording say exactly? That's all. Oh, I, I've not got the document. I can do. Okay, so let's. You want to? Re would you like to revisit it? I'm on another document now. I'm preparing my next. One. Okay, let's revisit it because, like, you want to. Seems like you want to. Look, it's important to the calculation. Um, and this is again. I, it's in New York. I still haven't seen things for Europe that it's required. I'm granting it to you, and for the sake of for the sake of the argument. What do you mean? That's in France. Uh... Oh. No, 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 no. Sorry, the Demeter one, though. Demeter the is Demeter, international. The Demeter was for the Demeter was was a was a one that listed requirements for the USA. Can I just? Well, I, 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 can, I can give you a, I can give you it for Europe, for Germany, for Australia, okay, for New so Zealand. Can you? Do, all right. Well, let's do that then. Can you give it to? Me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do it.
Okay, so just given the uh, New Zealand um, guidelines here, just to show you that it's the same all over the world for Demeter. Okay, and where does it say uh, required? That yeah, if we look at Apple Air crop rotation. Where does it say the crop rotation is required? So it says under their principles, uh, is a crop, crop rotation um, requirements. Every properly growing annual crop shall have a crop rotation. Mm -hmm. How often? Continuing it's, approval of a crop rotation management plan requires a license to be able to demonstrate in the field that principles above are met. Comment, for example, is restored. Okay, so how often is the do they require the rotation? That actually matters. Yeah, man, like, the, the, these are like pamphlets of farmers. Uh, I, I don't know how well written they are, and if, if it's going to be like exactly the same wording. Well, look, from I mean, the here's, here's the reason. The reason, the reason is the reason is if it's if if the rotation is happening on every third year, then it, it doesn't actually save save organic. Uh, it, it's well, going to be very it's obvious that it's years. not. Yeah, it's going to be it, it, it's going to be even if we even if we adjust the calculation, it's ridiculous, steel man, that we're going to get all of this, all of these nitrogen from the gooms and all the data that the, even if we go with the best data scenario, we make the steel man, we're going to get a differential and it's going to come out to like a cup of, I suspect around a cup of milk a week, maybe not a cup of milk a day, but a cup of milk a week. And we would have this, a similar problem. Uh, well, it's every two years, but I, I think you're vastly it's every, well, it's on every, it's on every thir It's on every third year. So let's just, it's every two years. So can you show me? Uh, this is just a New Zealand one. You put me in the spot okay. to get international yeah, guidelines. Yes, but, yes, yes. This is this is important. But you're you're, you're sort of moving the goalpost. I, I, no, 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 I, I no. Already, it, I'm, it's I not, I'm have... not. No, 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 no. I'm not moving. I'm not moving a goalpost for anything. I'm not saying that. Like I never said. Like if this was given, I would consider. Like I never set a goalpost in the first. Place. Um, yeah, no. Well, but, well, I, what's I happening here? I need to What's happening here, dude? Dude, dude. What's happening here is I. What's happening here is I need to be able to visual. because this is important. I need to in order if you're gonna give me if you're gonna if I want to make a steel man calculation for. You. So what I, I want to do? Why did you the American one? Now no, I'm trying okay, to. Well, now the American one, the, the problem, the problem, problem, one, and the, the European problem, one, and the problem, fucking every. Put soldier. The problem with the American one is that the the nitrogen fixation in the American data didn't, didn't come out to be that relevant. So even well, if you can it, show it that it's required, and by the way, in America, in the also the other problem with that is in America, I don't think that's the major organic certification. I think it's just USDA organic. I think that's like okay. a minority. I think that's just, if I'm not mistaken, that's a that's a certification that's just a minority in America. Oh, I, I've never been to America. You, you can. Yeah, tell so, I mean, me I think it's. I think I'm pretty sure it's USDA is just the dominant organic standard. So, like, you're giving me that certification for America. Okay, we look into that and we could do the calculations as a general heuristic. Um, that's not. That's not what's going to affect. So, USDA in America is the dominant certification. I don't think. I'm not sure if they require it. I don't think they do. But we can look into that. But, dude, it's international. I'm just going on an international website and I'm getting the same shit. Yeah, but yeah, but we're, getting different, yeah, but we're getting different requirements for different, for different uh, nations, so that's the problem. It, it's the, it, they're the same guidelines internationally, dude. Yeah, but, okay, but, no, but, it, it, okay. So, uh, can you show me that? Can you show me where it says the same requirements are, are across? Just because something is, look, just because something is an international certification doesn't mean there have to be the same requirements in every nation. I mean, you understand yeah. that, right? Like, yeah, 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 of course. Cool, but okay, but they so don't, then, okay. They don't explicitly like spell it out and make it available, easily okay, well, available on their I, website. Then, wait, can you can you show me can you show me how often they need to rotate crops in New Zealand or any any of these European countries? Well, New Zealand isn't in Europe, but yeah, I'm looking. Oh, sorry, sorry. Or any 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 or uh, yeah, or any of the European countries. Yeah, as I say, I'm looking, but like you put me on the spot to try and find fucking 
Well, it's different I mean, stuff. Look, this is, the, I mean, look, the, the claim, look, I, the claim, you, you made a pretty strong claim and you said that, you know, this would make a big difference. The, my calculations would make a big difference if I factored in um, the, the crop rotation. And I want to know if that's true. And if that's true, fine, we can do that. We can adjust the calculations with crop rotation. I like we can we can look in we can look into conventional how often conventional does crop rotations to see if there's a differential there. We can see if what crop rotations are for organic, and we can we can adjust the calculations accordingly. It's not a problem. Okay, so I'm trawling through. What? I'm, I'm just uh, I'm going through the German guidelines, but it's just taking too long to find what it's saying. It's so it's so poorly written because it's like this is for like farmers and stuff. It's um it's not clear. It's not like bang bang bang. Here is the things that you've got to do. It's just like a long, like 
rambling about oh this is what we like to do and here's this and that it, it's not specific it's not bang 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 it's just really really long and rambling okay so what i what i would just like to see what i would need to see um to adjust the calculations accordingly i mean we can do it and and uh, i don't have a problem doing it but i would just like to see that this is really a requirement um or if not it's, it's not a requirement i'd like to see that. i'd like to see some data on the farm the differential in conventional farmers doing it and organic farmers doing it for it to be relevant to even change the calculations in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've already demonstrated that. Now I'm demonstrating no. it again in Europe no. with, with, within you've the you've same demon, company. You've demonstrated, it, you've, demon, you've demonstrated it in America where it's a minority of organic in any way. Where it's, yeah, where dude, the I, majority, I, think, I think what you're doing you're is you, you're placing an unfair... This is yeah, unfair. So, no, I've, it's not unfair. I've it's already unfair. demonstrated it in America. You've demonstrated, yep, you've demonstrated in America where it's where it's a minority of certifications, and the vast majority of certifications are not that certification. Now it, it's the same about, certification in Europe. Now, now that well, again, we already went through this. Just because it's the same, just because it's an international certification, doesn't mean the requirements are necessarily international. You agree? Okay, that maybe not, so but then, then, it's so the then, same so core then, principle. So then, so, and, and again, from what we're reading, it seems to not say the same things in each case. So no, well, no, it I'm does. It's saying the same this. things. It's saying the same things. I can read okay, you where? the German. Dude. So I can read you the German. Go ahead. Show me. Show me where it's. Yeah, but the, the German is just saying our principles are this and that, where? and it doesn't say what is required. Okay, it doesn't say it doesn't say that there's a there, it's required for certification. It doesn't say anything's required. It's just okay, like yeah, yeah. Okay, well, if something's bullshit. not yeah, well if, if something if it's not required, no. So if it's not required for certification then Yeah, but it if, doesn't if even say that they want to forbid to... like, if everyone's could say like this is our principles, that's our principles. I want to see that that's actually required for the certification. Yeah, sure. I, I want to see that as well because I know that it is because I've already shown you that in America the general Well, and, no, you keep going back. No, you keep going back to America. Yeah, but it's so the same again, we've already went through this. We've already, yeah, we, nope, we've already, we've already, we've already went through why that's not why that doesn't work either. Because just because it's an inter international certification doesn't mean the requirements need to necessarily be the same for each. Yeah, so I, I, I think, hear I that think that, let's not go that again. I, I think so, that's being unfair, to be honest. I don't think it's unfair at all. I just want to, I want to, I'd like to, this is something I would be interested in knowing. So the other issue, the other issue is, um, I was looking at the nitrogen fixation um, estimates in that paper, and they, it doesn't look like they were, it looks like they were estimated by certain models. It doesn't look like they were actually calculated um, in the paper you gave me. So I'd have to go look into those models. But it doesn't. Yeah, we we'll have, have to look at it. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not crypto data. Yeah, yeah, because it doesn't. They were estimated like atmospheric deposition was estimated for the French National End Deposition Survey, and the biological nitrogen fixation was estimated using the model of proposed the model proposed by this uh, Hodgson et al. Estimation of biological nitrogen fixation was based on the total nitrogen amount in leguminous crop bi biomass multiplied by the ratio between the amount of symbiotically fixated nitrogen and the total nitrogen amount in the crop biomass okay so i would have to I, I would have to um i'd be interested in looking into those estimations so i just want to see if what i post was actually a measurement and not an estimation yeah the interaction balance okay. calculations analysis we chose to emphasize large second this is where margin by farmers okay so i just found what you're looking for okay go ahead so so in the uk uh on the uh, biodynamic certification org.uk website. I can post a link in a sec, but it's just a sentence. Can you post, post, post what you're looking at? Uh, yeah, okay. Sure, it's, it's one sentence, but uh, let's see. So in, in the UK, uh, a there was a growing demand for Demeter. This is, BG, wait, this is, B, this is not Demeter. Oh, this is Demeter. Yeah, yeah, okay. In the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we grow through the nearly five percent last year. See more Demeter statistics on the Demeter International website. So it's saying that the UK. I know this isn't the best, but it's saying at least. Where's, that where's the way? What are we saying, reading? Hold on. Can I just see what we're reading? What are you reading? I'm, I'm reading that it's just like see the see the international website, and the international website gives okay, you the okay. certification, the US okay, certification. Where's, where's where? Hold on, can you show me what you're reading from? 
Yeah, see more Demeter statistics on the Demeter International website. I'm just showing you that it's the one website. It's the same thing. It's not some separate thing in America. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. UK and Demeter biodynamic products in line with organic sectors, growing with nearly 5% last year. See more Demeter statistics on the Demeter International website. They didn't say to see what the guidelines are on the Demeter International website. No. Yeah, but so you know, it's, it's let's the same try it shit, again. Dude. Let's try it. Let's try it again. <laughs> it's so the same shit, just, dude. So we agreed. Let's try it again. So we agreed that just because there's an international certification doesn't mean the requirements are exactly the same between different countries. You haven't provided a source that actually demonstrates that. I we can. Oh, dude, this dude, dude it's some shit, it, man. So. I, you know what? If you want, we can actually call their the certification, and we can actually ask the question. We might actually. Wait, you, you're going to call them right now. I'm on my phone right now, so I'm not going to call yeah, them right now. Yeah, I don't. But... No, I don't know if we can call them right now. We can. We can maybe pick it up and have a conversation. But um, yeah. So again, so uh, yeah, I've, the I've other, seen the other, other before. I've seen the guidelines before, man. Well, well, no, 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 well, okay, no, no, no. Again, you've showed me. You've okay. Well, show it to me in the in in the in the non-American countries then. Yeah, I know, dude. I've, I'm saying I've seen it before. I just okay, can't so find it right now. Yeah, so what? Okay, well, yeah, you've seen it, find it right now. Can you, can you tell me how how many how many years they were are required to crop rotate, and how often those crop rotations? It's, it's are all the same things? shit, dude. It's the same. It's the same certification. It's the same company. It's the same, it's all the same shit, dude. It, is this the best you've got? Oh, okay. it's a bit. Okay. It's a different website. Okay. It, it's the same, dude. So again, I'm just. That's not the. When I'm not, it's not an issue of the best I got. I just want to know what the. So, it, the well, answer is it's the fucking same, dude. So, so, so even if we, let I me mean, let's assume let's grant it for the sake of the argument. I'm not gonna. I, I don't actually accept that yet. But I, we can grant it for the sake of the argument. What, what's the rotation? It, is it every third year? It is every two years because you have to rotate. Wait. You can't have the same. You can't have the same for more than two years. Is that what it said? Uh, I can't remember the wording. I have to get it. Up. Have so, you got no, it? Let's, let's get it. Let's let's get it because you're. Let's let's. Get oh, it. I, I remember it saying something like you can't I have the same crop in the field for two ever for more than years. Let's go through and more than two. Okay, you, you've got it. I don't have it on my screen. No, I don't. I don't have it. I want to. I want to. You posted it. Oh, okay. Well, I sent it to you. I've got to find it again. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, just uh, that was posted. So it says in annual crop rotations, a given harvested commodity cannot be planted in the same field for more than two years. More in succession. than two years. So every okay. third year. Okay, great. That's the that nice try. Okay, so we've gotten so <laughs> we we can push you off. It's not every two years. It's every third year. Right. Yeah, but, but this, this is the this is the limit, dude. Normally, crop okay. rotation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that. Okay, we're not. Uh, we're I'm just, not saying this has to be the case. Okay. I'm just saying, okay. dude, it's every okay. The requirements, the requirements for the rotation is on every third year. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that's the, the cutoff, but. Uh, Normally every, every year. Every third year. I, oh, normally every year? Okay, let's, let's see if a source on that. How do you know it's normally every year that the crop is rotated? Because that's what crop rotation is, dude. People okay, rotate crop not, every year. Not, okay, I know people rotate it, but if it's ever, that you just saying that's what crop rotation is doesn't, doesn't actually give me a reason to believe that's actually done on that frequency. So do you have a source that's do you have a source that actually suggests that? Yeah, if you just Google crop rotation, it says crop rotation is the practice of growing a series of I know what crop rotation is, but that doesn't answer the question. So the question on the table is... In sequence uh, seasons, dude. Do I, yeah, but do you have a source that says, okay, the requirement, we understand what the requirements are. Do you have a source that says that's actually what's done? Uh, 
Yeah, um, just a dictionary definition I can give you here. Okay. Well, that doesn't, no, give you that, doesn't, that doesn't give us, no, that doesn't give us, a, that doesn't give us, because then I could just say that any any conventional farm that does that is doing that too. Like, no, dude, it's ridiculous. Dude, if you're so, trying to put so, together a steel man, so again, dude, if you're so, trying to put together a steel man, why wouldn't you put together a steel man and not like worst case? Because here's the thing, because like every time when I try to put, when I do, what I've done before is I, I'm actually trying to put in, um, what I'm trying to do is approximate reality is really what I'm trying to do. What I did before I was like overly, overly, overly charitable to the organic case. And it's just, it, it's just overly charitable to a ridiculous fault that I shouldn't have been. And I, I'm still overly charitable because I'm just using just like, like other crop. Um, this would just outscale. It, it would just look horrible for us. And I'm pretty convinced that it would outscale whatever, whatever mitigating factors these crop rotations would do. Well, what do you mean, dude? Like, you can get 100% of your nitrogen from leguminous crop. Yeah, no, it, it, well, well, the issue... The no, issue that's just is, historically been the case. You're well, arguing well, with history. Well, well, no, because well, no, they're still importing. They're still importing. Look, and maybe, and maybe that's the case. Look, if you want to... If, if you can actually show that and, this, and say, that, well, they're not actually using... They don't need to use nitrogen for leguminous crop. Maybe, maybe we can say, like, organic legumes may not be carnist. Um, I, I, from what I've seen, the legumes, uh, the data is very mixed on that. And I've only seen one paper showing you can really get that amount. And the other papers I've seen, sh and it was based on an estimation. It d doesn't look like it was a calculation. It was a base. It was based on an estimation. We look at calculations for that. It was very low. So I would have to look more, but look, if, if that really is the case, then maybe, maybe, uh, Organic legumes are are <clears throat> organic legumes are not carnist, and the other organic crops are. May I? I would be. Oh, are, you, are you trying to? Are you trying to make the case that it is difficult to grow legumes without additional nitrogen? In based on based on the data I've seen, it seems like. In it seems like in the case of the U.S., it seems like they were using additional nitrogen. Yeah, that, that's that they might might have been using additional nitrogen. No, not might have. It, it seems like possible. they would have needed. It seems like they looked like they needed to. But look, I could. So your position, to, Arby, to, your position to, yeah. is that you required additional nitrogen to grow legumes. No, I'm saying like it looks like the amount fixated nitrogen from the legumes was only accounting for a very small amount. But look, look, here's look. If you can show that this is like not not the case, if you can show that the fixated nitrogen in uh, these legumes are just they, you just wouldn't require manure, then I'm happy to concede that. The nitrate that organic leguminous products would be not carnist. But I so, don't so think now, I have, yeah. now, now I've, I've been saddled with the task of proving a negative. No, the, the burden of proof is on you to demonstrate a case for why it would be the case that you would need to use additional nitrogen sources for leguminous. Because, it, because the data is mixed, and the data I've shown shows that you only, get, uh, you only would get about uh, three to four kilograms per hectare. Yeah, so then you haven't demonstrated a good case yeah, for your well, you, so well, well, then you, you would. Well, then you would. Well, then you. Well, then you. That's all that's being fixated. You absolutely would be more. Every every recommendation total amount would would require more. There wouldn't be a. Yeah, but could could the crops well, grow? We can, on we, that can, we can we can we can we can we can we can look at. So it, I actually think there's another. So, um, the other issue here is there's a difference in. The nitrogen fixation for other crops, um, for and this might actually explain the difference. There's a difference between nitrogen fixation in the leguminous matter themselves, which it seems to be what they were calculating on, versus the nitrogen fixation that ends up in the soil after those legumes are harvested. So, what it seems like my paper was may have been looking at the deposition in the soil after the legumes were harvested, which, in other words. Could the nitrogen? Could this strategy of crop rotation provide enough nitrogen for the plant products that are not legumes? Dude, your 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 study doesn't pass a sniff test because if you need in total ninety kilograms of nitrogen per hectare, 
And the, the total amount of nitrogen that, that can be fixed by leguminous crops in your study is three to four. Then, of course, they would even grow. Yeah, then they would need, then they would need um, manure. They would need lots yeah, of manure. Yeah, yeah. So based on your study, it's impossible to grow leguminous crops without additional nitrogen. And that is just obviously, obviously false. Uh, let's let's I, I'm I don't know. Let's see. Uh, well, it, it, it is obviously false. That goes against the entire idea of crop rotation and the entire like history of agriculture. There's this ridiculous thing. There's ridiculous. Okay, then maybe then maybe what might resolve it? I think what resolves this then. Look, we can. Um, and look, if if that's really true, if that's really. True, using manure for legume crops, then I'm happy to concede. Like, okay, that's actually a great point. I'm happy to concede that legume crops that are organic are not. Um, but the other, the problem here is, is that we're not, now we're not just talking about, um, and I think this is what resolves it. I think we're not just talking about the um, nitrogen fixation from the legumes, like the total nitrogen fixation. We're looking at how much of that nitrogen fixation can get into the soil to help the other crop. And that seems to be that seems to be the resolver, because that yeah okay cool. But what we've now done, what we've now established is, and what I think you might have conceded on, but uh, I don't care because you don't concede anything, is um, the fact that your study is bullshit. No, it's not. Bu no, it's not bullshit. I think it's it may just be. I think it's looking at a different question than the question your study was. Well, well how, how can how is it possible yeah. that it's not bullshit if you yeah, because, because because I think what they're looking at is. They're looking at the nitrogen from the legumes that are being input that are as inputs into the soil that can be used by other. Crops. Whereas the study you're looking at is just looking at the total amount of mass of nitrogen that's being fixated by the legumes. So those okay, examples. So, so the study isn't applicable to what we're discussing then. Well, yeah. So, but it would be applicable to other crops though, because then even no, no, no. this wouldn't save. So it wouldn't save. So may, look. I'll grant that this may save legumes. This may save organic legumes. It wouldn't save the other crops. So no, organic the whole legumes point crops. Is that, no, 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 because the yeah. amount of nitrogen fixated, um, it's it's uh, it's positive, right? It's not a negative. It's not like you're you're sucking out nitrogen no, and getting less and less. Yep, I understand. I understand. So even if we say, yeah, so, so, so say, it's we say the total, mm -hmm, no, again, look, I, I don't think you're understanding. So. If we were to look at by the crop, by the leguminous crops, we have to ask two different questions. Question number one is, what is the total amount of nitrogen fixated by the leguminous crop? And question number two is, after harvest of the leguminous crop, what is the total amount of nitrogen that remains in the soil that can be used for the other crops? My study seems to be addressing that question. Your study seems to be just estimating it from the total plant. So they're ask, answering two different questions. My, my study is applicable to the crop rotation as it applies to regenerating the nitrogen in the soil for the other crops. Your study is just, seem, just seems to look at, all it seems to look at is the amount of total amount of nitrogen fixated, not the amount of nitrogen fixated in the soil that can be used by other crops, but just in the total plant, which is fine. Like if we just say that the nitrogen is just going into that plant and then we're harvesting the plant, Okay, I actually, you know, that's a good point. We can say that leguminous organic crops. The problem is with all the other organic plant products, which would still qualify under as a general heuristic, it doesn't seem to be the case that they would, it would change the calculations much. Yeah, the, the, dif the difference in nitrogen might be as a result of removing the um, matter uh, rather yeah. than leaving the matter on harvesting, the field. Harvesting, right? harvesting, yeah, harvesting, harvesting the legumes. No, not harvesting the legumes, um, because we, we don't we don't eat stalks. We we eat okay, beans. Yeah, sure. Okay, beans. yeah, certainly, but the beans do contain quite a bit of nitrogen. Yeah, of, of course, but the the stalks yeah. also contain a huge amount. Yeah, yeah, but this, but my study, but but my study is looking at the amount that actually got at the end of the day got into the soil. Okay, we're, we're, my study, your study, study, I don't care. Let's go on to the next point, right? Let, let's, well, we're, no, well, no, we're, we're here on this for three well, hours, dude. I want to get no, through the point. Let's, this, we, we, look, so, so here's where we, where, where, where I may agree with you on. So 
I may agree with you that if we can show, if we can show that, A, if like if all these stipulations are in place, so we, we can show that, um, <clears throat> We can show that really this is what's happening, that the, the organic, that they're really like just rotating these crops and they're putting legumes in all the time. Um, and and they're, uh, the legumes are being used and legumes really don't require the manure. They're not really using manure for legumes. There's like a very minimal amount. I am more than happy, if that really is the case, I'm more than happy to say that uh, organic leguminous crops are not car are not carnivorous. I, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, and what we I'm don't seem to have yeah, any so adequate evidence that, that they can't provide succulents. Yeah, I'd, have, I'd have to look into that. What I'm not convinced... Yeah, so we, we, neither of us can proceed because neither of us know. So let's go on to the next... What I'm not, what I'm not, but what I'm not convinced, what I'm definitely not convinced of, what is a clear case, but I don't need that in order to defend the debate proposition, which is that it's generally heuristic because legumes aren't the majority of the crops that we eat. As a general heuristic, organic is carnist would be a, still a general rule of thumb because it doesn't seem to apply to that there would the calculations would change anything dramatically at all because of the amount of nitrogen that would be available to the other plants is a different question. And that's the question my study seeks to answer, which your study doesn't. Your study just takes the entire just takes the entire biomass. And that doesn't yeah, answer the well, relevant question for the for the crop rotation. How, how do we move on from here then? Yeah, so we move on by looking at the data, which shows how much nitrogen is available to other plants, which is the actual question we're trying to answer. Um, and the actual question we're trying to answer is, uh, with respect to non-leguminous crops, we can say, okay, well, this is how much it would, it would generate, and it's three to four kilograms per hectare per year of nitrogen, which turns out to not change for those other organic crops, it doesn't really change the calculations. Change the calculations by a, a maximum of about 6%. So the statement for these non-leguminous organic crops that it's equivalent to the demand of milk consumption would still hold. Uh, no, I don't think so. How not? Explain to me why not. We've yet to establish the whole milk thing. We, we'll, need, we'll need to get yeah, there. Yeah, sure. So well, I, no, so I can, we can factor that in. Look, I've, I've shown you the calculations, and I can adjust it by 6% based on the data for the available for the other crops. And it would still hold true. In fact, it's over 20%. It's, it's like a 20% more. So I, it would actually be, it wouldn't even be less than once a week either way. Hello? You've cut out my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So even if, again, so even if we look, we're looking at the data available for the other crops, um, it would change it by a maximum of 6%. <clears throat> and given that the demand is greater than 20% of the value of, even with this corn steel, man, even the demand is greater than that value of um, a cup of milk uh, a day, even if we were reduced that by 6%, it would still be greater than a cup of milk a day. We can go through that. Yeah, um, this whole cup of milk thing is such an extrapolation. It's, yeah, I don't, I'm not it's taking not, it seriously. It's the, amount, it's the amount that goes through the same process. It's not an extrapolation at all. Okay, well, what I'm going to do right now then, to move on, I'm just going to, um, for now, um, grant the whole milk thing. I don't care about how you get that. I'm just going to grant it. And now we're going to look at other aspects. So I want to cover a lot more and we've been going for quite a while now and we, we're just not getting through this because we just getting caught up and I'm trying to say the next thing. You're like, no, we're going to stay on this point because you need to provide 18 different types of evidence before I can consider what you're saying to be true. So uh, I, we really need to move on a bit more. So well, I'm no, just going to so, grant So at this point, okay, so here's where we are at this point. If we, if I, and this is something I can, I'll look into. Uh, time permitting, and I'd like to look into it. it where a grant is, if it really is the case that um, organic organic doesn't happen to be using manure for their leguminous crops, if that's really what the case is, or their manure that they're using is very low, you can look into that. Um, then I'm more that leguminous or crops are not um, are are not carnivorous. 
Um, based on the data I've seen from nitrogen fixation for other cro available crops that legumes provide, I'm not willing to grant that the crops that are not leguminous that are organic are not carnous. I wouldn't be willing to grant that because the, the for the same reason I wouldn't be willing to grant that a cup of milk a day is not carnous. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do to move on this argument here is we can agree that legume, organic legumes are harnessed and we can... If, if all of those things that, if, if all the things you said are true, then organic leguminous crops are not harnessed. Cool. And I am, uh, just for the sake of moving the conversation along, because I want to address other aspects of this, I am now going to grant you that all of your calculations to do with organic as true and organic is just as bad as drinking a glass of milk, whatever the fuck that means. So then it's as a general, how do you work that out? General, gonna, yeah. So as a general yeah, heuristic, yeah. is it carnage? Yeah, so so however the fuck you've worked that out, I'm gonna grant that, even though I don't really understand even how that means it is bizarre. But I'm just gonna grant all of it. It's the same as carnist, it's the same as drinking a glass of milk, it's completely carnist, hundred oh, percent. So cool. now let's let's move on to establishing whether conventional is equally or more carnist. Okay, so than clear, we agree, we agree, we agree on the debate proposition that organic as a general heuristic is carnist. No, uh, the, the debate proposition was not organic is carnist as a uh, general heuristic. The debate proposition, if I remember correctly, uh, was um, either organic uh, is not carnist as a general heuristic or it is equally as, or, or it is also carnist um, as conventional. Okay, Sorry? so the debate proposition was organic as a general heuristic is carnus. That was on the recording. That's incorrect. The debate proposition, which I wrote uh, four days ago now, I can't remember when I, was, I, I came in here after I published my, my last video, um, we settled on the debate proposition that uh, organic is carnus as a general heuristic um, or uh, it is equally, is also as carnus as conventional. That, that, it, it was, it, it was two parts to it. That was the whole Wait, point of what? That yeah, no, we can go back and look at that. Wait, in the beginning of this debate, I just said the main prop proposition, and what we agreed is the question was, generally speaking, or is organic harnessed? And you said no, and then it, it was said that okay, that's a debate proposition. All right, there are screenshots of this. Hold on. Uh, well, the, the original debate proposition is. Well, the reason why we're having this debate now, the original proposition that I said a few days ago is uh, that it is um, either, either Cardiff or the same. Uh, we're going to hold you to this. We're going to check what you said because now you're... Yeah, I, I don't I, I'm you. going to try and find you're, it. You're being dishonest. I, don't, I think you're being dishonest. Um, you, that wasn't the, the no, 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 I'm not, dude. Uh, and, and unless I'm going crazy right now, like I, uh, no, unless I'm going think, crazy, I, you've, right. I think you've changed. I think we really spelled this out. Um, and and I would encourage. Uh, let, let, let's just check to see. I mean, I mean, we have a logger in case you delete your post, so it's not going to work for that either. But uh, uh, dude, I'm not, not going to delete my post because if I didn't write that, then I'd just be fucked. Oh, what's, what's going on? I, I thought that yeah, I, I wrote. It's, that. It's, I would just okay. like, we, we can we can check uh, with the I'm debate. Like, I, I think I'm we were. Very, sure I think I we tried to be very clear on what the debate proposition was here. So let's go back and check. That's fine. We can all the time we need to check to make sure that none of the weaseling happens. Yeah, no, no, dude. Why are you accusing? Why are you well posing by saying words like weasling? I, I wanna, I, I wanna. I perceive, be it's what I, to be honest, it's what I perceive you to be you to be doing. So I'm, I'm. Yeah, well, I can just say that I perceive you to be a fucking pedophile. Like, okay, that's sharp. all right. That's listen. You can, you can say that. Right, look, I'm just being honest. Um, so, but it's okay. Yeah, so it's dude. fine. Like I, I deal, I, I deal with, I deal with many, many weasels in my time. Um, that's okay. We can, we can, and the way to do it is just very patiently. Isaac, take notes. The way to do it is to be very patient and just go very slowly, and meticulously, so that you don't let you don't let any of this stuff happen. Even though sometimes I end up doing it, and just to remain. Uh, I don't like this. Well, yeah, you are meticulous. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta really just maintain your calm and just. Um, yeah, you gotta just go very slowly and calm. So let's look at the, what the debate proposition was that you agreed to.
Uh, I'm, I'm searching for it, but I can't, I can't find that post. But um, we can like, like if we if we find it, I've said something different, then uh, then I'll, I'll concede. But I'm I remember quite clearly that I pretty clearly that I said that. Okay. Um, is it generally carnist? Yes or no? He said, no, it is not generally carnist. If conventional is not carnist. Yeah, so can you um, concede me? If, if, conventional, if conventional is not carnist, if it is not, wait, he said, it is conventional is not carnist. If any contribution is considered carnist, then conventional is carnist too. Okay, Can you the okay yeah, 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 sure, sure, yeah, yeah. So, so you, 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 you made the implication on what the debate proposition was. It was announced at the beginning of the debate, a different debate proposition, though. So. Okay, so. Yeah, I, I wasn't yeah. precise if that's the case. And so I apologize is, for not being yeah, precise, so, but so, I, I just what wanted you so to I, I guess, know yeah, that. I guess we just had a confusion. Yeah, I guess, I guess I just, yeah, should have been clear on the debate proposition in the beginning of the debate. So I said in the beginning of the debate that or, organic as a general heuristic is correct. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I wasn't was precise. Recording. I wasn't precise that then. Maybe it was my fault for not being precise. But yeah, you, uh, I, I do uh, like the way that you are able to apologise for calling me a weasel because I don't think that I'm a fucking weasel and that I don't like. The fucking no, I, I just no. Just to be clear, no, I, I do, I do like I, my the overall impression of you is that you you are a weasel. I, I I'll be honest with you about that. It's just that I can. You know, I can my overall impression of you is, is, is that no, you act like a fucking nut and you're disrespectful. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, no, I know, but I could still. I I grant that I could be. I could be. Uh, that I could be wrong about things, and I I want to. It's important that when you're dealing with, even when you're dealing with a weasel, to not just assume they're wrong just because they're being a weasel. So I'll grant you that. In that in that particular screenshot, you were still weaseling on the debate proposition, instead of. Oh uh, no, no, because this, this is part of what I'm trying to establish, dude. So I'm not weaseling. Yeah. So 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 like okay so. I said in the beginning of the, the debate that the debate proposition, and like this was said by Isaac, it was said by me, that organic as a general heuristic is carnist. Uh, that, was, that was what we said was the debate proposition. It's on record. Yeah, sure. So, then, then, I, I wasn't, then I can say that I wasn't precise um, because what I want to do now, I'm, I'm not agreeing with you or conceding that uh, organic is carnist because what no, I wanted what to I do. No, we have a okay. Dude, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Proper, what I wanted proper. to do, dude, 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 dude. What I wanted to do was establish right now that conventional also has huge issues, what which might be more considered more carnist than organic. So if organic is carnist, I'm just going to invite you that organic is carnist, and now we're going to have a look at conventional and see if that is carnist as well. So uh, um, I, I don't want to, I, I'm not conceding the deba debate by doing that, right? So unless you right. are now going to prevent me from doing that. I just want to be clear on what the debate proposition was. Yeah, it was that which was screenshot. What? And agreed what upon I, in advance. Instead of what I said? Hold on. Let's let's find it. And, and you're really crackly again for me. Uh, it might be my phone. I'm gonna um, quit and then rejoin. So if you can unmute me when I rejoin, please.
Uh, can you talk? Hello. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just yeah. I I just um, I just I just see that I said like the bait proposition is our quote organic. Generally speaking, is common. Um. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Let's find it. I don't know the fact that you just call people weasels, dude. Like, no, it's you, not that I just, I don't, I don't just, I don't just like, I, like, like. It's just my. Oh, look, I'm just giving you my impression of you. Like, I think, I yeah. think that in this debate, you've been very shifty and you've been, you've been weasley. Like, that's no, just, dude, like, I'm being honest. Very shifty, like goalpost right. shifty. Like, I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't. Right no, I don't, I don't think, I, I don't think I, I've given, I've shifted a goalpost because I don't think you've asked me for a goalpost and I haven't given you one. But yeah, no, no, um, no, no, dude. Like, we're, we're look, look, look. I just want to, I, and I. And I and I and I've been look 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 I've I've look again I I just I'm I'm my goal here is to get to the bottom of it so based on what you've shown again based on what you've shown I've um I'll, I'm happy to say if that if it really is the case that uh, the or, the manure is not used for uh, organic um. I mean, in the case of leguminous products, and leguminous products that are organic may not be uh, carnage, sure. Um, but it, but based on what I've seen for the other crops, I don't think they would hold uh, because the nitrogen available from the other crops is very seems to be very low in comparison. It wouldn't change the calculations. Okay. Well, um, so I'm going to grant you that it's mm -hmm. the same as drinking a glass of milk that is carnage. Uh, I'm not conceding that. I'm just going to grant you that for the sake of moving forward in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to discuss um, some other aspects of conventional agriculture to see if it's the same or worse as organic in terms of it. Okay, sure. Uh, in terms of it being carnous or not? Okay. Yeah, sure. So um, the majority of U.S. cropland is obviously um, obviously conventional, 200 mm -hmm. yep. million acres. Yep. Uh, the total U.S. organic cropland is 2.7 million acres. Mm -hmm. so Very low, yeah. Yeah, and therefore. Uh, so because of the because of two thirds of the nitrogen fertility actually comes from fixation on organic farms, discounting all of the other inputs. Uh, well, no, 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 two thirds, no, 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 two thirds of it. No, let's be clear about it. Two thirds. It's not two thirds. It's not, it's two thirds in the year. That's being that leguminous crops are going to be used. It's going to be for the leguminous crops. If you're going to go for, if you're, you're not answering the same question. Look, it no, depends no, on the no, crops. No, it no, depends no, on the crops. Okay. crops. Okay. So what was it on? I'll just bring it up now, but it wasn't leguminous crops. It was averages. How many, how many, uh, yeah, but, but how many crops were, what kind of crops were in those averages? So I think it might even say what crops are in here. And again, we're looking at what, what we're interested in looking at is the nitrogen available to the soil for the other crops, not just like how much nitrogen was fixated in the, in the plant matter. Yeah, sure. So the crops are cereal crops and oil seed crops and protein crops. Okay, crops are protein crops. So, you so of, like, it doesn't, like, again, so, like, so, look, we went, already went through this. We already went through, and even then, you would have to calculate, like, every, how many, if it's every third year, then it's not, like, it's, it's, the average is not 60%. The average is going to be, like, 60% divided by three. Now, now like, by, the, no, the study yeah. says X, and I'm going with X. If you want to say Okay, y, but you're, no, you're, yeah, because you're, you're not, you're, you don't understand the interpretation of the study. Look, no, so no, again, like you're, 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 yeah, you're, you're I'm not reinterpreting, I'm not, nope, nope, not reinterpreting, nope, nope, not reinterpreting anything. Nope. Not re not reinterpreting anything. So again, the problem is, nope, nope, uh, so I'm not, I'm not reinterpreting anything. I'm just pointing out to you what the study, what inferences can and cannot be made from the study. So, okay, so we're looking at, so again, if, study where, where it says that the crop rotation was every three years, so we need to, uh, well, no. It, 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 you know, well, 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 again, no, no. So again, I will grant that if the crop rotation is done, and if these same methods are done, and if, if the same results happen all the time, even if we ignore the problems that it was estimated and it wasn't calculated, all the, if we, even if we ignore all those things, 
that sure, but in reality, there's no evidence that they're rotate that they're doing this every year that they're go- using all these leguminous crops every year. Dude, this was a study. I'm gonna go off the study. I understand if what the study was. The study, mm-hmm. If you want to change not the study, trying, then do not, it in nope, your little nope, change nope, the RV weasel nope. world. But in my okay. world, which isn't weasel, yeah, we're not. I'm gonna nope, go nope. Nope. So then that's not what I'm, that's again, that's, so that's not what I'm saying. So I'm just saying that a study can say something and you, you, you the, inter- the extrapolation to organic can just, can be very different. So one way it can be very yeah, different. If you're a weasel. No, not if you're a weasel, if it's just in reality. So look, if, if, for example, if you have that night for, for uh, uh, one year, and you rotate your crops as required every third year. Then what happens is your average yearly nitrogen fixation rate doesn't come out to be sixty percent of manure. Even if it did, by the way, even even if it sixty percent of nitrogen fixation was for fixation, even if it did, by the way, you would still have a problem because it still wouldn't match the differential between <laughs> it still wouldn't match the differential between uh, organic manure usage and conventional manure usage. So there would well, still be a differential. Uh, no, it wasn't a weasel chuckle. It was just a, a, a chuckle because it would just be a futile attempt to, to save organic. But okay, cool. The, Let, let's the, move past this point. I don't the, care. Let's go on to the next point because I want to get through this fucking debate before. Well, then don't try to go. Well, you keep saying you want to go back to the that point, but then you you, you say you want to go past the point, but then you keep saying how you want to go back to it. Yeah, because I was referencing it in my next point. Okay, I'll discard that point. Let's move on to the next point. So uh, let's talk about the, the harbor blotch process um, depending on hydrogen derived from methane um, derived from natural gas, which in 2015 mm-hmm. constituted 54% of that was constituted from um, or was produced from, uh, from fracking. So mm-hmm. let's, let's yep. start talking about fracking. Yeah. I mean, look, so, so again, like, um, so yeah, sure. It, it comes from natural gas, but again, you would have to change, you would have to look at the differential between economic demand for the animal agriculture industry and the methane produced by cows. And you would have to compare that for environmental damage. I'd like, you need to see an analysis from that because if there's more economic demand for cows, they're contributing much, not, uh, methane gas into the, uh, into the atmosphere. They're contributing to global warming. They're damaging the environment as well. And most of the calculations, most of the analyses that actually include all of that and summate all of that into into the environmental damage actually don't account for that differential. Okay, well, I wasn't even talking about the environmental damage directly from methane. I was talking mm-hmm. about the environment. So what are you talking uh, about? Damage caused by fracking. Okay, and so okay, so are you saying that there's the damage that's caused by fracking that's like greater than the environmental harms from organic? There, there's like degree. Um, damage okay, can you sh- can you show me an analysis? Okay, so can you show me like some analysis of like the degree? So how much of the methane is going to come? Oh, here we go. So just to be clear on the debate prop. Okay, so I said the debate prop is organic is generally carnist. I'm happy to address the false claims about my debate etiquette as well as the hilariously bad parallel cases for things looking in America being carnist after we debate the debate prop we agreed to. He said, I don't know why that would be a false claim. Is a false you interrupt Michelle many times. I take it that you will only be willing to discuss afterwards that you ensure that the main that the main prop is debated long enough to run out. Okay, so you're agreeing here that that's that, that's okay. So it seems like you're at this prop. The main prop is debated. You're agreeing that that is the main prop. Okay. okay. All, right. All, right. All right. Now I'm now I'm back. Now I'm now I'm confident calling you a weasel. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, okay. Wait, dude. Well, well, now I'm confident calling you the weasel. I, I said, oh no, the debate proposition is. It, yeah. Either it's that, or that, it's either, fine, either, so either, either, yeah. So then, then, yeah, then, then you that you agreeing that's the main prop, and then that you would be weaseling by trying to change it after. Like, okay, I'm actually pretty confident calling you a weasel now. I'm sorry. I'm Wait, like, I'm, I'm. Oh where, where man. Where oh, we're that? next where, level here. Before or after? That I don't was. Know where this is taken from? It's it's orig- here. You original. I believe it was you originally said. Originally, you said. I don't know why that would be a false claim. Is it false? You interpreted Michelle's view many times. I take it you will only be willing to discuss that afterwards so that you can ensure the main prop is debated long enough to run out of time on the others. That was who you originally, you originally just said that's the main prop. Yeah, that and was then, the, that then was the we tried prop. to change yeah, it after. Okay. Is or is Ooh, man. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's not, no, you, that wasn't ever, that wasn't actually said before. 
we can go through the timestamps then. Yeah, let's go through the fucking timestamps. Okay. I remember is so at two, to at two, you, oh at two, one. Proposition, the debate proposition was that. And now you, you've confirmed, you've seen that. I, I haven't even found it myself on my Discord. I don't know where you're looking. The debate prop I, is I organic, quote. What I said was the debate prop is, quote, organic is generally carnist. You said, you referred to that as the main prop. And you said that you, would, you didn't want to spend too long on the main prop because you wanted to talk about the other things. Yes, yes thank you for finding that. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm. See, that's what's just, getting like a. It's, it's just, it's just. You actually no. have to. We re- really have to just screenshot the things, the things you say. It's just yeah, really yeah, and, un- and screenshot the one where I said, or it's, it's equally as. Yeah, honest. yeah, like you screenshot that. One. But yeah, you, so then you tried to. If you're trying to, uh, then you're trying to just change the debate proposition. You agreed to initially. No, no, dude. What you're doing now? You're wheezing now to try and make me look like a weasel when we've. Oh, we've you. <laughs> I, I think. Look, look. Let's pull. We can. We can pull the screenshots. I. I don't yeah, know why it was so hard. I don't know. Already, okay, pull up the screenshots. Anyway. I don't, I don't know, know why. why this is, I don't know why it's. That I, why I is it? That. Why is it so? That, oh man! Why is it? Why is it so hard? Look, you, why did you say? Why did you refer to it as the main prop? If you if you didn't agree to that prop, because that it is the organic is carnist, quote unquote. The topic of con, uh, discussion is the main proposition, right? But okay, great. So then, what, yeah, but but. When we said what is the actual debate prop, and we actually decided on the debate prop, I, I was sure to be specific. But if I'm just going to reply to you in a comment after you've written something, I'm not going to say no. Wait a minute, Harvey, you've got the debate prop wrong because actually what I said before, like, dude, what the fuck's wrong? I mean, with this you, was spelled out. This was spelled out in the beginning. This was even spelled out in the beginning of the debate itself. We we said it very clearly. Um, <clears throat> I don't. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um. Dude, uh, but I do want I do want dude, to go I do want to like, that I we decided on the debate prop. I said organic is carnist or carnist to the same degree as conventional. We agreed upon that, then we said, Okay, let's do uh, let's do it at six PM and that and then you replied with this comment, Oh yeah, but uh, I don't want to talk about this or that and then I just followed it up by saying, Yeah, um, you're just gonna run down the clock or something. And that's not me. No, no, that. I, I think that was before. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, Let's uh, go if, through if it. You're taking. You're now taking <laughs> that to me. I hereby change the debate proposition. Here we go. That's Let's go through it. Let's go through it. Hold on. Let's go through it. We'll go through it. It's yeah, okay. Let's go through it, man. Why are we even wasting time on this anyway? I want to get. I want to actually talk about the fucking. Let's go through it. It's it's un it's un it's unfortunate. It's un it's. It's unfortunate, but we have to. We'll we'll just go through it. It's on four chan. I've never been on four chan. <laughs> what are you on about this? It's unfortunate that we have to do this. Oh, it's unfortunate. I thought you said it was on four chan. I was like, what the fuck are you talking? No, about? it's un. It's un. It's unfortunate that we have to go through this. It. Yeah. But it we, is. Can so we can do. It. <laughs> so why don't we just like agree? Like we just saw a minute ago that we agreed that the debate proposition was. Um, either organic is carnist or it's carnist to the same extent as conventional. And we've already oh, it, it was doing? after I looked at the timestamps. No, you agreed that was the main prop before. You changed what? it after. Sorry. Uh, what I changed? Cha- what did I change after? What? Yeah, right? yeah. You cha- I'm looking at the time. Look, we have the time app. You you changed it after. What? So I was more specific after, or I said no, no. You no, you changed it after. Hold on. Let's, what do you mean so I you changed, changed it? it after? You think me saying, "Oh yeah," I wouldn't consider. I wouldn't consider. I wouldn't consider organic, quote unquote, carnist. No. Generally speaking, didn't answer the question. Yes or no? Answered you. Let's go through. Can you screenshot where we actually agreed on the debate proposition and I was actually specific? Okay. So I actually um something to say because I didn't agree to this. Um people told me people told me he you answered. So you said no, it is not generally carnist. 
this is after like saying other debate just, props. Just but then you said, hey, this is, screen, yeah, yeah, yeah. you said no, this is not. This is this is the screenshot where I actually, um, where I will this actually screenshot. give you give give the people here a little bit of flack for not picking up on this weasel move. But dude, here dude, it is. It's not yeah, I'll post it. I'll post it. I'll post it. I'll post it. Like, and this is this is. Um, by the way, I didn't agree to this debate prop. Um, Post Other people screen. may have agreed to it. I'm posting it, buddy, my dude. So this was what you said after. So the, after after you talked about the main prop, you changed it to this. You said, no, it's generally not carnist if conventional is not carnist. If any contribution is considered carnist, then conventional carnist too. And then we see people saying, okay, that's the debate prop he answered. And I'm like, oh, great, he answered. I. I never agreed to that debate prop, but okay. But okay. Um, yeah, but now you can see that. Can you apologize again for calling yeah. me a weasel? Well, well, no. I think I, no. I, I do uh, no. I maintain that you are a weasel because you, you change. You are changing the debate. Oh, absolutely. You've changed. You are changing the debate proposition the whole time, and you wouldn't give a clear answer. And even no, and even when we specified it out today, even when we specified it out today, even when we specified it out today, what the debate prop was, you didn't you didn't correct what the debate prop was until far down the line when you wanted to shift because you saw where the debate was going. No, 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 dude. What well, and and you've not tracked the conversation. So what's happened? I'll, I'll remind you where we are in the conversation and, and help you understand this because you're not tracking. What happened was I said I don't really I'm not convinced of this milk stuff but I'm going to grant it to you so we can proceed with the conversation. I didn't say that I've conceded it. I'm still skeptical of it, but I just want to move the conversation along. So I'm granting you it. I'm not conceding the debate proposition. That doesn't answer what the debate proposition is. Sorry? That doesn't answer what the debate proposition is. I don't care. I'm just, I'm granting you this. So then we can talk about conventional because otherwise we can't talk about conventional. What's the debate proposition? It was the no. It's not. Is well, we can even just change it if you if, if we want to change it now to your preferred debate proposition. We can change it to. Um, we, we we can change it to organic is carnist, but then I won't then grant you that organic is carnist right now. I'll just start making a case for why conventional is equally as quote unquote carnist. Therefore, both of them couldn't be considered carnist. I could do that as well. I just the proposition is I tried to spell it out really clearly. I'm getting tired. Oh, okay, so so if you if you want to have the debate proposition. Hello. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry, uh, one. Yeah. So if if you want, we can keep the debate proposition as organic is carnist. Well, here's another Let's screenshot. Great. I know we got a debate prop of something like organic is and carnist, but I was wondering if we wanted to have better structure. As your initial comments was, quote, "I'm happy to debate you on all the points made in the video." I suggest, therefore, debate points be made in, in this order. Debate etiquette briefly. America is Carnist. Parallel argument is organic, actually Carnist. So it seems very clear that there's there's at least incredible inconsistency on what you were agreeing to what the debate proposition Okay, well, I can apologize for not being more specific. Uh, I, I can do that, but you you can't. You can't insult me by calling me a weasel in regards. I, to well, no, I'm, 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 my claim, my, okay, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be more specific on, on my end as well. Um, it, it, the perception I have comes off as is weaselly. I, 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 that's my the perception. I, I don't know. Yeah, I can't prove weaselly. that you actually are, but I, it's the perception I'm getting. Um, so yeah, anyway, yeah, sure. um, the, the vibe yeah. that I'm getting from you, man, is that you're a pedophile. It's just the vibe that I'm getting. All right, all right, that's, yeah, that's fine. okay, cool. Um, so what's, why, why do you think, let's, let's just close off this. Okay. Yeah. We, we've heard the Haber process arguments. I, I've watched the conscientious omnivore video as well. Um, so what's the, yeah, what's the case for that? What's the case for that oh, being, um, uh, yeah, I've watched, I've watched the conscientious omnivore video as well. Okay. So fracking. 
So why do you think, so let's calculate what, can you give me a calculation of like what degree of methane is used from fracking in, in the, uh, in the Haber process for synthetic fertilizers and why that we should say that that's more harmful than the economic demand for the agri animal agriculture industry and its own externalities on the environment, such as the methane yeah. gas. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Great. So um, it's, it's really nice that we're moving on finally. So the Harbour Botch process uh, depends on hydrogen um, in order to, um, get to, to, to get the actual nitrogen out of the air. Um, uh, you need mm -hmm. to use hydrogen, which is derived from methane, which is derived from that. I'm aware of this. I'm aware of all. I'm aware of all. I'm aware of all this. That doesn't answer my question. I'll yeah, repeat so the question. Now we've established that. So um, the question on the table. Oh, no, it's already been. We've already. We've already. We, no, no. Fifty-four percent is the amount of total methane that's being derived from. Fracking. It's not the total amount of methane that's being used for synthetic fertilizer. Yeah, so my yeah, question you is, you can't yeah. get so synthetic fertilizer without so I'm getting large yeah. Amounts of natural gas. So okay, I understand, but the the natural again, the fifty four percent for fracking figure is not the amount of the fifty four percent of the um the fifty four percent of the figure from fracking is not actually the amount, the percentage of methane gas that's being used for synthetic fertilizers. It could very well be that that's a different percentage of the, of the, not coming from the fracking. We don't know. It could be um, assumed that it's the same for the sake of the argument. But all, I, but the point of being is that we would need the actual amounts that are being used and we would need to see like, okay, well, how much fracking is being done because of the synthetic fertilizers? In other words, and we would have to convert that into into this um, per, you know, we can convert it into per calorie or we can convert that into per kilogram of food produced. And we can see how much uh, how much fracking we're actually causing by purchasing this. And then the question would be, why would that be worse than the environmental externalities or any other externality from the animal agriculture industry and the differential demand? Yeah, sure. So there are things that we need to go through. So um, fracking um, is it, it's either derived from fracking or the methane is derived from other fossil um, fuel sort of like extraction. Either way, um, we've got problems with oil spills and, and pollution of the fracking in the environment. So fracking is pretty bad. We, if you want to see the numbers, uh, we can just look at Yara, who's one of the best, uh, one of the biggest um, corporations doing um, uh, fertilizer. Uh, synthetic nitrogen, Yara is pretty much the, the market leader. Um, and we, we, we can look at statistics on Yara and how much fracking and how much. Um, great. Are, what are, what is it? Great. Great. What is it? Uh, I've just posted a link here to an article um, displaying some of the issues there from Yara. What? What? Okay, but ants, the, ant, does this answer the question? When you post me something, does it actually answer the question that I asked? Well, the, the, the question you're asking is, what is the economic demand um, as, like ascribed to fracking in comparison to the animal agriculture industry and the comparative suffering? It's such a convoluted, complex question. That I'm not just going to go blah, figure. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, 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 yeah. So, I mean, where I, where I come from, I don't actually think there's a proposition on the table right now, by the way, ask yourself, because I don't think, um, I think we, we, I think we didn't even, uh, I don't, yeah, so, yeah, to what, answer what you. What do you mean? We're still debating the original yeah. proposition. Organic is carnist. Right? Organic is carnist? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. so, so you, uh, could, but you agreed, you agreed, you, did you, did you agree to organic is carnist then? No, I didn't, because what I said was, you weren't listening then, I'll have to explain it again. So what I said was, um, I won't grant you the milk thing and organic is carnist and all of that to move on with the conversation. What I'll do in instead is not grant of any of that, but we'll just move on to establish that conventional is equally or worse um, for, for the animals as um, organic is. And then if we 
look at that and think, oh, well, con- conventional is causing equal or more harm to the animals, yeah. then there's no yeah. reason so, to so say it wouldn't, that, it's that wouldn't it. That wouldn't, yeah, so that wouldn't be, yeah, but that wouldn't be, look, you already agreed that if it is the case that there's an equivalent amount of demand for the organ- for the milk case as is as it is in the organic, then it would be carnist. Now, all I need to show you that that's actually the case. And then, yeah. Well, um, yeah. No, no, so, no, so no, no. there's, more, there's yeah. more to it than that because you've already. Well, no, you already agreed. Well, then you're going back on. You already, you already agreed on that. No, dude, 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 dude. You've already agreed about the whole America is carnist thing. The the, the no. objection to America is carnist no. is that's, that that's, oh, it's too difficult. That's, that's irrelevant. It's too difficult. No, no, no. Irrelevant. Growing crops is too difficult, and America is carnist. That's irrelevant. Okay, so you already agreed. So you already you already agreed. So you already agreed. No, that's very important and very relevant. You've already you've you've already agreed that if there's an equivalent amount of demand, um, from organic to the milk, then it would be carnist. And then all I need to show you now, I'm just showing you that there's an equivalent amount of demand in general for organic as is the, the milk. So I can show you those calculations. And even if you want to save it with the legumes, it doesn't matter because generally speaking with the, all the other crops, and even if, we, if we, we divide it out by the difference in rotation, it would still come out to the differential in demand for, for milk, even even uh, even if, and especially if I don't use the corn steel man. So we can go through those calculations. Do you accept that the economic demand differential is equivalent to the milk case? Definitely not. You haven't established that at all. Okay, so here's the additionally. So here's the great. So here's the so so let's go through the calculations. So let's go through the calculations. So let's go through the calculations. If I, if so I let's go through the calculations. So 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 let's so let's so let's go through the calculations. So let's so let's go through let's go through the words coming out of Let's go through the calculations. Listen to the words coming out of Here we go. Let's go through the calculations again and you tell me where I'm going wrong. No 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 before we Let's go through the calculations. Before we get into you want you want you, you want to, to know you no, want no, to know no, if there's no. an equivalent amount of demand for the milk. So let's go through the calculations, and you can tell no, me where no, I'm no, going dude, wrong. Dude. Be- be- before we get into the calculations, oh. can you please confirm? Go through it over that here. If conventional was worse than organic, that conventional would be carnist as well in your eyes, or it wouldn't be carnist in your eyes. Uh, what is your position on that? You need what, to You agreed. Them. You agreed. That if organic dodging, produces the same dodging. amount of demand, I'm keeping to the de- keeping to the debate prop. You agreed. We can get to that after. We can get to that after. We can get we can get to that after. You agreed that if organic produces the same amount of demand, you agree that if organic produces the same amount of demand, you agree that if organic produces the same amount of demand. You agree that if organic produces the same amount of demand as milk. You agreed that if organic produce, I will answer your question. I will definitely. You agreed. You agreed that if organic produce the same amount of demand as milk, then we then it would become for organic. So here's so here's the calculations. Here's the calculations that they are the same amount of demand. And now you tell me where I'm going wrong. Answer the question, Avi. Well, answer the. I have no problem answering the question, but we have to keep it on point for now, my dude. So yeah, here we go. Keeping it on point with you. So here we're keeping it. Let's keeping it on point. So here's the calculations. They're being posted in yeah. general. So 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 if we tell me point, tell me where. Tell me where I'm going wrong question. with my calculations. Do you, you here's the calculations for milk. Tell me where I'm going wrong with my calculations. Tell me where I'm going wrong with my calculations. Because this shows this shows this shows these calculations show that organic generally results in the same even with this corn steel man results in the same amount of economic demand. 
results in the same amount of organic of, of demand as a cup of milk a day. Really, it would be larger than that if we didn't use the corn. I'm willing to say in the case of legumes, we could consider that being vegan, even if they're organic. However, the problem is for the other, for the other crops, it wouldn't hold. So generally speaking, it's equivalent to the demand for the amount of milk. So yeah, for the sake of the argument, I'm yeah, I see that. Yeah, I'm not granting legume. I'm just saying if that all that stuff is true, I, I yeah, I agree. Okay, so what's, um, so uh, so again, so what's wrong? What's wrong? To organic. What's wrong? You eat what's conventional? What's wrong? No, so that's not an answer to the question. So do you no, do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree? We can get there. Do you agree that that organic? Produces as much generally produces as much demand as the milk case. Demand isn't the only aspect of being harnessed. So do you agree? No, but you you ant you you agreed that if it produces the same amount of demand in this debate, you agreed that if it produces the same amount of demand, it would no, be harnessed. No, 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 no. You see what you're doing. You're on recording. You see, uh, weasel, weasel, you agree. weasel boy there, weasel boy, because you what you've agree. done is changed it from demand. Mm -hmm. uh, you change you change it from suffering to demand. That's what you've done. Okay. You, you've disequivocated. We, okay, and we agreed that it came from the demand. So, the, the, of course, so I'm going to say demand. We agreed that it came from the demand for the process. So, if we show that it was the same demand, you agreed that it was carnist. So now I'm giving you the calculations that it's the same demand. Is it carnist or not? I don't care about demand. I care about suffering. I said that multiple times. Okay, but we already agreed. Yeah, but we already agreed that it's coming from the demand. We went through this. It's on recording. We already agreed yeah, that I, it came I, from I said demand. quite clearly and explicitly about we already suffering. Agreed that the same suffering. We, are, yeah, yeah, that we, we already agreed. Suffering. We already agreed that that suffering is what came from the demand. If the same, if the same demand goes to the same process, then we agreed. We already agreed that that would be carnage. So here's the calculation showing that the same demand goes through the same process. There's no reason to assume it's a different amount of suffering. That so is it carnage? No, I'm talking about suffering, not demand. I'm, I'm talking yep, about. We already if, agreed. If, we already agreed. No, 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 what we agreed. Suffering let, let me, or demand. Let, 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 let me let me remind you what we agreed. Let me remind you. Agreed. Okay, once okay. Once you can stop being. You can stop once. being monotone. Just let me fucking talk. It's getting annoying, dude. I'll remind you what we agreed. I reminded you that if there was a case, um, where there was a carrot A and carrot B, going back to what we were talking about three hours ago. And there was more suffering on one, and I knew for certainty that there was more suffering on one, um, then that would be the carnist one. So we need to establish that there's more suffering on one, right? And I, I even said, well, maybe they're both even carnist if I knew in both cases there was a huge amount of suffering. So we need to establish that the, we need to establish the suffering for both. And you're not letting me establish that now because you're just talking over me constantly. So can we actually get back to the debate and discuss the suffering? Okay, we already agreed. We already agreed that if it produced the same amount of demand for the same amount of deontic rights violations and or um, suffering in the context of milk, if it was the, if the organic diet produced the same, then it would be carnage. You agreed to that. Now yeah, I'm showing I, I you. I agreed if it was the same suffering. I didn't. Agree, yeah, yeah. I didn't you agreed. Yeah, you agreed if it was the same. I, I said your calculation was. Great, great. So now what, show me what's wrong with my calculation. Your calculation doesn't take into account the environmental damage or any of the other things I want to talk about, the fracking of the conventional and all of these things that you're not taking into account. You're just talking about manure. Well, there's a lot more. Uh, we, we talk about avian mortality, insect pollinator mortality, uh, fracking, the, uh, the uh, nitrous oxide is a huge one for global warming, which is increased 20% of concentrations, nitrous oxide, which is attributable, um, completely attributable to anthropogenic uh, fertilization of, of nitrogen, synthetic nitrogen. There's many, many, many reasons why actually conventional could be considered equally or more honest but you don't want to get into that. You just yeah, want to make so, sure so we, we no, we can, we can totally, we can totally, we can totally get into that. So, so I just want to ask you this. Um, we can, we can, we can just do it this way. So let's say, let's say that there were, let's say there were humans in this situation instead of animal. If there were humans being farmed instead of animal, 
And because I just want to see where you're operating from, if you're really going to be a true utilitarian here. If there were humans, yeah. So it, okay, great. so if there are humans in the situation instead of instead of um instead of the animal, then would you would you say the same thing? Would you say that well, it's just not clear, and if more demand is going to this farm of humans, and we should we should it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be harness to avoid it in the human context because of some environmental concerns, uh, uh, even if you're unclear on it? Are you asking my personal opinion or are, are you asking me in respect to some moral In your response to your moral sense that you hold. Oh, well, I'm a descriptivist, so I'll just do whatever I feel that's is right. not an answer. Situation. Okay, that's well, not an answer to the question. You know you're, you're not okay. So I'm just asking you what you would. I'm just asking you what you would answer. Can you, Even can if you, you want to say it's just what I would it. answer, you answering you saying, "Well, I would answer what I would answer." You're just giving me a tautology. It's not actually giving me an answer. Yeah. Well, so yeah, well, would, would you like me to repeat like the it. question? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Can you be? Yeah. yeah sure. Okay. Be so in in if there were humans instead of animals being farmed like that. Would you say it wouldn't be carnist? Conventional would still be maybe more carnist because of some environmental externalities. Like we don't know, maybe the fracking, maybe the pesticides, maybe the this. Or would you say that the deontic waiting outweighs this pure consequentialist narrative? In my personal way of looking at that, uh, I would be horrified to think that my carrots were fertilized with human slave manure. But if I knew that the alternative, conventional carrots, killed humans or caused humans cancer, or killed a human... No, they killed sentient beings. They killed less, they killed, they killed less sentient beings. Well, I, I, I would go with the one which I had a higher level of confidence would kill the least amount of sentient beings. Okay, do you think the death... I'm, let me just ask, do you think the death context matters at all? Or is it just the purely like so? For example, like for example, like if a human dies in a car crash, or if a human just gets slaughtered in a ritual sacrifice, even though there's the same, let's just assume there's the same amount of pain involved in both cases. Do you think both of those things are like morally? Um, it dies in a car crash, and, and another one gets slaughtered, uh, and it somehow, I, I don't see how it would be equivalent. I don't get that. Uh, uh, okay, so it wouldn't it wouldn't be more equivalent. Yeah, I'm talking about suffering as well. I'm talking about suffering. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying the suffering was equivalent. Let's say the amount of suffering in that was equivalent. But it doesn't make sense. So the amount of suffering is equivalent to like a painless death or something is equivalent to uh, what? What is the example? Well, we equalize suffering in both cases. In one case, <clears throat> there's a ritual sacrifice. In the other case, there is a um, there's a car crash, and we equalize the amount of suffering. Are these two things morally equal? Uh, no. Um, for for me, I take into account in this circumstance. If I saw the things going on, I would think, I think oh, I'm horrified think. by the intention in one, and I would think that um, yeah. yeah. So you're not yeah. a pure. Yeah. You're not a. Violent. You're not a pure. You're not a pure consequence. Okay, yeah, great. I didn't so say I was a then, question, then you I couldn't just the, break it all I down to suffering. Then you couldn't you couldn't just break it all down to suffering. No, it's normative. It's, I'm just talking about your normative theory. Yeah, no, but I I didn't say that I could break look, down all of my metaethics. I just want to know. I just want to know. Look, what's wrong here? Look, here's here's my ultimate thing. My ultimate thing is, I know in the human context, like if there were humans being farmed and there was an, like I'm just gonna love here. If there were humans being farmed. You would have to show me that there would be insane amount of environment far, far. You'll have, have a thought to other humans You'll that are far, far. Have... If there were humans You'll being have... farms, you would have to show me that there would just be this. Hold on, I'm lagging. Yeah, yeah, but I can hear you now. Okay. okay. If if you you would have to show me that there would just be this ridiculous amount of environmental damage for me to ever think it would be anything other than horrific to go for for to go for the um to go for the organic in the human context um just because 
And so it's so like that seems that, that you it would be horrific to do that, on my view. The, the, the um, picture, because and I just don't see how that would be. Yeah, I look, like, I just yeah. want to know, look, you already, look, because you agreed, you agreed that if the demand, if the demand is the same, with the just amount of sup, deontic rights violations and suffering that goes into that demand that I'm, I'm, I'm giving in the, in that context was the same. What, show me, then it would be Karnas. So then sh just show me, show me what's wrong with my calculations. Like, what's, what's wrong with my inferences? Okay, so what's wrong is uh, we, we've got one uh, situation organic which has some contribution economic contribution to the the dairy industry or the the meat industry and then we've got another situation uh conventional that has that is it is basically the meat industry and dairy industry and is also uh fracking uh killing birds secondary deaths from wild animals eating poisoned birds uh, insects. Yeah, but, yes, but conventional does insects. all. Yeah, but again, but again, but again, conventional has increased land usage. They have more of their own certain uh, toxic compounds that they're spraying. They have more economic demand for the process of uh, dairy farm farming, which results in more methane gas. Like, how do you know that that's a reason for me to to change my numbers, to change my calculus, to suggest that it would be greater in terms of the conventional side? Well, well, the you're not taking into account, for example, nitrous oxide, which is three hundred times more potent than CO two. Okay, it's yes, but it also has, yeah, yeah but the, the total, the total, yeah, but uh, do you, have you looked at the total radiative radiative forcing for nit nitrous? Oxide? The the total what? Sorry. Total radiative forcing for nitrous oxide. It, uh, all I know, uh, I'm a layman when it comes to this sort of stuff. I know that it's three hundred times more potent than. Uh, CO2. Okay, that's per molecule, but there's there's still a difference in total radiative force because if the total if that's per molecule, but there might not be that as many molecules that that are released. Um, yeah, yeah, so the, if you look at the total radiative forcing, it, yeah, no, I under I understand that. I understand that, but regardless of that, the total radiative forcing for nitrous oxide is still far lower than. The reason for that is because the emissions, the methane. I the reason the reason for that is because. Even though nitrous oxide might be more potent, if the if the industry releases more methane than the nitrous oxide, there would still be more radiative forcing. Even if you're not calculating, even if you're not considering that quick high and quick off thing that that methane has. Even if you're looking at a hundred year models instead of the instead of, instead of not a hundred year models, but anyway. Yeah, look, man. Yeah, look, so, there's, I've so, studied for you here. I can pay for you a study where they actually traced back the isotope uh, types of um, of the nitrous oxide and confirmed that it's from anthropogenic. Uh, um, uh, it wouldn't. It still wouldn't. It would be. This would just be. This would be. That would. It still wouldn't make your case because the methane is still causes a greater amount of radiative forcing. Yeah, but this study here that I'm just um, posting. It's, it's actually yep. it's it's still even if we grant it, it, even if we grant even if we grant even if we grant your study even if we grant even if we grant even if we grant your study even if we grant your study the methane still has the more total radiative forcing than nitrous oxide the reason for that is because there's more methane produced and one of the major causes is the animal agriculture industry which organic creates more demand for so even if we grant so everything you're so saying, you uh, yeah, absolutely is true. You can look at the radiative forcing. Again, it's not per mol again, total radiative forcing, not radiative forcing per molecule. Because if one releases more it's molecules it's of that thing. Even the economics of what of this claim is here. Radiative forcing will go. This claim here, this this study shows that synthetic nitrogen has changed the composition of the atmosphere of Earth. Right. So it's, has so has the compounds of organic use. So has methane. I mean, no, no, so no, no. On, a, on a worldwide scale, on on, on stress. You don't think uh, you don't think. Uh, wait, look, here's the look. Here's radiative forcing. Radiative force. Here's yeah, the radiative forcing data. Yeah, well, what you're not what you're not taking into account as well, Arby, is that nitrous oxide is uh, ozone depleting as well. So it fucks the ozone and is a global. Warming. Okay, how do you then? How do you know then? How do you know that the greater global warming radiative forcing from the methane will outweigh that? 
or you've yet to establish that buying well, organic carrots will create more cows. Well, no. In, one, in the case of these environmental externalities, I don't see a reason to favor one over the other. In the case of the, in the, case of the ethical case, in the case of, in the, case of the, the suffering that I'm causing, it seems very clear that one causes more suffering than the other in terms of uh, funding a, a, a torture industry. But in the, case of the, in the case of these environmental factors, I don't see a, a case that one is clear. And by the way, the scientific consensus isn't clear that one is better than the other either. Um, also, it is, also, the scientific consensus does in, in terms of health, it's not the scientific consensus is better in terms of health, the scientific consensus is better in terms of health. So in one case, I see that it is not clear. In the other case, you, you, you sound like you're... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, is anyone better now? No, you're just pissing about, dude. Uh, is that you not being able to answer? The point and just being dick. Am I clear now? Yes, you are. Okay, so in the environmental cases, in accordance with the scientific consensus, by the way, it's not clear that one causes more of the utility than the other. And what the fuck are you doing, man? Yeah. That's pretty fun. Okay, sorry, I'm only coming in for audio reasons. Avi, your mic is really, really bad. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me switch. Okay. I feel you like deliberately eating your mic to be a dick or something, but I don't know. Take that back. Yeah, so I've just got three studies here which I'm gonna put in the chat. Okay, can I can I am I clear now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now, man. Okay. <clears throat> so in the case of in the case of the environmental externalities in accordance with the scientific consensus there's no reason to conclude that organic is better on the net than conventional uh well I've, in the I've, case I've, of I've, i've not i'm not done for providing you evidence yet i've just got like mm -hmm. three studies here which show bird holocaust from pesticides yep and if you and then you would have to explain the following um <laughs> I mean, look, I don't see how this is any different than just just crop deaths. I mean, I mean uh, how is it? On crop deaths if you want that. Yeah, how is it different than crop deaths? I mean, we accept crop deaths. I, I, I don't. We don't I, view. Do we I, view? I, do we view crop deaths as the same as like as is industry Holocaust deaths? I mean, I, I just posted a, a study on crop deaths. This the best study that I, I've found, uh, and the. Do you, Crop deaths are actually, I worked out how many animals, how many field mice would be killed as a direct consequence. And it was some, not hilariously low, because mm -hmm. it's not hilarious. How, any, how, and um, is there, did you calculate a differential between conventional and organic? Um, no, this was just, this was just con in conventional agriculture. Okay, so how do you know that it's different? And how do you know that that's different between conventional and organic? This was um, in terms of, rodents but the study itself goes into detail look did you did you calculate a differential between organic and conventional the, the study goes into detail did you calculate a differential that. between you said you calculated did you calculate no, just no, the no, raw no, number for a conventional or did I you cal calculate a differential between then it's not rel then it's not then it's not then it's not no, relevant no 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 no. it is relevant because you were talking about crop deaths so i'm just saying that crop deaths are yeah because a small amount of deaths whereas, whereas avian deaths a avian did you calculate a differential for avian? Did you calculate a differential for avian deaths? Yeah, yeah. So well, not differential, but I've got some numbers here. For okay. You. So, so do, avian, let me know when you have a differential for the avian death. Yeah. So so per year in. Uh, did you calculate a differential for the avian? Did you calculate a differential for the avian deaths? Yeah, okay, so did you calculate a different? I understand. Did you calculate? Did you calculate? Did you calculate? Did you calculate a differential for the avian deaths that die from organic? Yes. Okay, show me how many how many birds die from 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 organic practices. So, because organic doesn't use synthetic pesticides, um, no birds die from consuming synthetic pesticides. Okay. Do, do they? Do, do any uh, birds die from? Do any birds die, die from consuming the pesticides? Do any birds die from consuming the pesticides that organic does use? 
I have no data on that. I don't. Have no data okay, so you don't have a differential. Okay, okay, great. So you don't have a differential. Okay. Well, no, you have a. You don't. No, no, no. It's zero from the pesticides that organic doesn't use. My question is, how many birds are dying from the pesticides that organic does use? Well, I have. I have the data that um that the conventional. Do you have a? Do you have a differential? Do you have a differential yeah, between yeah, that yeah, per it's, and you and we're good just to be clear we're doing it we're not doing it on no no we're not going to do it on absolute numbers we're going to do it per kilogram of food produced we're not going to we're not going to yeah. do that yep so it's infinite per kilogram yeah. the Great. differential is infinite infinity per kilogram okay infinity per kilogram i'd like to see the numbers there so how do you how are you getting I'll give you, I'll give you the numbers so what we can do is we can say that for you realize that differential comes out to more birds than actually exist right um Dude, do you, do you actually understand? You realize that uh, that comes out to more birds. Infinity. Wait, wait. Infinity, infinity per kilogram as a differential comes out to more birds than actually exist. Do you, do you know how infinity is used in calculations? Like, surely you know about mathematics. Sure, sure, yeah, so when we're subtracting by differential, we mean one minus the other. And so you're saying if we take the ones from conventional minus the ones from organic, we get infinity. Uh, so was, if we get I birds per kilogram... Ratio. Oh no! So that's not what I asked for. I asked for a differential. Okay, so okay, so let's million. try again. It, it's, so it's how many and how many million. birds? 12, 12 million per kilogram of food produced. <laughs> well, obviously not. Dude. Okay, so like, okay. like again, like, like, don't give me the total amount because the, because obviously that's ridiculous. So we need to look at per kilogram of food produced because. Conventional is just a far larger industry than organic, so obviously the deaths are going to be lower on organic, even if organic per kilogram of food produced was having a higher amount of bird deaths. Do you know how much food in kilograms America produces? No, I don't. I just that's why I was asking you if you have this data. So you're 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 the one who claimed that you have this data. You're saying that you have the differential. Do you have a differential for the amount of birds that are dying from crop-related deaths? Do you have a differential? So, so what you're doing, you're, 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 you asked me for a differential. I gave you a differential. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. You did not. You right? didn't. So you did, you did, no, no, no. You didn't. You didn't even give me. You didn't even give me. You didn't even give me a differential. You. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yes, you do need a kilogram. No, you didn't. You assumed zero. You assumed. No. How do you know that? It, okay. How many birds are dying from pesticides that are being used by or or fungicides or whatever that are being used by organic? How many birds? None. Oh, you're sure about that? No, no birds, birds, not a not single bird, bird is de dying from the pesticides that organic does use. Not synthetic not pesticides, yeah, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, right. the natural. Are you I'm sure about that? Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I, so if I could find you one bird that died, if I should find you one bird that died from a, from a pesticide, from a pesticide that organic uses, then, then you're, you're sure that that's, there's not a single bird Dude, if you find one single bird that died as a result of consuming a pesticide allowed in organic, then I'll do you a favor and add it. Okay, so but that doesn't answer my question. No, no, I'm just, no, no, no. I'm just, no. I'm asking you, it, it sounds like you're just making it up. It's, I'm asking no, no, you no, if dude, you've dude, actually dude, looked no, into no, this. Dude, 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 this is the case. Well, I have evidence of 12.2 million for pesticides that are using Yep, and you don't and, know, and, and you don't know, and, and you don't know, you don't know, and you don't, yeah, but you don't know. You don't know. You don't know how many birds. You don't know how many birds, so it's just unknown. We wouldn't assume it's zero. I'm God. I can't prove a negative. We won't assume it is zero. Why would we assume it's zero? I can't prove that something didn't happen when I don't have evidence. I can't prove that. I'm, not God. I'm just asking. I'm just asking for an estimate. Look, I'm asking. You yeah, have an I've estimate for the an estimate. Zero. Zero. Why? Where are you getting I've the estimate you, from? Where are you, where are you getting zero from? The fact that, where, where, how did you get to that number? The, the, the fact that my study indicates, which I've pasted in the chat by the way already, my study indicates that 12.2 million um, in USA and Canada per year die uh, avian mortality as a result of um, pesticides which are prohibited in organic. So you, okay, I'm just gonna it, throw it, like this. Literally, the first the first hit is on this. Like, is just miss. This is just just first hit on Google. It's just like mystery remains over dead birds found over organic farm. One thousand two hundred birds apparently uh, in an apparently organic rice paddy. 
in Taeyang County after powerful pesticides ident were identified as the culprit. Local police said, I mean, this yeah, is well, just was one. On the organic this, farm? This or? is just, yes, it was on an organic farm. Yeah, did they die on the organic farm? Or did they yes, they, the they, they, the they, they are saying that it look, It seems to be the case. I'm just reading it now. It seems to be the case that yeah, they found the they pesticides. Got they got busted, right? I, I mean, yeah, after, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if they got busted. Hold on. I'm reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, have, have a look and tell me. The center what? therefore determined that dead birds were killed by the chemical, what is this, chemical pesticide, carb, carbophaban. The, so carb, carbophaban, the center there determined dead birds were killed by the chemical. One of the most toxic carbonate pesticide market in Taiwan is used to kill insects during the period where rice and vegetables are being cultivated. So that defines the mid -link. Let's see. Uh, investigation determined. Attended for that. So the country they never used chemicals in because of the organic farming. Never been farmers did not use pesticides. I, let's see if this is allowed in organic farming. Um, Carbophaban. Nitrate nitrogen. Then. Crops, including potatoes, corn, soybeans, organic. Hmm. Let's see. All right, I have to go looking to see if it's if if it's allowed or what the what the agent was, um, if that was it. Look, but look, okay. this is just so the first hit. It seems like it seems it seems really no. I, I'm I'm not making a I'm not the one making a claim. You're yeah, claiming yeah, that it's yeah, zero. But you haven't provided evidence that my claim is false. Why do so, I don't? Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't see a reason to accept your claim. I don't. Yeah, well, so I don't. don't why? That, why? That, why would I assume it's zero? Why would we? Why would we assume it's because there's no evidence to suggest that it's more than zero. Well, there's no evidence to suggest that it's that it's less that that, that it's less than a, a million. Like, like, like that doesn't mean that we start at zero. We don't just start at zero. Look, we don't start at zero. We would just say we don't. Okay, wait, wait. No, I'm not asking you to prove another. Look, if we don't know if we don't know what it is, why do we assume that the value is zero? Why don't we just because say we don't know? You haven't presented in the information. To the so if I don't present information, we would assume it's zero. Uh, I'm saying that it's zero, and you haven't. Been... Okay, so if you're saying it's zero, if you're saying it's zero, how do you get into that estimate? From the from the fact that uh, pesticides used in organic are derived from like ground up flowers. Last time I looked, um, and that doesn't all of them. Bad. Copper sulfate is derived from ground up flowers. I mean, I know it's not uh, a pesticide, but it's sprayed pretty regularly. Yeah, that's a, fung a fungal fungicide. So yeah, I know. I said it's a fungicide, but they still that that can still affect birds, can't it? Yeah, it's not from from pesticide use. Okay, but they still use things that just because it's not a, considered a pesticide doesn't it's a tent. They can still okay, affect well, birds. I, so again, I, I so because of the things that they use, because of the birds. pesticides or fungicides or herbicides that are being used in organic, why would you say it's zero birds? Because I have no evidence of birds being. So, if you have no evidence of something, the value is zero. Oh, uh, I can't prove a negative, so I'm defaulting to zero. You can't prove it's zero either. Look, why would uh, why would you default to zero? Uh, it's my look. You're claiming it's zero. What's the evidence that it's zero? It's, Just don't it's claim it's zero primary. then. It's my base in primary, dude. Why? Because it's because I have no evidence of it, so so I'm not gonna like what? How how many cases of Santa Claus have you seen in real life that are actually? Santa Look, I'm, it's not Santa Claus. It's like I'm reading that copper sulfate can affect birds and fish. Um, I'm yeah, reading that copper fish, sulfate can. About birds. Yeah, I'm reading it can affect birds as well. I mean, I I yeah, have to well, look yeah, into the exact. I'm, I'm talking about mortality. Too. Yeah. Okay. I'm look. Okay. So I'd have to look into it and say, but, but why would you just assume zero? It seems like copper sulfate can actually affect them. I don't know. I mean, I, we can look into okay. it. Yeah, we can look into it, and if you come up with. But but the, but the point but the point is it just look the point is just because, just because you don't something is an unknown doesn't make it zero. 
So I just well, don't see. Case, I just don't see a different. No, it doesn't. Not in this case. There, it does. There, there it just... zero Santa Clauses, dude. There were zero real Santa Clauses, and zero. I don't see how. Spaghetti look, look. That's. I don't see how. I don't see how this is a Santa Claus or a flying spaghetti monster. Look, you want to claim that the number of birds that are dying from from organic um, organic processes is zero. What's the evidence for that claim? What, so, so now you want to me to provide evidence for the claim you made? Yes. So can, for, can you for prove the, that God for the does claim, exist? For the claim, for the claim, you claim that the value is zero. Please now Please prove, prove that God does not exist. exist. I I don't see how that's I don't see how that's analogous. It is analogous. You want me to provide evidence for the negative? I'm not taking. I'm, you make it when you make it. Oh yes, when you make a negative. If you make a negative claim, yes. If you're gonna make if you're gonna make a strong negative claim, yes. The burden of proof is on you. Yeah, so you're making a claim that it is not the case that zero birds get killed, and so you can. No, I'm not making. I'm not making the claim. I'm saying I don't know. The burden of proof yeah, is well, on I'm you. I'm saying that based upon the evidence that I've seen, no birds are killed. Okay, based no based on you just no no no. You're are you made a claim that it was zero? You made a. I asked you if you can give a differential. You said yes. Here's a differential, and in in order for that to be the differential, you need to it needs to be the case that. The value is zero. Yeah, no, no. So, so I took twelve point two million and subtracted zero. Yeah, yeah, I know you subtracted zero, which means. So my question is, how do you know that zero was the figure? Because, because based upon all of the evidence which I have before me, it's zero. How do you know that it's the value is zero? Can you show me the evidence that you, you used to get to zero? I can't show you no evidence, dude. That's obviously what I'm saying. I don't have any evidence. So therefore, it's zero. If you don't have evidence of what the value of something is, it's zero. Is that what you're saying? Well, is that what you're saying? Uh, I'm, I'm saying if you don't have any evidence to think that something exists, then you shouldn't you assume that. Can that I just ask is. you, can I just level with you and ask you this? Can uh, just be, and ask, I'll plead for honesty. Like, how long did you spend actually looking for uh, avian mortality and organic farming practices? Like, how deep did you actually get that? Um, I, I was just, so honestly, I was like, okay, pesticides are used in conventional. They kill birds. Here's the data on killing birds. Pesticides aren't using organic. Then I'm going to assume that no birds are killed. But obviously, like, I'm being a, a bit facetious here. Obviously, maybe some birds might be killed. But generally, I think that it's going to be neg neg negligible because the main sort of brunt of the avian mortality data is about pesticides using conventional. So although I was oh, being I was a bit not. facetious then, there's no, there, there isn't really any evidence to suggest that the avian mortality isn't just negligible. I would, I'd like to see the evidence. Well, so like you so you haven't you haven't you haven't looked you haven't looked you haven't looked into this so like you you can't give me a differential like where where are you getting that all these can you can you, can you look show me show me where <sighs> okay look you claim that there was a differential i in order to claim there's a differential you need okay in order to claim in order to claim that there's a differential you need Two numbers to be the case. You need number A and number B, and you need to subtract them. Twelve point two. Which means you need evidence. Which means you need evidence for number A and number B. You, you need to get to an estimation. estimation. Get me. Get me to the. No, that's now your. No, the burden of proof is on you if you claim there's a differential. So, in case A, and in, in order to claim there's a differential, you need to show that there's two numbers, number A and number B. So, can you show me that there's number A and number B? Yeah, I have, and then yeah, to subtract I have, the two. I have deduced the the number B. I've deduced the number. So um, the argument goes as, as following: um, uh, pesticides used in conventional kill birds. In um, organic. All right. So let's get uh, so premise organic. one. Premise one is pesticides used. Let's write it out. Pesticides used in conventional kill birds. Premise two. Um, pesticides. You uh, pe pesticides. These pesticides are not used in organic agriculture. Uh, and then maybe maybe premise one should be 
Oh, I don't know, but like the infrastructure just off the top of my let's, head. Let's go, let's just structure. write it out. Premise one, pesticides used in conventional kill birds. Premise, Premise two, these pesticides are not used in organic agriculture. And then, uh, yeah, so there, there's a missing premise, but we can just, we, we, we can fix that in a minute. Conclusion, therefore, no birds are killed as a result of pesticides which are not used in organic. Okay, so premise one, pesticides used in conventional kill birds. Premise two, these pesticides are not used in organic agriculture. Conclusion, therefore, no birds are killed as a result of pesticides that are not used in organic. Is that the argument? It's not, it's currently not valid, but, um, but, but, but yeah, that's basically the gist. Of it. Well, it's definitely not valid. Um, yeah, I, I know, I, that's why I said it's not valid. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, 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 so that, no, I, I, I therefore no birds are killed as a result of pesticides that are, yeah, but again, so what I'm interested in, even if I'm talking about content, I'm interested in how many birds are killed as a result of the pesticides that are used in organic, not the amount of birds that are killed as a result of pesticides that are not used in organic. Yeah, sure. But I'm saying that, uh, I'm saying that the pesticides which kill birds aren't used in organic, so birds aren't killed as a result. I have got no evidence to say that the pesticides are used in organic. Okay, so but you claim there was a but you claim there was a differential. So if you want to claim there's a differential, you need two numbers to take a differential from. Yeah, I've given you the two numbers. I've yeah, but no, you've 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 made up you've made up one of them. I've deduced because there's no evidence for one. You've okay. What's the dedu What's the deduction? I've just provided the argument. Yeah, what's the dedu No, no, but but again, but again, that that answers that answers a different question. You're answering how many. Are, are, are killed by pesticides that are not used in organic, not by the ones that are used in organic. The question was not how many are killed by pesticides that are not used in organic. The question was how many are killed by pesticides that are used in organic. Well, can you answer me how many children aliens have had in other galaxies? I don't see how that answers the question. So again, what's the deduction? I'm saying, you're, you're what's the deduction for, for number B? What's the deduction for number B? It... it the deduction was the argument I provided you. That's that's still over okay. Time. That answers a different okay. question. Okay, that that's an invalid inference that answers a different question. So again, I'll ask it again. What's the deduction for number B? Where number B represents the number of birds killed by the pesticides that organic does use. Uh, I'm just going to have to assume it's B zero because the whole reason. Okay, why so you don't. Do you have? Do you haven't? So you haven't. You're. It's an assumption now. Now it's now it's not a de deduction. It's not a. You haven't. It is. It is an intuition. Okay, so it's your intuition. Okay, great. So it's not. It's not a deduction. It's just your intuition. Okay, cool. Yeah. Do you do so, you have uh, evidence? So I know. I I don't need. I don't need evidence at this point. All I need to reject it is a contrary intuition. If you're arguing at the level of intuition, I'm going to reject that at the level of my intuition. Great. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, I can I can uh, maybe make a stronger case. I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay. Let, let's let let's say let's say you've just found out that all of the agrochemicals used in organic, out of that copper sulfate, copper sulfate, um, bird. Death. Are you actually looking this up right now? Like, why did you make such a strong claim when you haven't actually looked any of these things up? Because uh, I'm just looking up the best evidence now. So what we're doing now is going through the data, which is better than intuition, which is research. So I'm going to research now. Um, okay. this, and that's already, because I'm researching this, I've already upgraded the quality of my data. So it's now better than your intuition because I've just researched it. You didn't even research it. You just typed it into Google. You just, just typed it. You just did a Google search right now. <laughs> this is high quality. Oh research. my god, <laughs> dude, this is high quality. Dude, shit. you gotta stop. Okay, you gotta stop. This has to, like this is ridiculous. I, I know, dude, but you're so like mid. Like you just just did a Google search mid mid debate, saying like, "Oh, I've done my research." Like, yeah, yeah, of course. It's come on, dude. Like this is so. Dude, why, don't just, why don't you just why don't you just take listen? Why don't you just take a break and say, "Okay, let's let's come regain." I'm gonna do a deep dive i'm gonna really research this i have i'll admit that i haven't actually i don't have a differential because i'm just using my intuition to get a differential i actually don't don't have any data to support me i'll take a, t a break and i'll just look into the data and i'll come back why don't you just say that like why did you have to start off with saying oh yes it's zero oh yes it's like there's this differential
Yeah, because because I can I can do that. I'm allowed to do that. And you're, you're I know. Like, so you're allowed, but like you're allowed, but but it's very frustrating because like when you're yeah, dealing with someone who does this, it's, 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 it's no, 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 I, no. I, I, you're the one who made the claim. No, you're the one. You're the one who made the claim. Intuitively, the case that organic doesn't kill birds. You're, harsh you're the one who I, I just need. I that's your intuition. I just need yeah, some. Sure. I need some evidence. Well, what? So, so you think that all, the agrochemicals and organic just kill? Like, I, I know. I don't. I don't know. I just want to know what the differential is, and you're making up zero to give me a differential. Yeah, I, I've asserted the differential to get the fucking ball rolling. Yeah, you've you've asserted the differential, but there's no it's there's no reason why I should accept that differential. What evidence do you have for the differential? That's, that's what what reason? So, so, what reason? So I, I'm not gonna prove a negative, dude. So we can. That's do not. No, it's certain. not even proving a negative. That's a positive claim. It's a positive claim that it is zero. That the, the claim that it is zero birds is a it's actually a positive claim. Um, it is the case that there are it is the case that there are zero birds killed by organic practices is a positive claim. I've said given uh, I've said given no data to the contrary, it, <laughs> my figure is zero. It is okay. It is the case. It is the case that, or given no data to the contrary, as if you actually looked and you just started typing in a Google search now. Okay, look, it is the case, like, as if you actually looked, given no data to the contrary, which I haven't ever taken any time to look at, I just started doing now. Like, yeah, of course, like, look, look, if you claim the value is zero, that's a claim. That's a positive claim. That requires a justification. Yeah, the justification, yeah. dude is the fact that in organic, they don't use harsh, toxic chemicals that kill birds. That's the whole point of organic. Are, are, you, are, you, are you sure? Have you looked into the chemicals that they use and that they don't kill birds? I, I, I've very briefly researched this, Avi, as you know. Yeah, you very briefly. You just typed it into a Google search mid-debate now. <laughs> that, that's right. you, that's and you right. typed in one, and you typed in one of them. You typed one of them in out of all of the ones that they used. So sure. uh, and let's. I, I, why don't Why don't you just Why don't you just Okay. So then. So then. Why are you making the claim? There's no. Why would you make this claim? Yes, you. You. It wasn't elaborate. It was a Google search that you just typed in on the spot right now. So I don't so think it's actually you representative. Have better. What do you have that's better, dude? Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm not making a claim. I'm not making a claim here. I'm just saying, like, why should I accept your um, figure of zero? I should accept your figure of zero because you just typed in a Google search for organ for 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 copper sulfates and you didn't okay, find something okay. yet. Let, let's get the ball rolling. Let's get the ball rolling. The thousand. Dude. Kills. Kills. Dude. I just want to know why, how you got to zero. I've fucking told you, like, dude, the whole point of organic is that these harsh agrochemicals aren't... That doesn't mean, that mean you get to zero, though. That doesn't mean you get to zero. How are you getting to zero? It does, because if the type of chemicals aren't used in organic that kill birds, then birds aren't... How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Wait, wait. How do you know? How do you know that the... How do you know that the... That they're not... That organic is not using chemicals that kill birds. Because when I buy organic, I'm expecting that the point of organic is such that I'm not going to kill birds with my organic, like because they or because of the agrochemicals. How do you know? Organic. How do you know that that comes out? Because, how do you know that that comes out to zero? Okay, let's get the Demeter guidelines up. Let's get the Demeter guidelines. How, up. Oh, the Demeter uh, guidelines said not a single. Not a single uh, natural pesticide or herbicide or fungicide is used should be a to toxic to avian species. Is that what they said? The okay, then how do you know? How do you get to zero? How are you getting to zero? Dude, the whole point of buying organic is that it's not got these harsh uh, these pesticides. How are you getting to zero? Uh, can you can you demonstrate the birds killed by organic? I'm not making a claim. I don't need to demonstrate anything. You're the one who claimed there's a differential. You need to make the, you need to justify your claim. How do you get to zero? Well, you, you, you clearly, you, you know how I got to zero, but you're, you're not, you don't. Do you have it? Okay. Do you have a justification for zero for saying the value yes, is zero? You don't like What's don't the justification? Like so let's move on. What's the justification for zero? Justification. 
It, what uh, is it? Your intuition? Uh, is uh, is your research. justification your intuition? You haven't yeah, researched no, it. No, you no, typed no. in a Google search just now. Come on, dude. Yeah, that constitutes research, dude. It's the twenty first. Okay, century, so man. you've re okay, so you typed in a Google search just now. So that's, that's is that the justification? That's my justification, dude. Okay, so I typed in a just okay, I typed in a Google search because okay, I typed in a just a Google search just now, and I found that on an organic farm that one thousand two hundred birds died. So it clear so. Even if they weren't using what was allowed, even if they were deviating from practices, if you were to buy organic, you would have contributed to those deaths if you were buying food from that oh, organic farm. So okay. again, so again, it's not okay. 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 So, so again, so do you have do you have a more thorough research that can show that it's there's a differential? Yes, because okay, go ahead, Arby, show show your so research. Someone, someone called Arvi just came along, and provided some evidence. So now we have a number. We have twelve hundred. So now this now, is in so one. This is in one. This is in one farm. This is one farm. Well, this is not an all aggregate. This is one organic. This is one. This is one organic farm. If you do you know what that would scale? This is one organic farm. If we were to equal, this is one organic farm. It's one organic farm. If we were to scale that up and we were to convert it into kilograms of food produced, you don't know what it would be. I want to know what the differential would be. What would it be? Dude, dude obviously they died as a result of using dodgy shit that wasn't allowed. Like, I don't. Do, do you? Maybe that's true. I don't. Do you know? And do you know that the, the stuff that was allowed was? And do you know how often they use the dodgy stuff? Do you know how often the, the stuff that is allowed can kill the birds? You don't know any of this. Well, you don't either. So okay, so but I'm not making the claim. You're making a claim. You're making the claim that it's zero. If you don't know, it doesn't make it zero. Uh, I'm making the claim that I have no evidence to suggest it's higher than zero. Great. You have also no evidence to suggest that it's lower than a thousand or a million. That's right. Okay, great. So how do you know there's a differential? Because I have no no evidence. <laughs> you know there's a differential. If there, come on, you're laughing at your own. Come on, dude. Like you know this. This is ridiculous. Like you know this. No, like Missy Day is ridiculous. But it's, like, uh, it's here, ridiculous. Like, it's no. Because yeah. why are you why are you digging your heels in the sand right now when you know that this is such a ridiculous point to defend? Like clearly you cannot defend a differential if you know. Where how can you defend a differential if you don't know the second number? Dude, the, the fact of the matter is that 12.2 million birds die each year as a result of pesticides. And what's the population. differential between between that and between conventional and organic? What's the differential? We, we seem to be having issues establishing the differential. Great. So you, do you have a do you have a case to make that there is a differential? Um, yes. Okay, what's your case? Intuition, you okay, know, it's into justification is intuition. Is intuition a form of justification? It is a weak form of justification. Interesting. So is that like a non-inferential form of justification? Sorry? Are you saying there's there are non-inferential justifications? Uh, well, no, it is inferred. My intuition is inferred. From your intuition that. is in way. So I your just, intuition, no, my, my, no, I no, just no, want to understand. Specific. Let me be more specific. My intuition uh, is derived from something which I have approximately um, inferred or deduced. Or deduced. Um, so your intuition is something that is arriving from something that you've inferred. So what's the justification? Is the justification of your intuition or the inference or deduction? My justification. Yeah, is your justification, is, is, is your just, yeah, what is your justification? Dude, you know the situation. I don't have any information, have any information. To, to get to the zero figure, but I'm just assuming it's zero. We can even go with 500 if you want. So is there a justification, is there a just, is there a justification for there being a differential? Y yes, I'm okay. I'm what is the justification? Is the justification is the justification intuition, or is it? Or is or are you inferring it from some other way? I am inferring from the fact that the type of chemicals used that kill birds is not used in organic agriculture. Okay, but but uh, again, the question is. Is there a differential between that and the in the birds that are that have died because of the chemicals that are used in organic practices, or because of other yeah, organic no, practices? No, 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 I don't think birds. that birds are killed as a result of. Do you have any? Do you have any estimates for that? Do you have any like data for that? Do you have a justification for that? 
Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. My my estimation is zero. Okay, what's your just? Do you have a justification for that estimation? Yeah, because the type of chemicals which kill birds in conventional aren't used in. Yeah, but there could be type of chemicals that kill birds that are used in organic that are not used in conventional that just kill birds anyway. So again, the question that doesn't actually answer the question. The question is. Considering the practices used in conventional farming, comparing that to the practices used in organic farming, is there a justification for the differential? Uh, dude, dude I, I've, I've, we, we don't need to spend any longer on this. If you're just gonna, if you're just gonna, like, not be cooperative on just, just understanding the fact that a fuck ton of birds are killed every year through, through pesticides using conventional and you're just going to be like differential then let's just move on because um like it is a fact that a, a ton of birds get killed by pesticide use in conventional and, and that amount of number is is not anywhere near as high it, it's closer to zero how do you know it's close to zero is there a justification that it's close yes, to zero the type yeah. of chemicals which kill birds are not used uh in the um organic agriculture as I've what said. about the type of chemicals that are used in organic agriculture do those, do yeah, those yeah, kill the any birds chemicals that are the type of chemicals that are used in organic uh, agriculture are the type of chemicals that don't kill birds How, are you sure do you know that yeah yeah okay you know that the type of chemicals that are used in organic agriculture are the type of chemicals that don't kill birds yeah from from my research from which and by your research you mean the quick Google search that you just did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you haven't really done research. You've done a quick Google search and you yeah, haven't dude, looked into you know, do you even know, know do you know this, Okay, so so do you have a just so do you have a justification then? Yes. Do you have a justification that goes do you have a justification beyond a, a, a beyond the one minute or one or less than a minute that you took to Google to type it into Google? and not no, see no, anything no, okay no, great no, great no, no, so so that's that's so that's the level no because i already i already typed something in and it turns out that you, it turns out that have, there were birds that were dying you, you don't know you don't if those know. well well no, i don't you're right and you don't know and you don't know and you don't know you don't know either so again so yeah, what's your that, justification yeah, that's, zero for now. that's so that's not a no is that's not no no that's not that's not that's not, that doesn't get you to zero. Just typing something in. Look, imagine if I were to do this in any other context. Imagine I say like, I wonder how many, I wonder how many, um, I wonder how many, uh, let's see, we could do anything. I wonder how much this pesticide that I don't know about, I wonder how many uh, of this species is killed by it. And I type it in and I don't find anything relevant. Does, do I have a justification for it being zero? Yeah, you couldn't find any information on it. So that doesn't make it zero. Time. Wait, if I can't find any information on it, does that give me an estimate? Of... Uh, if if you want to get the ball rolling and make an assertion. Okay, no, I don't want to get the ball rolling. I want to be accurate in actually as in actually knowing that there this differential actually exists per kilogram of food per. So, again. Is the is there a justific is the, the justification for this different for something being zero if we type into Google and we f don't find anything relevant is the value now now uh, justified to be zero? Uh, based upon uh, a Bayesian inference. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that's what <laughs> that's what constant. Okay, so just to be clear, so if I type something into Google. Um, if I want to know the value of something and I type something into Google and within a few seconds, I don't find anything relevant, then I am justified in believing that the value is zero. As a Bayesian inference until... What do you uh, mean by as a Bayesian... Data. What do you mean when you say as a Bayesian inference? Uh, meaning we have no data to go on and uh, I'm just going to use my intuition to get it started and then I'm going to correct it based upon better information which comes along. That is perfectly fine. That's... that's... Just, uh, okay, so you have an intu you have an int you have an intuition. I I don't. So the justification is your justification the intuition. Uh, I, I'm, I'm or is the justification like is your justification like what you think is the probability? What's the just like what's the justification about prior probability? Is that like, is that just something that's just not justified? 
Yeah, you have to get the ball rolling somehow. Okay, so you're so you don't have okay, and then and then the the evidence you have is that you typed something into Google and you got and you didn't find anything for one specific type of fung, f- fungicide that is used in or inorganic, and so therefore we can be justified in believing that zero birds are dot are are killed by organic practices. Is that correct? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna grant you that my research wasn't comprehensive. <laughs> I don't. I think that's putting it mildly. It wasn't just not comprehensive. It was. It was a one second Google search. I mean, it was a. That that's what it was. That was the extent of your research. Yeah, but the only reason why I'm saying that. But you made the claim. Can... You made a claim based on the one second Google search, and you actually oh, made the claim before yeah. that. You made the claim before that. You haven't even actually. You made the claim we're doing zero research. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, I was wrong for doing that. Therefore, I corrected okay. my mistake. Okay. And you, th- and then you're correct by doing it based on the one second Google search. Indeed. C- oh, come on, dude. This is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> no, dude. I, I don't. I just like. I, I'm getting really. I'm getting. I'm getting really. I'll be honest. Like, I'm getting really tired, and my voice is actually yeah. um yeah. giving out. So, um. I would recommend that you actually do the research instead of just watching a conscientious omnivore video. I would recommend no, 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 that, that you. That I, I would. I would. I would recommend. I would recommend. The points were literally point by point, uh, but I would recommend that instead of just watching conscientious I, I omnivore point because, point he, point. because he, like, well, because he was, video, and that gave because, me the idea for the for the um, because sort of because the, the things in that because by the way I'll just let you know that there were many many false claims and misrepresentations representations of my position in that video. Yeah, yeah, so do, I would just be do, careful do, before. Do, 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 do. Wait, I can even I, I can even agree that I think he didn't understand what you were saying about the threshold deontology. I, I can completely agree that he misrepresented you there. And I, I don't think that was deliberate. I think he just didn't understand your view on threshold deontology. And that's, and that's that, yeah, that's something I could say. I did watch your video. I didn't one, make it all the one way of, through. It was quite long, yeah, but one I, of, I did. I, I did one of many. But, all, but again, so I would, I would encourage you, look, I would encourage you, like, listen, I can, we can, I can go into the claims you've made. You can go into the claims I've made. We can, you can, you can do the research. Um, I would actually recommend you to actually do the research before you make the claim. Um, and yeah, to, do, do, do. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Look, this is, it's, it's sounding ridiculous now, but I spent hours and hours and hours. Yeah, but, and hours uh, okay, but uh, you I made a claim, you a made a claim. Video, and then I, I, video. no, I, I understand, but you, you're at, you're still at the point of making a claim with doing nothing. Yeah, no, because with no, with, no, because with dude, no dude, substantiation, no, dude, you didn't. You you you, dude, you, you did understand a Google what I'm saying here. The the type of chemicals that kill birds aren't really used in organic agriculture. Therefore, I'm just saying zero to get the ball rolling. I don't have any information for it. We know that the the Google search was a joke. It's ridiculous. Okay, we agree about that. But I'm just getting the ball rolling. We don't have really any information. So then we don't know. There's a different. Then we don't know. There's a differential. We we know that it's a very low amount of birds. No, we don't. We don't. There could be more. There could be more birds killed by organic per kilogram of food produced. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not making a claim. I don't need to provide evidence. I'm not making a claim. You're forcing me to make a claim when I. You you know you made the claim on your own. Because you were forcing me to give a differential, so I just bullshitted that fucking claim, dude. Like it's not necessary. You 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 it. said there was a different. I asked if there was different. You said there yeah, was. Look, it's only relevant. It's only relevant past. if there. It's only relevant if there is a differential. You wouldn't. You wouldn't move past the point without me. Giving look, you agree. So would you agree? Me. Look, would you agree that it's only relevant if there actually is a differential and the differential favors organic? So, for example, if we found out. If we actually found out that there was a differential and the, the amount of birds killed were the same in, in conventional, but it turns out that there were more birds killed per kilogram of food produced with organic, you would actually agree that the, the fact that we can give a raw amount for the amount of birds killed by conventional wouldn't actually be relevant because there would be more birds killed per kilogram produced with organic if that were the case. Sure, but it's extremely so the only way, the only, no, that's just your intuition. If there, the only way to actually know this the only way to actually know that is to provide an estimation, provide some data to estimate this, <clears throat> use the same methods to estimate it for the organic cases of the conventional. Well, well that, like in the studies, that it, dude, in the studies, they're like, oh, we can mitigate the problem of birds dying 
by switching over to organic and shit. Like, I, so what, the, where, where's it, the inference? And even if, first of all, even if that's the case, number one, it doesn't get you to zero. If they say mitigate, it doesn't mean go down to zero. So I would yeah, need dude, to see. I, I, I agree I'm, with you here. I agree with you here. So, but you really, you, so well, no, you claimed it was. Wait, so wait. You, you, for the last, for the last hour, you, you practically said it was zero and defended that it was zero you don't you didn't agree with me because i want to move on dude You're, but this is not the way to this is not the way to move on this is like this is this you're digging your heels in the sand on things you can't defend well, you, you can't provide evidence to rebut my i don't need to i don't need to i don't need to provide oh, evidence no, to rebut so your you to provide your evidence. to rebut no, your no, claim so if your claim have doesn't have any evidence. if your claim if your claim doesn't have any evidence I, to substantiate it, I don't actually need any evidence to rebut your claim. An unsubstantiated do, 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 claim do, can do, simply do, be dismissed. Do, do, you, do you seriously think that out of all the studies saying that there's all these birds, that 12.2 million birds a, a year getting killed, and that it would be better to switch over to organic to mitigate the problem? Well, there are the other, there are other, <laughs> if you must birds. know, there are other and, factors. And, and you really there, think that if you must know. Birds killed by more if you must, organic, if though. you must know, there are other factors that I would be concerned about, even on an environmental level. For example, if it is the case that organic contributes more, uh, organic contributes more, um, more global warming radiative forcing potential, then that may actually contribute to more bird deaths, even than the synthetic fertilizers, because of migration disruptions. Well, no, so, no, 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 no. The, the nitrous oxide is pretty hefty. No, uh, we already went. We already went through that, and the methane and the total yeah, radiative forcing. The total, no, I. The total radiative forcing of methane was actually greater than nitrous oxide, by a factor of at least four. <clears throat> the amount, because remember, there's a difference in, there's a difference in looking at total radiative forcing than looking at at, at global warming potential per per molecule. And when no, we look that, at the radiative forcing, red herring, <clears throat> it's no, a red herring because no. it doesn't matter about methane in comparison because methane, uh, the, the the biggest contributors are uh, cattle pretty much. And that's why it's cattle. relevant. That's why it's relevant no, no, because no, no, it no, no. because if because no, because if everyone was vegan, there wouldn't be any dairy. Oh food. no, that doesn't matter because now we're creating. Oh no, 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 no. It's completely relevant because methane's being produced by cattle. And if you and if you buy organic, you're contributing more demand for cattle than if you buy conventional. And so it's relevant. The fact that there's more radiative forcing in methane than nitrous oxide is very relevant to the point you, for bird you, You've deaths. not even established that there's more um, uh, demand or, or money uh, coming from organic. Oh, I, I, oh, I, oh, I did. Like, okay, so we can go to the. Would you like the calculations again? Yeah, I don't accept your calculations. I think what's calculations wrong with my? Right. What's wrong with the calculations? For the, the calculations is nonsense. I've told you that. Repeatedly. What's wrong? What's why is it nonsense? What's wrong with it? Because of the bartering, and you just assert that. Oh no, but there must be some financial value. Oh no, because it's bartering uh, trade. Of course, that doesn't change the. Yeah, the it doesn't right. change the. Yep, that's 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 economics one hundred and one. Okay, what else? What other assumptions do I need besides economics one hundred and one? Uh, no, no, it's not economics 101. Because if you're just arbitrarily giving it a $19 price tag, but when actually it's no an es no, it's an estimation. It's an estimation of its value in 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 something that can con commensurate to uh, to a price tag. Yeah, and I, and I've argued that the geographic location and proximity to other farms is the biggest determining factor there. So if it's further away from it, okay, great. So, so I'm, but I'm asking closer. on average, great. So I'm asking. That's why. I, that's why I look for average numbers. Because again, it's yeah, about a lot, a, lot of conventional, a lot of conventional Holocaust farms um, also grow vegetables on their farms because they've got so much uh, excess fertility that they're spreading around their farms. So it's just I don't see how I don't see how that's I don't see how that's relevant to my numbers. It's in incredibly relevant to your numbers because your numbers take into account that there's some exchange of value there. But if it's the same farm, there's no exchange of value. No, it would no be. Exchange. <clears throat> It it would be even if it is, even if it is the same farm, if you are allowed to use that, it would still create more demand than if you were not allowed to to, to use that. Even if you, even if it's the same operator, because there's a would be still be there's still be a demand differential. There would still be a demand differential. That's not even.
uh, necessarily the case. You're just assuming that they're doing the most uh, efficient. No, because uh, they are still they able are, to, they are still able, look, if they weren't able to use that, even if it's the same individual, if they weren't able to use it, they would have to purchase some other form of manure or other form of fertilizer in order to accomplish that. So there would be an opportunity cost or an, even not an opportunity cost. It would just be something they would have to pay for otherwise. So there's still value there that the farmer is getting. Yeah, that you're you're assuming the you're assuming optimal uh, efficiency of an economic model. Um, when when no, I don't think so. I don't think that's what I'm assuming. Can you show me how that's what I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, you're saying that if it wasn't the case that um, this would be valuable to use on their farm, then they'll do something else in another way. No, you're assuming that the farmer's doing the most financially optimal thing. which might No, I'm impressive. assuming that they're just doing a... Uh, um, I don't have to assume they're doing an optimally financial thing. I'm just assuming that they're not complete idiots. Yeah, but you don't have to be a complete idiot. There might just be a small discrepancy. There might be a convenience. Uh, opportunity. I don't see why... I don't see... Yeah, that's why I look for average numbers. So what's wrong with the number? The average numbers of the... Well, the, the you pluck the average out of your ass. Oh, do you have numbers of average of value numbers that are different? I didn't actually pluck it out of my ass. I actually looked. I, I looked. I actually didn't do a one a little bit of a Google search. <clears throat> I actually took time yeah, sure. and looked we, at. We it. agree that was ridiculous. We agree that was ridiculous. But in yeah. terms of your Google search, you just went on the uh, what was it? Wisconsin University website and pulled off the average. No, it was actually video. another. It was actually no. It was actually. I believe it was another site. But um, let me check. Uh, we, <clears throat> but I looked, I looked for estimations and those are the estimations I found for wholesale. Even if we go for, even if we go for the lower estimation numbers, um, it's still, it, it would still be substantial. Dude, um, I'm getting I mean, I took the average, dude, but it would still be very substantial if we took the lower estimation numbers. Uh, no, dude, like, it is such a crazily wide range of stuff. Just saying, oh, no, the range dollars. actually the isn't, the range actually isn't that wide for the wholesale manure cost can in you, the estimations I've seen. Yeah, no, but I, I, I'm, I'm saying that wholesale manure prices don't correspond to reality of farm. They create demand. What? They create demand for the process. Just like any other, just like any other byproduct. Dude, um, if you've if you've got a farm if you, with, with Holocaust operation on your farm, and you're additionally growing potatoes on that farm, and you're just using the manure, um, and if if you were to sell the manure and then buy it in synthetic, then it would cost the same. Then there's there's no difference in value there. It's the same value. Sure, there's a great, but again, there's a big difference in um, actually <clears throat> per pound. Actually, synthetic fertilizers already use um, already cost more. It's just that you don't need as much of it. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. It turns out to be more beneficial it. anyway. Um, but regardless, it's more beneficial. No, no, no it is. It is. It's more because I can tell you why. Because because per pound they contain more uh, per pound of nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, and so you actually get end up getting more nutrients out of it, even though it's more expensive per pound total amount of pound than manures. So, but the point is that even that differential, um, even that, dif I don't know why you're posting that. It's not relevant to the prices. But even that no, 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 you, you differential. No, because you synthetic was better. So, um, no, I'm just, no, no, I said, no, I didn't talk about biodiversity. I talked about, I talked about pricing. I was talking about price. All I said was that per mass, it is more expensive to buy a, like a, a pound of synthetic fertilizer than it is a pound of manure. The reason why it still pays off yeah, to yeah, buy yeah. the pound is because it's just concentrated nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. 
Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously. We, yeah. Like so that. that's all I was saying. It wasn't saying anything for biodiversity or anything. It just weren't relevant. But no, anyway. No, but, but you, so, you just said for some reason, oh, and synthetic's better. And I was like, really? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I don't think. No, well, if I said that, I misspoke. I don't think I said yeah, that. No, but don't anyway. Worry, yeah, I, don't worry. Um, Maybe I missed that. Yeah. So in, in any case, look, <clears throat> right now, it's clear there's that economic demand is being generated. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just don't, I don't see, I, I really don't see why I should not think that this is harnessed. I really don't, I just don't see it. It seems like, okay, it seems so like we're just doing, we're doing all sorts of mental gymnastics. It seems like we're doing all sorts of things like, well, what if to try to inject that? What if this, what if that? We haven't actually looked into research, but like, what if all of this external harm came out to be this way? What if the demand just happened to change and then it's just replaced by fer synthetic fertilizers? What if it changes? Like, what, what if this, what if that? I just don't really see a response. Like in, in, if this were humans, I wouldn't, I, it would be horrific. If this were humans being farmed, I wouldn't be like, this is not something, I would view this as like equivalent to Holocaust apologia. And so I just don't see why, like why the case is like, if I'm wrong about this, I want to know that I'm wrong. And I really just, from everything presented here, I, I don't see why. The only well, thing well, so let, far. Let, let me ask you this, man. Yeah, go ahead. Let, let me ask you this. So, how so, so if we take a bird holocaust bee holocaust insect holocaust um just destruction of biodiversity all the damage caused by fracking the pollution to groundwater uh, species extinction habitat loss all of this stuff with global warming with the ni uh, nitrous oxide in the air which is three times ton 300 times more potent than co2 all of this horrible shit which comes as a result of using these agrochemicals and monocrop agriculture how much is that worth in relation to one cow's life, do you think? Can we equate those things? Well, no, because I don't. I think it's a lot more than one cow. But um, yeah, no. But if we're using yeah. cows as the metric, oh, I, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. But I, I would. Yeah, sure, what I would say is, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what I, what I would say is, um, here's what I would say. Like, yeah, if it, if you can, what, what would, what, here's what it would need to land for. Where it would need to land for me is that the, these externalities were so great that if there were humans being farmed, if there were these humans that were truly being farmed and raped and slaughtered, and I knew that I was going to buy from an industry that went out of their way to use those products instead of synthetic fertilizers, even if that caused more environmental harm, I would have to be convinced that it would be so much, it would be so great that I would be okay with generating more demand for the human holocaust and if that lands for me there then i would be i would be okay with doing it for the animal holocaust but until then i i can do one better i can do one better than that so what if we say that the birds and the wild animals that are getting killed from all the pesticides and the conventional agriculture what if they were humans and well no because then they, again i don't i would so i don't see that the different i don't see that to be different so on on my threshold deontic view i don't see i don't Con consider crop death to be the same context. No, 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 Even no, that wouldn't not, work for me. <laughs> no, I, I don't see how that would be different from a crop related death. So for example, like there are humans that die from being injured in car accidents. There are humans that die from all sorts of death. There are certain humans that die from industry. There are humans that die for our efforts, all sorts of things. But we don't we consider don't... that equal. They don't, I don't consider that death context to be deontically equal to farming the human, raping the human, and then slaughtering the human for its meat. I think that is categorically worse, and it carries a greater moral weight deontically. Now, at some point, it could be outscaled. At some point, no, not because of suffering. Not because, not because of suffering. It's the no, it's deontic. It's not because of suffering. Yeah, well, I'm not a deontologist. You, you can no, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a threshold deontologist. So I'm just you're giving you my view. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you're, I, I'm not a threshold deal. Yeah, if you're, if you're, if you're a pure utilitarian, we can go through, we can I'm go back and go through the calculation. Then what are, what are, what are, what are you? What are you? What does that mean? A descriptivist means I don't have any prescriptive system where I can say this is wrong, this is right. All I can say is this is this is right. This is what I feel like doing in. This what that well sounds like a meta ethical view. view. Is that a nor is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that a meta ethical a, view? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Hold on. I, so so I'm asking you about I'm asking you about normative theory. Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't I don't make uh, prescriptive claims. 
So the, uh, what I can do is I, I can acknowledge that I am a deontologist when it comes to veganism. And I'm a deontologist when we're talking, or, or I can talk about deontology. And we can, we can talk about threshold deontology and we can talk about these things. But if you're asking me personally, I'm a descriptivist and I feel better about eating a carrot than I do about drinking a glass of milk. And that's just the way that I am. You're, you can't tell me that I'm mistaken unless you can. Okay. So, so, so the, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, I mean, at that point I would just, yeah, I would just land the reductio. So if it's just based on how, if what makes the good is just how you feel, um, then uh, oh actually no it's just a meta ethical view it's just it's just a yeah so it's a meta ethical view of games rather than expressing propositions ethical statements focusing on imperatives which are universal okay that sounds universalist forms oh so you're a non cognitivist is that the case uh sort of what do you mean sort of um my meta my meta ethics and metaphysics are a bit odd right so I am a cognitivist um. Well, I'm a mirrorological nihilist when it comes to objectivity. Are you are you are you a cognitivist or a non-cognitivist with respect to your meta-ethical view? To respect to to me being a human, given my form of life, um, I'm a, a cognitivist. Yeah. Okay. Well, prescriptive prescriptivism. You know, so, are you a universal? Oh, okay. Sorry. Descriptive. Okay. Descriptivism. Ethical descriptivism. Let's see what. So, so, for example, error theory would be an example of a cognitive position, right? So, I think you're an error theorist, right? I just want to know what you mean when I'm looking up for descriptivism and metaethics. Okay, it's a cognitive. Okay, so you're a cognitivist. Descriptivism is a cognitivist. Theory. Okay. It's it's under moral realism. Okay, hold on. I don't. I actually. I just don't know what descriptivism is. Descriptivism is just um, I, I, de I describe uh, the way I, f I I describe the attitudes I have towards the world, and I don't make prescriptive claims. Like I don't say you ought do this. You're mistaken for thinking this or something. Like, I I can't say you're you're mistaken for feeling the way that you do. Um, I I can't say um, there is a right way about the, the the world, and you're mistaken for not seeing it. Are we? Like that that's not what descriptivist does. That's what a prescriptivist does. And I'm not that. But, but this isn't incredibly relevant to the um, conversation because as a descriptivist, <clears throat> if the case... Can start, Let me ask you this. Can descriptivists have normative theories? Uh, it's... Uh, it, there's different types. But I, I, I wouldn't... I would say normative theory, it depends what it obtains to. So um, if, if I'm saying it obtains to myself, then yes, but if I if I say that it obtains to um, reality uh, out, external for me, uh, in an I mean it's a enough. it's a cognitivist view. Yeah, I know it's a cognitivist yeah, view. Right? So why why can't a descriptivist have a, a normative theory? Because I I can say look I can say, um, um, it, I, I find murdering people wrong, but I can't say murdering people is wrong. Paul. Right. That doesn't, you don't have to say that in order to have a normative theory. Well, like, if, if, I, if I'm going to make normative statements like murder is wrong, then I can only make them obtain to me. I can't make them obtain to you or anyone else. Well, that, it still doesn't mean, again, like you don't need to be able to say that to have a normative theory. Well, uh, dude, you seem to only just be learning what uh, descriptivism is. Yeah, but uh, but uh, but I I I know that it, no, there's nothing you've told me that entails that there's no. I mean, it seems like from what you're saying, you have either have a bad time explaining it or you don't really have really know it yourself. I mean, I'm just like, what what do you mean well, no, when look, you say look, like, if you're, if you're you say, asking it, right? So so if you ask me the difference between cognitive and non-cognitive, uh, is uh, cognitivism is whether I can uh, say that statements are truth apt. Right? So we were talking about truth aptness and a non-cognitive. Uh, it would say that true statements aren't uh, uh, true, true thaps. But uh, I'm saying they, they can be true thaps, but I'm just saying that uh, only if they obtain to me, otherwise they're false, in the same way as like an error theorist would go about it. And you've, uh, I've seen you argue for error theory before, dude. So uh, I, I know that you know what cognitivism is and true thaps. I know what cognitivism is, but I don't know what, I, I, I'm just not, 
I'm just not clear how you don't have a uh, descriptivism and if you don't have a normative theory on descriptivism. But anyway, well, I'm just but, saying that uh, I'm saying I'm saying I can be cognitivist about moral propositions, but they're just great. going to obtain to me. But that's not really useful. Right, right. So I'm asking, but I'm asking. No, no, no. But I'm asking about how they obtain to you. So look, on your view, how how these propositions obtain to you? Why is it the case that look? Why is it the case? What's the differentiator? Because you already agreed that if it's the same amount of suffering and the same amount, you agreed with me that it would be carnist. If the, if you, the demand created the same amount of suffering or deontic rights violations, you agreed it would be carnist. Oh, I, I said if it caused the same suffering, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. So that well, sounds that I'll, sounds I'll yeah. To you. I'll explain to you. So if if I'm if I've got a glass of milk presented to me and I'm like, is this almond milk? And they're like, no, this is cow milk. And I pick it up and I'm like, uh, this is like from a cow. That's a bit disgusting, but also. Um, not only is it disgusting, I feel bad about drinking this. I feel I would feel some sort of guilt or some like shame in uh, consuming this bodily subscri- uh, excretion for another being. I, I'd feel somehow wrong about that. But then if I eat a carrot, I don't get the same feelings of guilt or the, the, the same moral feelings that I get when I would drink cow's milk or find out that I've just drunk cow's milk and I thought it was almond milk or something. Do you get those feelings if you found out that it would create the same amount of demand for suffering and for, uh, for the antichrist? Uh, I would get like yucky guilt feelings, undesirable feelings. If I found out that the carrot that I just say it um, uh, was, um, was farmed because children would be headed and their blood was sprinkled upon the carrot. Like that, that would, I would be like, ah, oh, I would be horrible. Okay. And if cows were being, and if cows, and if more cows were being killed for those, yeah, for if, those if, carrots? If, if more, if loads of cows more were getting killed for my, for my carrot, um, I, I would be horrified that cows, like if, if cows are getting decapitated and their blood sprinkled upon my carrot, I'd be horrified. Yeah. Or if, or if anything that would create a more economic demand for the suffering. But, but it gets to the point where I know, I actually know that when I go to the shop and I buy wheat, I know that once in every, I can't remember how many years I worked out, a mouse will be killed. I know that, but it, it's just like, I, I don't have a wheat field, so I'm a bit fast. Yeah, but this is, but this is, it. yeah, but this is, but uh, but again, this is, this is, we're talking about the level of, of milk. Of the we're talking about at the level of milk, the amount of suffering that milk would buying a cup of milk would cause yeah, a I'm day. Yeah, I'm not convinced it's, of your claim, dude. Your claim then what's wrong with my ca- what's wrong with my calculation? We, last time we spoke, we we had a nice conversation, and we we got to the end of it, and we said, okay, so in order for you to prevent, uh, present a compelling case, what you need to do, RV, is go away and come up with a calculus that takes into context. All of the externalities and all, all of the problems here—it's going to be very complex. Oh, that would be no. That would be re- that's not that's not that's not. I, I don't. I, I'd have to rewatch it. But I thought. But I thought that. Um, I, I you didn't really have much to say in the last debate. Um, yeah, because it wasn't. What I what I just what I just said. Look, what I what I what I what I would what I what I would just um, say. I'm getting really tired at this point. Like I'm getting like exhausted. Um, like I'll just be honest with you. Like it's it's just really exhausting. <clears throat> um, look, I uh, look just to just to sum this up. Um, there's clear. I see that the, I see. I see clear reasons to believe that, especially in the case of non-legumous crops. Maybe we could. Maybe if we grant everything, there may be an exception for legumes. But in, clearly, in the case of non- non-legumous crops, there is a substantial amount of of demand for organic uh, to the animal agriculture industry, more so than conventional. And that differential uh, seems to be on the level of milk. It seems to be on the level of buying a cup of milk a day. I haven't seen anything wrong with my calculations. And I haven't been convinced that, that uh, there's, there are environmental reasons to favor organic over, con- over conventional. I haven't, I'm not convinced on that. And I'm not convinced that that would outscale the deontic wrongs of <clears throat> the deontic wrongs of um, of buying organic. I'm not even convinced that it's at that level. I'm not even convinced it's there at the utilitarian level. Okay. So... So, so far we've... Dis- Can you hear me? You're choppy, but... 
yeah, my, my phone's fucking up. It's push to talk. Um, my screen's cracked and this push to talk is a bit difficult sometimes. But yeah, so um, we've gone through a lot of things here. Uh, you're, I think you're underestimating the amount of death. So, fuck. This push, oh, I think that's better. Okay, so we've gone through. I can't hear you. My, my, my screen's uh, cracked, so it, it keeps going off and push to talk button. I, th I think, yeah. Can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. So, um, I think you're vastly underestimating the depth of conventional. You're, you're cutting out. Can, can we turn off push to talk? Um, it, it, I'll, I'll, I'll try again. Um, I think you're vastly underestimating the death toll of conventional conventional agriculture. Um, I think the death toll is I think the death toll is a lot higher with um, uh, avian death, uh, fracking, human um, cancer, and contamination. Human cancer? Wait, what? Where did we get that in? Wait, human cancer? Wait, the, the effect size favors conventional for human cancer. Sorry? Human cancer? Yeah, human cancer from fracking, yes. Oh, from from fracking. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So here, so so that's what I have because the 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 effect size from organic food actually favors conventional. Um, all not statistically significant, but all things considered equal, if you if you consume organic, you're more likely. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Not we're, we're, we're but you're more likely that, to get yeah, cancer. Yeah, you're more likely we're, we're to get cancer if you consume I'm, organic. I'm talking about fracking. Okay, so you'd have to you'd have to find a way to commiserate that with the with the with this data as well in order to say that one is more than the other. Uh, yeah, sure. So, so I'm just commensurate. Sorry, commensurate. Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying, I'm saying that there's a death toll. Uh, there's cancer from fracking. There's, there's. I... How much cancer? Wait, can we get just numbers on that? How much cancer is there from fracking? Um, can't give you any data. Right. All right. No, oh, yeah, I just think you're cutting out. I think my screen is just so fucked, I can't press the button anymore. Um, yeah, so uh, I've rotated it. So, death toll from death toll wildlife. Fucking hell, I might have um, I'm, I might have to type if this carries on. Um, can we turn? Can we turn off push to talk? Hello. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I've just switched to my computer. Yeah, my my, my screen is fucked, so uh, I can't push the push the talk button anymore. Um, yeah. So, um, going back to what I was saying, death toll from um from bird deaths, we've got um, um fracking, uh, the the cancer, environmental destruction from that, the uh, nitrous oxide in the air. Um, greenhouse gases uh, depleting the ozone from synthetic nitrogen. That's been attributed to that. I've provided evidence for that. Um, I've provided evidence for the uh, for, for a whole bunch of shit here with the, the statistics. Um, there, we didn't come to any agreements with the um, death toll for birds of organic, but I think it's way less. We can talk about that later. Um, I don't think that you're taking into consideration the amount of death and suffering involved in conventional. You're just saying, ah, oh, more manure is used 
in organic. I'm firstly, I'm not even convinced of that because of crop rotation, which we got into at length. Um, we need to go into this in more detail, have a, a deeper dive, actually look at all of these variables and not just the economic contribution to manure at some arbitrary nominal amount of, of, of $19. Uh, we, we need to have a much more compelling case. Uh, and then if there was a compelling case, which was just completely irrefutable and it was like, oh, oh my God, there's so much suffering caused here as opposed to um, um, convention, uh, as opposed to conventional, there's so much suffering organic then I'd be like, yes, you're right. But right now the case is so weak and there's so many points of contention that we've been going through. And there's so many different things that I can bring up. I'm just, I don't think you've established a compelling case yet. So that's my closing statement. All right. I'll, I'll let you have the last word. I mean, I disagree with everything you said, I, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll let you have the last word. All right. So that, that'll be it because I'm just, I'm exhausted. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah. I think you're exhausted too. Yeah, sure. But thanks again for your time and going through this. I do appreciate it, trying to get to the truth on this. But I, I think that we're sort of like banging our heads to a certain amount. We need to go uh, go away, do a bit more research. I need to research the avian death of organic and maybe other research needs to be done. And maybe we can follow this up <laughs> and hopefully it won't take so long next time. But, um, um, yeah. more, than, more than a quick Google search. Yeah, that was only that one point, but but yeah. All right, sure. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Well, I'm sure I'm sure this won't be the last uh, five hour debate we have, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah. Cool, man. Thanks for your time. And uh, yeah, sure thing. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's been it's been a pleasure. It's been an <laughs> yeah. absolute yeah. an absolute absolute pleasure to doing sure this, doing this with you. Sure Very pleasurable.